That one of a Nels. No, it's we're we're huh. unmuted, by the way. Cause I switched over. Yes, we are unmuted. Hey everybody. How is Oh no, it going? you heard me talk about the I unmuted when we, we, we flipped over because I thought it was gonna load immediately and I didn't expect the long loading screen. I guess I should have because yeah. Luigi's Mansion three does the exact same thing. Yeah, this ain't Mario Golf, bud. <laughs> oh, Mario Golf has spoiled me on fast loading. <laughs> It really and, has. Um, the the load times are kind of long though, but they're not frequent. So, hey everybody, how is it going? It is hey. time for another Coliseum incentive. This is a present. You from sound me so too. thrilled. Look at I mean, mouth. this is a commitment. Let's be entirely <laughs> real here. It is quite the journey to make well, it through friend, this game, but I think give it a short amount again. of time and you'll be pretty hooked. This is sixty-ish hours of game at least. Yeah, um, I assume you will not be doing every side quest. I will not be doing every- oh, I guess we should let's lay the ground rules here first for the playthrough. Uh, yes. first off, if you're here, hi, my name's John, this is my channel. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, John. Hi, I have Chuck Conroy joining me tonight for the start of this. If you're wondering why I'm playing an RPG when traditionally I don't on stream, this year's Coliseum, I added the incentive that if we raised $100,000 during Chaos Cookie alone, I would play through the entirety of Xenoblade Chronicles 1 before next Coliseum. And if I failed to beat it in time, I would do a punishment cosplay from a of a character in the series. Not just Xeno 1 from all, I guess now four. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we are gonna be playing through this game throughout the year. I think the current plan is like every two weeks we hop back into the game. Uh, likely most of them will be on Wednesdays. Emil is here for the first one. He does not have to be here for any of the others, but he is more than welcome to join us for any of those. I'd be happy to join for at least some more of them. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how that's going. Oh, hello. I'm getting a visitor. 
Hey, mister, you haven't been down here, so you don't know all the rearranging I was doing. Hi. Oh, the cut. You ate the turkey stuff? I guess we did like it good. Hey, buddy. This song and the way it's timed with the sunset. Sure. Bagel's switching his food now. He's off of his regular stuff and he needs other stuff. But of course, he's like fighting us on it, what he wants. Hey, mister. So, uh, yeah. So we are going to be playing through the entirety of the game before next year's Coliseum. Uh, likely every two weeks we'll probably pop back in, make a little bit more headway. I do have to set some... Big, big ground rules for this one, though, because I have some major stipulations before we get into this, but I also noticed that Liam is raiding. Uh, but it's going to take a while before the drum roll even shows up for him, so maybe we'll just go ahead and run countermeasures now, and then by the time they're done, they'll say that Liam's raiding. Alright, it hasn't even happened yet, but Liam, thank you for the raid regardless. <laughs> I remember the first day I saw these countermeasures. Oh. Ooh, we're seeing areas. I was gonna say, should I be seeing this? I thought it stayed on the sword. No, it starts showing you areas from the game if you sit there for a little while. I was gonna say, should there be music? Because I didn't hear any. I think it's just quiet. I think it's just on the piano solo right now. So oh, I yeah, can tell yeah, you're right. super psyched bit. to play the best game ever in the history of forever because this is the most excited I've ever heard you be about anything, John. And the sad thing is you might not be entirely lying about that. I'm not! <laughs> I'm being completely serious! What did you think I was? <laughs> I meant my excitement levels. No, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So let's set the ground rules here first and foremost because I feel like if we don't do that, this is not going to be an enjoyable playthrough. Absolutely no spoilers. Please, for the love of God, chat, absolutely no spoilers. The mods have been given permission to, uh, first off, wipe any chat uh, spoilers they see. And if the same people keep doing that over and over, they get timed out. And if they keep doing that, they get banned. I will be absolutely strict about this. A thousand percent. And to be more clear on that, what I constitute a spoiler is... Don't tell me how to fight a boss. <laughs> Don't warn me a boss is coming up. Don't say, oh god, this area. I wonder how he's going to feel about that. Because then I know something's coming up. Probably a boss. <laughs> As the mods are saying, no fake spoilers either. Also, no fake spoilers, including spoiling other shit because you hate the fact that we have to keep making a spoiler rule. Because A, we can't. sometimes we can't tell fake spoilers, and B... Doing fake spoilers or spoilers for other shit because I said no spoilers for this game just makes you an asshole. Hmm. So, those are... Yeah, and I already saw someone just got timed out for quite a long time. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's a new record! <laughs> yeah, enjoy your 28,800 second timeout. Because we're not kidding. For the love of God, if you can't be nice, you can't be here. <laughs> Remember your first Xenoblade and your experience and how much you'd like John to have that as well. And also, remember that the Xeno community is really respectful when it comes to spoilers. There are, like, code words for everything. Not saying that you should use them. I'm just saying that the Xeno community is very respectful and is very careful to, like, not talk about things. I know the majority of people are not going to be the problem. But I have I played through Final Fantasy V blind, and some mm -hmm. people unintentionally 
it, they weren't trying to spoil, but they were anno like ruining the experience because they were telling me when bosses were coming up, and they were telling me how to fight the bosses when I was explicitly asking not to do that. So I'm mm -hmm. stating up front, please let me play how I want to play. If I'm going to play absolute trash, if I die to a boss 30 times, let me go for another 30. If I, if I am going, if I need help from chat, I will explicitly say, chat, I am asking you this question. I will state very explicitly, because I, I know I have a bad habit of saying, uh, like, rhetorical questions or just saying things out loud. So, mm. if I want help from chat, I will explicitly say, chat, I need your help. Chat, can you answer this question? Etc. Same goes for Emil. Emil is just here for the ride and to help and to make sure that I get to experience one of his favorite games. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut my lips most of the time about stuff. If you have a if you want a quick spoiler for answer to a question, I can just give it to you. Someone in chat just asked no sport story spoilers either. That was a given, I feel, but yes, to clarify, absolutely no story spoilers. <laughs> um I did see a good question in the chat. You playing through this um you playing through this to, to the end before next Coliseum, does that include future connected? So, originally, the original agreement was not Future Connected, simply because I was going to play the Wii version. Mm -hmm. But, since we've agreed on the on the Switch version, then sure, Future Connected is a part of it. We will also okay. do Future Connected. Nice little bonus. When you signed him up for this version, you didn't know you were getting extra content. Put no spoilers at the bottom of the chat. I'm going to tell you right now, we did that during Final Fantasy V. We put a a literal multicolored scrolling marquee on the screen and people <laughs> still kept spoiling shit. It does not matter if it covers the entirety of the gameplay, people will still do it. So I am telling people now, as clear as I can be, if you cannot stop from yourself from spoiling shit, don't be in the chat. <laughs> Oh, hey, Liam 6 is rating. Hey, Liam's rating. That only took... How long ago was it we actually ran that? Uh... Fuck, how long ago did he... Was that... Liam rated oh, wait, six minutes ago. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. If you can't keep the spoilers in your pants, we will do it for you. Or something. Yeah. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, you're fine. You can talk, chat in the comments all you want about it. That is entirely fine. I'm going to avoid the comments for the most part on the YouTube VODs. But if you're here in the live chat, we're going to be stupidly strict. And it's simply because I hate doing sto story-heavy games on stream because of the chance of being spoiled. I want to enjoy this as organically as possible. And it, this game already has a point against it because I was watching part of Emil playing through the game the first time. And I saw a very, very, very big end-of-story spoiler of the game. This was like 10 years ago. <laughs> this was 10 years ago, but unfortunately, it I remember it as if it was yesterday. <laughs> because of all the... <laughs> look, all so the this is what I told you. The story spoiler is the exact same as one they did in another game that I really liked. So yeah. because of that, I'm like, yeah, I'll never forget this because I remember I like that hook. So yeah, that whole scene is stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't actually say what it is in chat, but it's big. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> so otherwise, the only thing I've seen is I watched Emil when he was practicing for the LP. I watched him play up to Colony 9's the starting area, right? That's not... Yes. That's not X. That's this one? Yes. Yeah. I watched up to the part where you leave Colony 9 officially. Okay. So story beats, I know up to that point. And then I know the story beat at the end, but in between, it's hit or miss. Goldman, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't. Can mods stop spoiler donations, or is that not possible? Uh, spoiler donations can't be stopped, yeah, what? but if you do that, then you're just a special kind of asshole. But, and I'll gladly take your money. <laughs> but I'm also going to be like, call you a piece of shit. <laughs> Question, are you going to do all quests? No, so I this is not a 100% playthrough. This is just whatever I'm in the, I feel like I'm in the mood to do. Okay. So, uh, but um, usually, usually how I play an RPG is I fight everything I see that I can, as long as it's not something that will immediately destroy me. And usually, I will do most side quests. So don't be surprised if I do a bunch of side quests. I um, I have opinions about the side quests and like how you should do them though, but we'll save that for when we get to it. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, any of these do I need to change? He's pressing buttons in it. It's a dream come true. Uh, do I want arranged or original for the music? Um, I say the updated soundtrack is pretty darn good. Um, I, I think that they, I was like, why are they updating the music? You can't increase perfection yet. Are somehow they did. <laughs> Here's a better question. Can I, can I do these, change these in game at any time? Or do I have to go back to main menu to do it? I think you can just do it, uh, I think you can do it anytime if it's the same as the original. If I can do it in-game, then I'll probably swap back and forth while I'm playing. Okay. I assume a recap will be given at the start of each session? Yes, because I'm gonna need it. So, I'll I'll recap on stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that there's, like, a story memo that you can look at that'll just tell you what you were in the middle of doing, which is nice. So. Uh, da -da -da. Set pedals on... The cowening starts. And the cowening starts again. I doubt we'll go to the same level as last time, but I've been surprised before. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Woo! I'm like getting on a roller coaster. As a special bonus for having played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you can start the game with 100,000 gold. I wouldn't wet myself over a measly 100 grand. Yeah, sure, I'll collect it. Why not? Ah, yes, all that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 I've played. That's my reward for saving Pyra. It all makes sense now. Yeah, that, there was a bounty on her. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. One had a lightsaber, the other did not. Yet somehow they bounced off of each Cold other. Men, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> the Bionis I and don't. the Oh, I should warn people right now. What? Uh, I like to take shots at games as I'm in cutscenes as I'm watching them, including ones that I do enjoy. So that does not mean I'm not disliking the game. That just means I'm relaxed more than anything. So if I take, if I say something about a cutscene or a moment that you don't like, sorry, I just like guys, whipping. I, guys, I've been friends with John for years. If he insults you, it means he likes you. <laughs> to a point. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. <laughs> and then they died. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Just not worded as elegantly. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Uh, mods, can you time out Daybreaker Red, please? Thank you. I don't know what part of no fix spoilers you missed, Daybreaker. Oh, never mind. They already got. They all already got timed out. Never mind. <laughs> they were on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to them. They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. I'm not even gay, and he's so fine. <laughs> You can think a dude looks hot and not be gay. I know, I'm mad enough to admit when a guy's hot and I'm not even gay. Hulk Hogan is here! The real American has showed up. 
That's where we'll set up the last brother, line of defense. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. And Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah. Done for some reason giving me big Jack Sparrow vibes. Gives us the chance to a lot of people actually say that they remind him of Johnny. They, they remind the you them of Johnny Depp. With this, the I've seen that comparison a lot. Stupid beast! Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. <laughs> Do you think you've still got the strength in you, old man? Boy, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? We need Make these claws. It's approaching. It's every no every team that. needs a Wolverine. Let's show them what we got. Melee we'll weapons are very effective against robots with guns. Exactly. Close combat, the best way to fight long range weapons, obviously. I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. That should give me time to escape. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot I should play this part. Yep. Press L R to target a monster. That's a monster. That's you, in case you weren't sure. Wait a minute. Hold. Oh, never mind. He's there. I was going to say, they showed him there in the picture, but he wasn't there earlier. And then he just has to catch up because he was too busy plotting your demise. Yeah, you know. He needed that pause. Target enemy display the battle palette. It's like the fight icon and press A to start the battle. Okay, I fight this. No, I fight. No, this one. We fight this one. Approach target to auto attack. If you are too far from a monster, you can't attack it. Numbers! Does the camera not auto track too? No, you have to move the camera. Do you know eh. what you're right. doing? Fair enough. I don't. Select arts with left and right on the D-pad and press A to confirm. You cannot use an art in the following circumstances. You're out of range for it, what? or this condition for using it is not met. Okay, that's fair. Suck from two different arts. Ooh, Monado Enchant, power up party members, Monado Basta. Deal major damage to an enemy. Good one. They were hitting for one damage, now they're hitting for hundreds. Well, here we go. Ugh. Warning. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay. Gotta start the fight. Yeah, sorry, no, I was messing around with the camera, that's why I was doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Battle commands, engage at will. There you go. How do I, okay, how do I tell how long an enchant's on them for? Oh, that's the blue bar, never uh, mind. Okay, never mind, we're good. Uh, you can see the buffs on the left. It shows like that up arrow next to the Monado symbol. When that goes away, the buff is. Well, up I meant, I meant right when, now. I meant like, was there a timer on it? And there was, so. Uh, why is there no prompt to attack? Uh, okay, that was weird. Because <laughs> I definitely dark. hit, I definitely hit the target button. <laughs> Three times, and it still didn't lock onto him. Guess the game just had to stop and think. I'm like shit, he's going faster than I expected. Well, I just he's gonna have to wait here for a bit. You're just too damn good for it. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, this tutorial fight doing real good. And that's it. Ooh. Oh, you gotta be kidding! It's their main force. Looks like the mech on a hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. Ah! 
Dixon, are you using a rifle? Why'd you get up in his face? I can't believe the guy that looked like a villain and sounded like a villain was a villain. <laughs> Unbelievable. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. I love that line. we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumbad? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumbad, what are you playing at? Those idiots. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> oh no, please! No! Vile Mekon. If you think the Homs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken! I don't know, Dunban. They sent three of you. I think they could have done a little better than that. There was a whole army at the beginning, though, but they retreated. Well, I meant, I meant they could have sent more competent people than three. Mm. Just zoom out. X. Xenoblade Chronicles. X. Definitive edition! I don't know why they draw a red X there. That's not in this game's logo. <laughs> John, don't but, you know that yeah. <laughs> don't you know the laws of JRPGs? If you're not a uniquely designed character, you're just cannon fodder. I mean, fair. Oh, this only takes place one year later? I thought it was like a couple more than that. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh. No good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. So I'll take a nap to celebrate how useless it is. Here it comes. Any second. I look forward to it every time. <laughs> An M69! M69! <laughs> oh my god, I should have known. <laughs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Does your favorite RPG have a 69 in the first 15 minutes? I didn't think so! Oh my god. <laughs> There's your boy. It is objectively the best mechon. game. It's just a crabble. It was using the mech on armor as a shell. I'll lure it away in top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. By the way, I'm here for the tutorial, are you? So here we have Dwebble. Dwebble is a tanky Pokemon that is only resistant to the normal and poison types, making it not too effective in that okay, I'll stop. Hang on, I need to know, learn about HP gauges first. Oh, so that bar wasn't even like the, the buff gauge. That was just their actual HP gauge. Oh, no, okay. I, I was wondering if you were seeing something I wasn't though, but no. No, I, like, was, I thought that was the buff gauge because it was blue. I didn't realize that was actually the HP gauge. No, the, the buffs are right above the level. It'll just show an icon when a buff is active. So it was showing a Monado enchant symbol with an Yeah, I, I just wasn't sure if there was a timer on them as well. Because no, some, some games usually have timers with the buffs. There's timers for certain things though, but not those. Use backslash to deal damage. 
Restore HP with light heal. Select who will be healed. Jesus, Shulk! <laughs> my god! What was that what scream? Sh yeah, Shulk can yell. Ah, <laughs> oh, my kneecaps! <laughs> my god, are you gonna be okay? Mama! Whoa, 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 whoa. You're gonna use the same art repeatedly. Cooldown exists. After a certain amount of time, cooldown is complete. Once cooldown period is finished, you can use the art again. Is there a way to increase, or sorry, rather decrease cooldown time? Uh, it just kind of happens when it happens. There is a way to, like, um, the art in the middle, there's a way of reducing cooldown on that, at least. Okay. Each character has a special art called a talent art. Select the talent art icon and press A to use it. To use talent arts, talent gauge must be full. Gauge fills up every time an auto-attack hit connects. Um, okay. cooldowns do become less as arts level up as well. Okay, so they can be, that so the, that's more or less my question. Yeah, you can cool that, you can reduce cooldown time if you level stuff up. Okay. Break status, topple may be inflicted. That's, that's less helpful than you think, game. The updated Colin 9 theme is great. The green ring stops you from escaping, or sorry, stops you escaping. Defeat the monster to make the ring disappear. So wait, the, so I can't escape if this happens? This is basically a boss fight. Okay, so some fights are forced, and that's how they show you they're forced? Yes. Okay. Good! Be aware of aggro during my- So, reminder, I have played this part of the game. I've played the first half hour a couple times. Be aware of aggro during battle. Direction of monster, aggro ring. Uh, aggro is a measure of a monster's feelings of animosity towards each party member. It's weird seeing it just written out like that. Uh, the more damage that a monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. If a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, then aggro ring will appear around them. Maybe the most of chance art, so... Oh, is that what the... Okay. Shulk's backslash deals more damage if he attacks monster from behind. Uh, it's called the art's bonus effect. When you're positioned to gain an art's bonus effect, it will be helpfully highlighted to, uh, for you as a chance art. Okay, so it does do that. That is nice to know. In the original, it didn't. You had to just guess what the game's arbitrary definition of behind something was. Okay. Use the aggro rings to help find the best position. When aggro ring appears around Rhine, Shulk has a chance to use backslash from the rear. If successful in the bonus effect condition is met, the damage value will be displayed in a star burst or a sunburst. Achievement backstabber. Oh, was there actually an achievement? Yeah, because you uh, you surprised the enemy with backslash. That's the achievement for it. Nice. That was good opening a battle with backslash when it's like a weak enemy. That's a really good way of just ending Thanks, a fight. Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks That's why I was you, taking a nap. Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Okay, bye. <laughs> Follow the dotted path to advance the story. The path to the next main story objective is displayed on the mini map. Guidance panel there too. You can switch the mini map to full screen by pressing in the left stick. And there's a story memo as well. Press ZR to display the guidance panel on the bottom right of the screen, allowing you to check the story memo. Pressing ZR while the guidance panel is open to close it as well. Map is more helpful in this version too. Use R to move the camera, press ZL to display additional light camera controls, which I noticed is how you could zoom out and a bunch of stuff like that. I noticed that during the tutorial fight. And saving is on the pause menu. You cannot save during battles and story events, however, you can save in most other situations. The game includes an autosave feature. Save data over recorder using this function will be marked with an autosave icon. The game will save automatically at certain points, but to make sure your most recent progress is not regularly uh, is not lost, regular saving is recommended. And then the autosave icon is, of course, just a Monado logo anyways. You can review all tutorials at any time. 
which too looked like it needed. Further tutorials yeah. are added as you play the game. I, uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Event theater! Now you can watch cutscenes! Okay, I think we're good. So the freaking tutorial menu, letting you review tutorials whenever you want. Really helpful. You know, nice being able to review information, not have to go look stuff up, risk getting spoiled. It's great. But in Xenoblade 2, there is no tutorial menu, but the DLC for 2 has a tutorial menu, and they never patched it into base game. <sighs> yeah, I was really upset. <laughs> All right, attack an enemy with a break art to inflict break. Attack an enemy with something break with a topple art to inflict topple. An enemy will not be able to attack or move while suffering topple. So what is, so break is just broken guard, essentially? That's all it does? Yes, is break, break by just itself. to inflict topple than nothing else? Break is just the ability to inflict topple. <laughs> that seems redundant, but all right. You're, you're breaking, well, it's, it's basically you have to do two steps in order to do topple, because topple is a really high reward thing. So break is otherwise not worth it unless you hit topple, okay. Yes. I would recommend keeping the enemy in break as often as you can, though. Attack an enemy suffering topple with a daze art to inflict daze. The enemy will still not be able to attack or move. Also, its aggro will not increase. This is, there's a chance for characters to lower defense to deal damage. You will learn daze arts as you progress through the game. All right. Best suggestions for Shulk. <laughs> My talent art is turn strike. It deals a lot of damage. It can inflict break on the enemy. A talent gauge fills up when I auto attack, so it's valid auto attack and not just use arts all the time. I let Ryan bear the brunt of the attacks. So he can take a lot more knocks to the head than I can. <laughs> yeah, leave it to me. Or oh, did you want to read this? I distract the monsters and draw out the aggro while you do damage with backslash. Don't let me down. Oh I don't God. know why he's like an Australian. <laughs> to be fair, I sound like this. When Ryan's feeling the heat a bit, I can use light heal to help him get back in the game. Thanks, Shulk. Be sure to be sure you don't draw too much aggro yourself. Sometimes you just want to lay off the arts for a while. Sometimes you just shouldn't do shit, Shulk, all right? You're bad <laughs> at things. Ryan's talent art, Mad Taunt. My talent art is Mad Taunt. It provokes monsters to attack me, draw on the aggro. It distracts them from the others, uh, from the others so they don't get attacked. The talent gauge fills up when I auto-attack. So, Ryan is a paladin, right? Is that, I assume that's what they're establishing. Yeah, high defense, high HP, takes damage well. He's, he's the tank slash a paladin. Yes. My job is to protect Shulk. I let my talent gauge fill up and use Mad Taunt to draw aggro. Pretty nifty, Roy. The talent gauge fills up when you use... I I definitely saw Boner Upper for a second there. Bone Upper, too. <laughs> Pretty useful when we need Mad Taunt. I, I love when he... Like, listen out for it. When he uses Bone Upper, he says, Suck on this, which is even better when it oh, looks like God. Boner Upper. God damn. If a monster's suffering from break, I can use Wild Down to topple it. Good or what? Yeah! I'll break them with Turn Strike, and then you topple them with Wild Down. <laughs> so, John, what game are you referencing when you're saying Paladin? I mean, just an MMO in general. To, in my yeah. mind, I see a Paladin as the tank, essentially. Yeah. Um, Ryan also does pretty respectable damage, too, so it fits. All right, default controls. I mean, okay, well, yeah. Do you have it for? Oh my god. Buff debuff info when prompted by pop-up window. Check buff debuff details. Move character. Select arts. You can pause the game during cutscenes. Thank you. Thank you. I hate yep. when games don't have this feature. Yep, it's great. Dude, we played Zone of the Enders one this week, and I we had a raid happen, so I tried to see if I could pause in a cutscene. It skipped a five-minute cutscene, which we had to look up on YouTube. <laughs> I've heard that the reason why that happens so often in games is that pausing cutscenes oftentimes can lead to, like, glitches, and by just turning off pausing during cutscenes, you avoid that if there's not enough development time to fix every single one. I mean, I get it. The camera, you can adjust the camera position, useful camera functions, briefly pressing right stick moves the camera. Thank you, that's what I needed. Behind the player character, it makes it fall in from behind automatically. Oh, yeah, I don't use that. Sorry, I forgot that was a thing because I don't really use the auto camera much, though. but during battle, that would be really helpful. Update notification icons will be added to menu elements that are newly introduced or updated or in the course of the game. These icons will be removed once you've checked out the corresponding item. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Two types of equipment. Cosmetic equipment. Using cosmetic equipment allows you to change just the appearance of the combat equipment your characters are wearing. Any equipment that you have obtained before is available to use as cosmetic equipment. Using cosmetic equipment will not affect your character stats. This is new for the remake. The original didn't have that. I mean, I kind of prefer that, because I've seen some of the later armor. Some of it kind of looks eh. 
Yeah, there's there were times in my Let's Play where I passed up the optimal equipment because it was putting the characters in their undies. Enemies getting too much to handle. Enabling casual mode lets you lower the difficulty of battle. Simply open the system menu with plus and go to options, followed by game settings, and set casual mode to on or off. When a prompt is shown recommending the switch, press minus to go straight to the option. Oh, neat. How hard would you say this game is? Um, there's a few fights that are really big spikes, but I wouldn't say that it's, like, ever unreasonable. You might lose a boss fight your first time or two, but that's gonna be it, largely, aside from maybe a couple of fights. Hey, can I also complain about something? Why isn't there a multi-save file setup in Xenoblade 2? Yeah, actually, I, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. In my Let's Play, I was having to constantly make cloud saves and disable auto backup because in case I needed to revert to an earlier save, uh, I was screwed without that. So I don't get why there aren't multiple save files in Xenoblade 2. Uh, Xenoblade X also doesn't have multiple save files. X, and both of those X games makes a bit more sense because they treat it like an online MMO style game where like you're supposed to go on and do missions with your friends and stuff like that. I can give that a bit more slack. Two, no. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I have actually wanted to play two in my downtime, but I'm like, fuck, if I do that, then I either have to start on a different account to start over, or I have to overwrite the file that we're, we keep doing for, like, Chaos Cookie, which means we can no longer keep doing the save Pyra meme and shit like that. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll just never play two. People are saying because they don't want you save scumming core crystals. I mean, I get it. I figured that was the actual reason, but that still is kind of a bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wish just every game had multiple save files as a standard thing. It bothers me so much that oh, Super Nintendo cartridges, three save files. Oh, Nintendo sixty four cartridges. Uh, you know, you gotta have a memory card to have additional ones, but you can. You know, GameCube. Oh, ninety nine save files per game. Huge next gen consoles with one terabyte hard drives, one save file. <laughs> Expert mode lets you store a portion of earned experience points for later use rather than being granted to a character immediately. Mm -hmm. You can enable it by opening the system menu with plus when expert mode toggling the option. Expert mode is disabled by default. When expert mode is enabled with right stick, all further experience gained throughout completing quests, discovering landmarks, locations, or gaining achievements will be reserved for later use. The expert mode option in the system menu, access with plus, lets you manually adjust party characters' levels. Increasing a character's level will cost reserve experience. Reducing a character's level will convert excess experience points back into reserve experience. What the fuck? So, this is so you can complete every side quest and not be ridiculously overpowered. Xenoblade 2 introduced this and they retroactively added it to this game. Interesting. Okay. Level yeah, I actually really like it. Character. And you All can right. also challenge yourself to be a low-level run. You know what? Yeah, that's actually kind of neat. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna turn it on, but that's neat that's even an option. Yeah, no, I really, really like that you don't have to accept the experience points from a quest and you can just save it in a reserve for whenever you want it. Um, in my Xenoblade 2 Let's Play, I didn't accept any quest rewards that were experience points throughout the whole series, and then at the very end, I cashed it in and was able to take on the super bosses without ever being overpowered. I'm just trying to zoom in on his face and it's not letting me. Like, the slightest movement I do with the right stick just zooms it right through his body. Yeah, that's that's as faint as possible I can get. Ooh. Ooh. Meanwhile... <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> Ryan just cannot stand still, apparently. No, all the, all the Xeno games have great idle animations that are very worth watching. <laughs> Oh, actually, this reminds me. There was one thing I wanted to change. Okay. Don't know if that's a setting that you'll stick with, but I understand turning it up at least some. Yeah, I, I'm sure during combat it will get annoying eventually, but... Ah! You alright? I was mimicking Shulk's toe stub. Oh. Good, turn strike. Toppling is very good, so like, it's two steps for a reason. Fair enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ, every time that happens. Adam Howden can fucking yell. He's great. <laughs> oh my god. 
That scream. Yeah, he's, he's really good at yelling. We got it toppled. There's a timer in the top right. There, top left. There you go. So I can't control what Ryan does, right? You can play as one character. You control what they do. You could, I, I think... I don't know if you can switch party members right now, though, but eventually you can switch party members and you can play as Ryan if you want to control the topple instead of the break, which I do recommend. But, uh, yeah, Ryan will largely do what he wants. Backslash! Come on! Hey! I'm really feeling All right, I'm feeling it. Now it's Ryan's time. Ha! We can definitely do this! No. <laughs> we win! Man, what a bunch of jokers. <laughs> I can see why you said I probably won't be keeping that very high for very long. Yeah, I was just like, I don't know if max is the right answer, but definitely up. The latest addition to your collection can be collect registered in the Collectopedia. Fill in a row or, co or collect all the items in an area to receive a reward. Oh, I remember you doing this for your practice. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. It's like playing bingo. Did they? What what menu was that in? <laughs> uh, it, it's not in that pause menu. Uh, press X. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. There you go. Yeah, there's multiple menus. Like there's a system menu and there's a game menu. I got a white beetle. Oh, I have to manually put them in. Oh. Sometimes they might be needed for quests and all that, so maybe you want to hang on to them for a quest instead of putting them in there. One is never enough. Do the achievements do anything? Uh, no, they're just bragging rights, really. Okay. Come on. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, Shulk. Get stuck in. Eat this. Ha! All right. I'm feeling it. They give you like I think they give you some experience points, but it's usually pretty negligible. Uh, there is like a glitch in the speedrun of one that uses an achievement to get like a ton of levels all at once, though. But yeah. Oh, I got a new skill. Slit edge attack from the side to lower physical defense. Slit edge. Come on, beat. Ha! Right, bring your lightsaber. Boom. Ha! Come on, we can do it. I didn't hear the upper, I just we heard him go, bone. I, I heard an appa. Appa. We win. Let's not lose our heads, though. Got so much stiff hair. So much. <laughs> you really do kill everything, you see. Dude, at the beginning of an RPG, murder everything. Murder, murder everything. Murder everything. I can always count on you. And Tim is giggling. Nothing's <laughs> <laughs> I just Everything love must die! Oh, no. Nerd oh, man on a rampage! Now it's right time. We're the best. Who else wants some? Around. <laughs> so the things I put in here, they only are those are the blue icons, right? There's nothing I'm just gonna get from a regular fight. Uh, yeah, it's only the blue orbs. Uh, materials from enemies do not go in there. Cool potato! Oh man, it's I want to keep- shades. I want to keep my cool potato. Well, the cool good news is if you're finding- If you're finding it in the first stretch of land, you're gonna be finding a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I've just been like, yeah, screw it, let's just put it in here. Mm -hmm. I love cool potato. Let's see, we got the metal lancer, which is, uh... Wait, what? Hmm? Oh, I have a new weapon for uh, for him already? Yeah, an enemy dropped it. Oh, okay. And it looks to be way better than the scrap driver. Mm -hmm. By a lot. Sorry, Shulk, you're bad at making weapons. Oh, no, 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 don't discard. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, plus 25 to auto attack min, plus 49 to auto attack max, plus 2 to ether defense, plus 5% to critical rate. Block rate goes down, that's about it. So, um, yeah, definitely go and equip that though, but I want to tell you a story about the first game. So, 
Uh, your whole minimum and maximum attack stat. Uh, yes. It rolls for random damage within that range. Which makes sense. A lot of games do that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But in Xenoblade 1, there were weapons that were intended to be good and also, like, statuses that were meant to be good that were terrible because the random number generator, the way that it worked is it would roll a random number between zero and whatever the difference between the minimum and maximum was to decide how much damage to add to your minimum to decide the roll. Uh, problem was, they only made the random number generator go from zero to 99, so... <laughs> If your weapon had a range of greater than 100, you could never access those numbers that were higher than 100, and thus what? a lot of a lot of weapons that were meant to be good were actually terrible. Oh. So yeah, because the random number generator could only produce products that were two digits long, uh, that was a glitch with the first game, <laughs> with the original. That's rough. Wait, I Shulk think it was actually Shulk is wearing a cap. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe it's just like a very small like fez or something like that. But uh, yeah, so that was a problem with the original. It was still in the 3DS version. They didn't fix it, but in Definitive Edition, it is fixed. Nothing is different about this outfit. <laughs> I guess they just wanted his uh, like equipment to be non-intrusive on his design to start out. I don't know. Well, meanwhile, I can still take it off and put on the other like the other jacket and shirt. Specifically, mm -hmm. though, the cap for some reason. Weird. Colony Cuff Paula Dean. Whoa! Mondo Cool! That's right, boys. Mondo Cool! People have given me cookbooks by her at conventions and stuff. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I can't believe just... I remember that night we were sitting in the car, and you were saying we should play Wheel of Fortune for TRG, and I'm like, is it really going to be that good? Like, you know, it's a home game of a game show, like, yeah, how well made is it going to be? Because like, usually licensed games are terrible. And you're like, trust me, like, everyone says that, but when you sit down and play Wheel of Fortune, it's actually fun. And then later that night was Calibrary Cuff Paula Dean. It's like I knew. <laughs> And then it changed the channel forever. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oh, it does auto follow. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah, broken antenna. You can make the Gaia beam if your IQ is at least 64. Yeah. Wrong game. Wrong game. Mm. We can switch to Earthbound if you want instead. I mean, I, I'd have plenty to say about Earthbound. <laughs> I would have, I could talk about Earthbound all day and I, I've actually considered making another Earthbound bonus video because I've learned more about the game since my Let's Play, like my remake. So I sometimes consider making a second bonus video with all the new information that's happened since then because there is a surprising amount that I've learned. It's over. Let's not lose our heads though. We're gonna get back to calling now. They're like, so what happened to all the wildlife? It's pretty quiet out there. Uh, nothing. <laughs> just, everything's still alive. We were just preventing overpopulation. You were just doing a very good job at it. We became forest rangers. A lot of people are supportive of this idea. Of you doing more content for Earthbound? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> Oh, well, you're getting up there in levels. Yeah, did I hit level? I'm, I'm just waiting to hit level four and then I'm moving on. Okay. I was about to say only 96 levels to go. <laughs> All right, we'll get a level 99 adventure by the time we get to Colony Nine. I don't know if there's been a level 99 Colony Nine like challenge run that anybody's. Done. I highly doubt anyone is that dedicated. No, no, there is a level 99 in the first reactor of Final Fantasy VII challenge that multiple people have done, and there is a level 99 Destiny Island in Kingdom Hearts challenge that people have done. Oh God. So no, I am convinced that you could. Yes, someone has hit level 99 in Colony Nine. Someone said. Disgusting. Kendrick. And, and okay. you probably still lose to that specific fight that happens soon. Yeah. Uh, Cybershell is a good video on the level 99 challenge in uh, Final Fantasy VII that I really liked. Why is, why is this one blue? 
Oh, that means they're lower level than what I am. Okay, I get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can see at a glance if an enemy is like worth your time or if they would challenge you and all that. And red means, so, it, okay, so what is the range on that? Is it like five levels, I think is what I've heard? I think that's, yeah, I think it's, I know that yellow is a few levels above you, red is considerably above you. I don't know the exact numbers on it. Um, but those colors do have meaning where if an enemy is considerably higher level than you, they get stat bonuses to make it harder for you to hit them. Ah. So it's ten five zero five ten is what I'm seeing. Ah, okay. Five level, okay. Red banners are minimum ten above you. Okay. Or is it three six? Colony oh, three. nine. People are saying it's three six. Okay, that I was about to say is like is it really five ten? But okay. People are giving all different answers. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to asking questions on the internet. Stop in at HQ. Mm -hmm. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah. When I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. One of the best ones I've run into is a uh, on YouTube. Like you do a bunch of research on something, and you have people who try to correct you when they're wrong. <laughs> I mean, someone raised a good point in chat. We're we're level four. It can't be a five to ten range. Oh yeah, actually, that is a good point. <laughs> So it would have to be a three. Make money by defeating Six, monsters three, and selling zero. your loot to a shop. And quests. That's why to trade with named individuals. Some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. <laughs> yeah! Enjoy Woo! quests and trading alongside the story. Silver Crest, even if you don't do any of the trading or complete any quests, however, using these features may give you an advantage in the game. May. All right. Huh. I gotta do it. Ooh. Although I may regret it now, because I don't have I don't have Ryan to take hits for me, so I'm like, you, ah. you are You are such a good player of this game. You are playing so well, just this is ooh look something shiny the game. You are getting it you are getting it down. I just wanted to jump in the water. Yeah, that, yeah, that the water is shiny! The water is shiny. I mean, you're right. Water is shiny. Well, almost 41, 41% complete. Almost halfway there. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Look at all these oh, giant boy. monsters that hopefully won't aggro if I run near them. They're about the same level as you. Anti-air battery one. Oh my gosh. What? No, I just, uh, I thought that enemy was aggressive, but it's not, I guess. Okay, that one has a different icon on it. Uh, the dot dot dot? Yeah. Do you want to know what that means? Sh sure. Those are pack animals. If one of their kind is involved in a fight, they will join. I had a feeling since I saw a line of birds with the same icon, but one was yellow, so I'm like, okay, maybe don't. Yeah. I got a strange. Are you my Late brother, snow. Racer? A lot of the item names in this game are really funny, and they bothered to give every single one a description, too. So you can actually look up and see what the hell it is. More blue dots. Shulk is Pac-Man. More blue dots for Pac-Man. This is my max movement speed, isn't it? Uh... You do get buffs for movement speed later. Okay. I probably don't even need to go out and get these, considering we're gonna have to go outside the colony in a minute anyways. Mm -hmm. I did invest a lot in like movement buffs in my Let's Play, because by choosing to have lower stats in other areas and just doing movement buffs, I could make a video a minute shorter, for instance. Category complete. Ether up too. Uh, I probably can't equip gems yet, huh? You, oh, I think okay. you can. You You're right, I can. Ether up two. Effect value fifteen increases ether by fifteen. But what does ether do? They haven't really explained that. 
There Your ether attacks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It tells me exactly what it says. Yeah, it brings ether up. Their ether attacks, but Shulk also has light heal. Um, if an if an attack icon has a line through it, that means that it's ether. Okay. And I can't look at my abilities yet, so a little, a little early to decide on that one. Wow, the controller is vibrating as I make that jump, so I think that's the warning of like, yeah, you've definitely killed yourself. <laughs> Unless you're landing in water. It's basically simulating Shulk like shaking as he realizes what he has just done. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> Look at all these people are guys. just comparing Ether to magic. Yeah, I think Ether has just become such a standard term for me that I forgot to make the comparison. I like that he's swimming with one hand while holding his sword in place. That's actually kind of impressive. He's got his priorities straight. Nighttime. Oh, you know, I should have actually asked something. Is there fast warping? Uh, I don't know if you have access to it right now, but yes. Okay. I thought there was fast travel at some point, but I figured it yeah, might have been too early. There very much, there very much is. You'll be relying on it a lot. Why are there so many apples in the middle of the water? And I can open this book in the middle of the water. You've almost finished Colony 9's collections. <laughs> <laughs> You're like four items away. Well, now I was going to go back and do progress, but now I'm going to keep swimming. <laughs> it's Big the Cat all over again. Apples grow like cranberries in Colony 9. Didn't you know, John? No, news to me. <laughs> I've been here once or twice. That's it. Noxio says, how's that 100% run going for you, John? Oh, it's going fantastic, man. I'm having a great time. Yeah, See, this, is, this is why I like I had to put the caveat right like like this is how I play these games if you if you're not gonna enjoy this I apologize but this is literally how I play these kind of games it's super addictive just how fast it is to like go do a battle or run over and grab an item or something the fact that you just walk into it to collect it and how fast paced the battles are and you just end up running around a field and finding so much dude we were playing through Elden Ring Reese and I recently and I was driving her insane because I was like oh I gotta check this corner 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 she's like let's just go make progress nothing nope So it's basically going to be an unedited version of Chugga's Let's Play with donation noises. I don't know if I go that far. I'm just like, I'm just fucking around right now. Then once I find a rhythm, we'll just stick with that. I didn't do this in my first episode. In my first episode, I was pretty big on the progress and just only showing things that were along the way of natural progress. But Well, John just ordered a copy of Xenoblade. Thanks. No worries, Cole. There you go. Sold, sold a copy already. Look at that. Hire me, Nintendo. <laughs> Hire me, Nintendo, to advertise all your video games. I'll do it by jumping in the water and swimming a bunch. <laughs> Good. And this is why John will probably be dressing as Mithra. <laughs> yeah, I thought I mean, some of you'd be happy. I'm just. It, I thought but... some of you'd be happy. I'm just faffing about. Because it means there's a better chance of actually there being a, uh, a cosplay happening. Don't you want to see him with another video game character's boobs? One is not enough. You know, gotta add it to the pile. The pile of boobs. <laughs> Very squishy pile. Do you think they want to hire someone who exposes their bugs? Okay, fair enough. You're, you've got a good point. That's why I won't get a hired. Very, a very comfortable pile. <laughs> is the cosplay com character confirmed? Yes or no? I think I was... I, what I was going to do is I was going to open up a suggestions, and it was going to be a pile of, like, male characters, female characters, and mascot characters. And then I would just see which ones were the most popular ones. But from just from quick discussion from my chat uh, over the past month or so, I think the main suggestions were for male characters Dunban uh, or Zeke. I think his name is from two. Zeke uh, is who I was gonna recommend for you. Yeah, Dunban or Zeke for female characters. It was Mithra or Dahlia. And, <laughs> yes. And for mascot characters, it was a no pawn. It was just do a no pawn version of myself. So, in my Let's Play, um, freaking Dahlia, so I, 
I, I immediately opened core crystals when I found them so that we could have fun with where we got the core crystal from, like wh where each blade was. There was like this shirtless guy who was like in a jail cell, which was really funny. Um, Dahlia, I found in a pile of trash. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and when I got her, I went into first person mode and looked at her and I was going, okay, all right, I know this is going to come up. I know people are going to bring this up. You know, there's some kind of controversial things about this character, and I have to say, I agree. And then I immediately panned down to her feet, and I showed that, like, the her high heels were not heels. It was part of her body, and she had, like, a spike coming out of her heel bone. And I'm like, dude, her feet look so painful. This is awful. And then I just cut away. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. It was, I was really proud of that one. <laughs> Thing had the eye of Sauron on it. I'm leaving. That was that was one joke I was really proud of. Is just <laughs> doing that. No, go towards the red. No, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Oh, what new tutorials have we found? Quests. Oh, we've already read these. What a, somebody said Dolly is boring. No, Dolly is weirdly like really good in her quest line. Like. Of all the characters I was expecting to really have a good quest line, she was the last one I expected, but... I remember just freaking out about that in my video about her, where I'm like, Okay, this is a really good quest line, and it was the last thing I expected. I found the strongest dandelions. And the chewiest of radishes. <laughs> The strong dandelion, you have to get, like, an industrial strength fan to, like, blow it away. It doesn't reproduce very well. Uh, I don't know if I can get close to these guys, because I don't know if they aggro. That bat, something tells me he's going to go aggro. I guess we can see how long you can go without getting killed. Yeah, I'll start swimming towards the shore now. All right. Someone says uh, Dolly is like super sweet. Yeah, isn't she supposed to be based off of Dolly Parton? Who's actually she is. supposed to be super sweet in general? So, yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah, she's named for Dolly Parton. Quick step! That's your movement buff that you were wanting. You were wanting. That's what I thought. And the Ragnus Gauntlet. Got level three quick step from Colony 9. That's a good reward. No, no, no. Don't change the sword. Oh, uh, it's an armor only buff. Oh, so I can't equip it? Not until you get armor with slots now. Ah, crap. Ah, we. There is a reason for that. Weapon slots tend to work differently, where there's certain buffs that are specific to weapons and stuff. All right, I should look at the gauntlets. Hang on. Uh... Oh, yep, they're definitely better. Ooh, weight. This game has a weight system, huh? Okay. How much it does that affect things? Uh, weight basically means that you're going to be less agile, you're going to be dodging attacks less. Okay, that's what I figured. So agility effects, basically. Yeah, agility is a really good stat. Watch John have amazing luck in Zoom, but there ain't no core crystal roulette, so we're not going to find out. That's the one thing that kind of bums me out about the file we've got going on during Chaos Cookie. It's like, I want to I wanna see what core crystals come out of it and see if it's if we somehow luckily get Cosmos, but it's just like, I also would rather just play the game myself, so it's like this weird catch-22. Gotcha. It is, um, it is a pretty fun game to share, like, what your experience was, because everyone has a different playthrough, and, um, I have a video on the whole luck-based system, and it goes into how it's rigged in your favor, and how it does not impact your ability to beat the game. Like, I think a lot of people think it does when they first see that there is a system like that. Um, you could absolutely beat the game with any characters you want, even the really terrible ones. I know people who used Electra as one of their main blades throughout the entire game, and they still had a fun time. So, if you can get by with that, you can get by with anything. Just play it and make a new file for Chaos. You see, that's the problem, because there's only one save file, Montaru, and I don't want to have to load it up on another profile. I think that's just weird. I'm sorry, Arizona. Godfrey is awful, and I don't make the rules. <laughs> now, they, they got on my case majorly because Godfrey is one of their favorites, and I just was so mean to him the whole series. It's 
Someone brought up Boreas. Boreas is excellent. In speedruns, you hope to get Boreas um, from a core crystal if you're doing a non-DLC category. Yeah, I have Sauron is watching. I assume this means it's asleep. No, nope, it's definitely moving. Take this! Cute Brog! Ah! ah! To go into what I was saying earlier about Aether, uh, Light Heal has that line drawn through the heart in the middle, that horizontal line that shows that it's affected by Aether. Ooh! <laughs> I knew it! Smash! Well, we're dead. I wanted to fight the Eye of Sauron. It's my own fault. The leader's incapacitated. You will return to the previous landmark. When the leader's HP reaches zero or the leader falls from too great a height, the party will become incapacitated. You'll return to the latest landmark visited. Wait, not only was that an achievement, it was actually a shortcut? What? <laughs> the timing of that alert was really good. Yeah, because you, you go back to the last landmark, and this is the last landmark you were at. It was actually more convenient for you to die. So it was faster for me to die. And I, yep. and I didn't lose any of the shit I picked up? Nope. That uh, is amazing. For, that is absolutely the penalty, hilarious. The penalty for dying is very low. I was purposely not saying anything because I wanted you to be surprised by that because I didn't think you'd found a landmark since you were here. <laughs> wow. Amazing. So what <laughs> So what actually is the penalty for dying? Uh, You go back to the last checkpoint you touched. That's literally it. Wow, yeah, that is a very light. And yeah, just to make sure. It's yep. to incentivize. Yeah, wow. Sorry. It's to incentivize your exploration and curiosity so that you go over and check things out and you don't worry too much about losing items and stuff. All right, that's kind of sick, actually. I like that. Uh, I meanwhile, really like that, that Ryu earlier was from Pokener2499 who kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, a beefy donation for a beefy game. I hope the two of you are, ha are doing well tonight. John, I really hope you enjoy Xenoblade and Emil. I'm very much looking forward to seeing more Octo Expansion. Uh, thank you. Someone else uh, says... I... Oh, sorry, you go ahead. I was going to say, I hit my first brutal level the other day, so that's coming. Dunban's house. Dunban, it's 3 a.m. You awake? Dunban, I can see Fiora in the, in the house. She's just standing in front of the sink for some reason at 3.30 in the morning. That's kind of weird. Fiora, why are you cooking at 3.30 in the morning, Fiora? She stares at her reflection in the sink. It helps her think. She's like, where? Like, I don't even see Dunban. She's really just standing. <laughs> Is there a better window? No, that's the only window. Ooh, red kind of, one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. So the red, red ones, I assume, are more tied to, like, quests. You're that correct. Had a, that had a plus icon next to it, too, so. Yeah. Because I'm going to assume a wedding ring is probably not in the Collectopedia, yeah. It is not a fruit nor a flower. <laughs> but what if it is? Hi there. Oi. Hi. <laughs> this guy got about so late. Did you find some interesting junk? Sure did. It's me, the junk boy. Ooh, you, you. I leveled up and got an affinity coin, which I assume I can't use anytime soon. No, that's, that, well. that'll be explained later. All right, what you got in shop? Select the item you wish to buy and press A to buy it. L and R to select a character and display what their stats would be with the item equipped. Remember to equip purchase items by selecting change equipment from the menu. That's not for me. That's not for me. That's not for me. That's still not for me. <laughs> Uh, that cap is better. Hmm. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <clears throat> I do like that they do this. That's that's neat that they do that. The yeah, it's really easy. Egg. This game Starter is just very help. thoughtfully designed. It doesn't waste your time with anything. <laughs> well, I could just buy this, but it does say heavy, so hmm. hmm. How how big of a difference is like one or two points in weight? Um, so, okay, your agility is really important because it is your ability to evade attacks and it's also your accuracy at the same time. So, mm. 
Agility is a big deal. Having high agility is really good for a physical attacker like Shulk to have. Okay. I'm gonna buy this for him then. I wish Bikini it did show... top! <laughs> I was about to say, I wish it would show what they look like. HP up. Ah, okay, so it shows that they have slots or if they're used up slots. Okay. Yeah, slotted Shulk, equipment I can't believe you can't wear the bikini top, Shulk. Man. The special pads increase volume! So you heard it here first. This game officially said you get more HP if you're padded. It all makes sense to me. Uh, It'd be a crime if you didn't buy that. <laughs> Should have bought it, not bought it out of spite. Uh, who's raiding? I see some countermeasure icons, but whose raid is it? I know I also missed uh, Kaze's earlier. Ooh, I've never seen that Sabirene blush icon. That's really sweet. Is it Aelita's? Oh, Aelita's usually sets uh, no. off the alert. That's where it didn't oh. show up. Hmm. But I will run... I'll run the short ones for this one, because I'm, I'm goofing around a little too much, maybe. good for cuffs at the moment. Oh, do we know? Oh, is there a way to check uh, what slot an item actually needs? Armor gem. So that... Okay, so there's equipment and armor? Does armor specifically state that it has to be body then? So, yeah, armor is anything but a weapon, and then equipment means it can be on anything, and then there's also weapon-specific ones that you don't have. Gotcha. So, there are three different types. Oh, I like the look of that. Even if you don't like the look of something, fashion gear is a thing. It looks like I've, completely, I look like I've completely swapped series here. <laughs> You're, like, from a sci-fi... Same shoes, though. There you go. That's my boy. Well. Should at least sell some stuff here. Uh, all right. So where do I sell? I guess I don't need Scrap Driver anymore because we've already got the better weapon for, for Ryan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not really going to help you unless you just want it because it's a token of friendship. Too late. Uh... <laughs> Keep the bikini top. Uh, what about all? Yeah, what about these things? Are these just? Will I need these for? Yeah, because these have stats tied to them. I've noticed. Those come in handy later on. Okay. What about these guys here? Uh, additional collectibles might be needed for quests. Okay, that's what I figured. And same thing goes for monster materials. Okay. So let's go back here. What did I not buy? I bought pants. Uh, shoes. Get some nice shoes. Get some nice art wow. support. Wow, nine shoes? It's weird that they sell you an odd number of them. That doesn't seem too helpful. Eh, it's just in case you have oh. nine feet. You never know. <laughs> You're like a spider with a defect. And then art manuals. Why does it say not yet learnt? I definitely have this learnt. <laughs> Uh, you just haven't unlocked the ability to use these yet. Oh, okay. So don't buy any of these yet, basically? No. So will these matter at all? Like, will this improve any of those abilities? Um, currently you can level up an art to level 4. This will enable you to get them up to level 7. So I should buy these, is what you're saying. I guess, though, but you can't use them right away. Sorry. Leveling up arts isn't a thing for you yet, so... Alright. Okay, I will ask this question. Will I be learning this ability to use that in the next half hour? No. I don't okay. think so. Then I won't worry about it then. Hello? Oh, someone mentioned not learnt yet just means you haven't used the book yet. Okay, yeah, I getcha. Just so you don't double buy them. That makes sense. I was wrong. <laughs> and uh, rocks, I guess? Yeah, lots of things made of ether. Everything in the world is made from ether. It's like the base element of everything. Well, thank you. The scientist, I definitely needed to know all this. 
Yeah, I gotta look like I'm out of a Tails game. <laughs> Get to eat the lamps, 50% off, nothing sets the romantic mood better. Those do look pretty sensual. Well, I can't buy it, so well? sell me one, I want one. I'm trying never to buy gonna make one. out with anybody if I don't. I need these lamps for all my lamp-related needs. Yes, no. Yes, no. Giorgio! I want curry. No one will sell me lamps or curry. I feel ripped off here. Hi there. Boy there. I want to make some kid size armor for my son. Problem is I don't have enough small scales. Might help me out. Collect one small scale in to Colony 9. View quest in the quest log. You'll get it for me, thanks. You can get small scales by defeating Piranha Haxes. Hope it's not too much trouble. All right, do you want to hear my opinion about side quests? Sure. If that's anything to go by, I would say 90% of the side quests in this game really don't have involved plots at all that you're going to be lost on if you just accept every one you see. So you might as well just accept every quest you see and you will complete them without even trying. Fair enough. Okay, well, do you want to, you want to, you don't want to trade? You just, okay. <laughs> you made it seem like you wanted to trade because you were telling me about it. Some people do, do not trade good stuff with you. Ah. Some people do criticize the side quests in this game for not being too interesting, though, but I think it just kind of enables you to be detached from them and just kind of passively complete them, so there's upsides to it as well. Okay, so that's the icon for the shop. It's a circus. I should probably wait till Fiora joins my party before I go do the quests, right? Um... Because she joins me right after I go to the lab, if memory serves. Uh, yeah, just, you can keep going. I, I, I wouldn't really worry too much about, like, you know, oh, I gotta make sure I have this, oh, I gotta make sure I have that. It's a long game. Okay. Sure, I'll kill something. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but I'm gonna kill it. Any kind of quest objective will also just be marked on your map, so it's stupid easy. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oops, that means... Oh, because quests only show up at certain times, too, don't they? So, the people in the morning are now waking up. You mean they didn't stay up all night like Shulk did, swimming around in the ocean? <laughs> it's great, you don't have to share the water with anybody's kids. I'm surprised I don't have the gear for any of these all automatically. Yeah, I kind of okay. thought you would complete more of these without even trying, but... <laughs> Um, sometimes you can just have the materials right away, and it's great. You heard about him. Times are exchanged one for one. She's got to be one from the, among those offered to the person you're talking to. You only trade if you hand over an item that is worth more money than the one you want to take. Eh, I guess that makes sense. Trade value of 3,000. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Resilient piece of woodwork could make a good springboard. Remedy for fainting. Side effects include croaky laughing. <laughs> I didn't read enough of these item descriptions in my Let's Play, so it's kind of nice getting to see them. All right, what you got? Rainbow Zirconia, which we already found. Ryan did his best to name this. Reflects light like a pretty rainbow. Red and sour, thus difficult to cook. Uses uh, Use medicinally as restorative. I think I have all these already, don't I? Looks like. I think so, yeah. I don't even know if you can, if you have anything that's that high of value either. Well, that was my my value I set there, I thought. Talking to named residents of an area or town will register them on the affinity chart, which shows their relationships between party members and the residents. Hey, your first friend. At age 17. <laughs> yeah, finally. Age oh. 18, rather. I was actually going to go on and move oh, on things, man. but I realized there's something I need to Do go you check. you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. What? People are so proud of you for making your first friend. Finally. 7 a.m. She's still standing there, folks. <laughs> She's still at that kitchen table. 
This is just some little Easter egg, but like, you're making lore out of this. This is great. Four hours to cook who knows what. Come back later, she'll be there all day. <laughs> So I should probably talk to all the green dots, I'm assuming. Uh, it's uh, up to you if you just want like more insight on things that are going on or to trade with more people, but the green dots are just basically standard I mean, NPCs. The green dots are affecting my affinity chart, so I feel like I should probably do that at the very least, right? Is, there is a benefit to getting people on the affinity chart, I assume. Yeah, like, you, you'll get, Hi, you can get development points with the area from just having more people and filling in more relationships as you complete more quests and stuff, like, where you'll realize different characters are involved in each other's lives. Like, I'm not gonna half-ass the playthrough, I'm gonna try <laughs> stuff, so. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's good that you're willing to try out all the different systems in the game, because a lot of them do tie into each other, and I feel like people do have a what? less fun time if they don't try any of the side stuff. Find the key. Find the key, find the key. If I find it, I'll hand it to you. He then proceeded to not find the key. Oh wow, I actually did not find the key. <laughs> I misread the mini-map, I thought that was gonna lead to the person over there. Wait, huh? where is this? Oh, they're down there, okay. Or up there, I guess, in this case. Where is Gem Man? Oh, hello, Gem Man! Gem Man okay. might interest you. Rather, there's something to tell you. It's about this here furnace. Looks like a sword, doesn't it? When creatures die, they leave uh, ether crystals behind. Everyone knows that, don't they? Ether particles in the body are. Oops, the stuff's too complicated. Just remember that creatures drop ether crystals when they die. We haven't got to be the best part yet. Really? Don't be shocked. This first compresses the ether crystals and removes impurities. You use it to make ether gems. What? No reaction. Hmm, kid these days, you don't know how amazing this thing is. You can use the furnace to make ether gems. They've got the, the powers of ether crystals, but highly condensed. Those ether gems can give you all sorts of powers. They're great for use in the home or by the defense force. Just put them in weapons or armor with slots. Yeah, just, that, you're just describing materia, dude. I played a Final Fantasy before. <laughs> I've already done this, sir. Oh, well, if it's free, I'm not gonna complain. Thank you. That's what it took to get the reaction free stuff. Yeah. I th the irony is, I think it's actually weaker than what I currently have on my weapon. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it's the same strength. Oh, actually, no, it's slightly better. Yeah, it is. Never True. mind then. <laughs> All right, you shut me up. He knew what he was talking about. You can get 12% more HP, which can never hurt. Yeah, Shulk could use that of all characters. I don't. Who's there? Looks like you how great Ether gems are. I suppose you want to try making a gem yourself? You're out of luck. I know how you feel, but you can't. Ether furnace is broken down. Oh, you don't look too bothered. Never mind, just try coming back later. Okay, I'll just stab more things and find them in the wild. Okay, bye. Gonna go murder for Ether. I'm addicted to gems now. Yeah. And crushing them up to make dust? Yep. Shulk's so addicted he's snorting ether crystals. <laughs> I just need 10% more HP! Wait, where's the person they keep highlighting that's here? Maybe they're gone at this time <gasps> of the day. Why is their dot still here? Or did I just... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, I think they're down here, actually. Yep. Hi, Miller. Hello. So it's the materia system minus the spells. Yeah, but like a bunch of games have done that exact same mechanic, so. Mm -hmm. Hello. I was about to say, Grandma just needed them to replace like her teeth that fell out. <laughs> she just wants some fangs for her own. 
So I've really done, like, no progress on any of these, huh? Nah, but it'll happen. I figure at least one of these I might have had something for. Eh, there's still more. You might might get lucky. True. Hi there. I think this guy I completed without trying in my first episode. Oh, no, no never mind. No, kill a bunch of things. All right. I feel safer already. That guy actually has more than one. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, the dot Hi there. is still there. My god, how many do you have? <laughs> he just really hates animals. How many times did you get attacked? This one dude got messed up by every wild animal in he the got, area. Jesus. He got, he got beaten up by rabbits twice. Do you have any <laughs> idea how difficult that is? Sir, have you thought of maybe just locking yourself in your own house? <laughs> Skeeters <Jesus>. are bugs. <laughs> he's like making it a he's like making it a goal in his life to get beaten up by every prey animal. I want to help you, but I don't know how to... Oh, I do know how to get up to you. Never mind. <laughs> hey, why Tom is here. I'm just yelling at people, Cheryl. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. There must be people who care, but Shulk is not one of them. And someone just sitting in the corner here. It's like that one guy who's not having a good time at a school dance. Hello, small child! Come and see! How did you find me? This is my secret place. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? Okay, just maybe turn off your, like, your GPS tracker and you'll be fine. Uh. Uh. Damn it. Alright. Nah. Well, that might be for the best that I can't just platform around everywhere. If we could parkour everywhere, I'd be doomed. Hello. How's the research going, Shulk? Make sure you don't overdo it. You, know, you get absorbed and you work and lose track of time. I mean, you're right. We should be taking a break right now. That's how absorbed I got. Hmm. You're so absorbed that you restored all of your HP. Well, I can't talk to uh, these. I uh, talk to you, though. My arm is delivering goods to the residential district. Same job every day, but my lovely arm has worked so hard. I'm doing great. Proud of you. All right, we gotta go trigger this cutscene. If this is the one I think it is, we at least gotta trigger this Hello. one. Colony features landmarks, important places in hidden areas, and locations, places of interest. Find all the landmarks and locations in the area to open up the complete area map. Uh, oh, wrong menu. There uh, you go. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, there's still a bunch of things I haven't done yet. It looks like all the red ones are the uh, ones I need for missions. All right, here we go. Oh, he's even better on the Switch. He's like Waluigi's three times divorced uncle. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? 
You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. Oh, Jesus. I forgot, <laughs> yep. about, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Actually punched him in the face. Before they see any action. So this guy's a running gag. In every Xeno game, there's always somebody named Van Damme. He's named Van Damme in the Japanese version, but it was localized as Van Gar. Um... And uh, usually they have something to do with the military, and they really like punching people. It's kind of like Sid from What's Final up? Fantasy, just more intense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, did you have another one? What's up? Mm -hmm. The military is short-staffed. Yeah, yeah the, apparently they're so short-staffed, this one guy has all the missions. There we go. All right, no one else? really knows why why they latched onto the name Van Damme so much, or just Van Names in general, but a lot of people think there's someone at oh. Monolith that's a really big fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme, because, I mean, I you can know, believe punches, that. punches people, real badass, you know? Yes! Get a move on, you maggots! Oh, my uh, I was hoping my affinity would go up with that. Go over to the fence. Hang on. You're doing a great job fixing that. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, there's Ryan doing push-ups. Yep. Who's this? Sport the spot the main character. <laughs> Why are they doing their push-ups like that? So, I don't know if this is official form, but like, look at... So, look at how their bodies are doing the push-ups. They're like, they're actually like gyrating their hips when they do them. Is that normal? Uh, I don't think that's normal for push-up form. Usually yeah. keeping my back straight... Yeah, it's such bad form. I was about to say, usually keeping my back straight is the main thing that I get told in training. Yeah, because, like, they're, they're literally, like, it, it looks like something else, but, uh, yeah, doing the, <laughs> let's say they're doing the worm. It definitely looks like they're trying to do the worm. I think it might be the metal guards on their legs that are kind of affecting the movement, maybe, yeah, that's may what they were going maybe, for. Maybe, because it does, like, at least for Ryan, it does look like that is sticking into the ground a bit. Mm -hmm. So I assume I can't go in and talk to him as he's doing his push-ups and mess with him. No. Ah, oh, damn. But it's a fun little Easter egg that, just like Fiori, you can see him. Kaisley's doing up? something unlike Fiora. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What's, that? What's what up? Did say? It's a shame he's gone. Good old Mum Car, everyone's favorite character. Yes. It's impossible for one person to do. Can you go as a one person and do it for me? I was hoping you could make friends. Oh no, that dot disappeared. Now I'll never get Affinity Plus. Oh, hi. Emmy Leader. I've met so many people! Like eight of them. <laughs> A whole eight people! Hey. Cans. All right, and I know uh, where we need to go is coming up here now, so maybe we should take a break here, and then we'll dig into the next bit of story after that, huh? What do you think? Sure, that's fine. I do have a humble request for a video that we can watch together, like, in during the intermission. Uh, sure. If we can screen share this to the stream, I think they will appreciate it a lot, because a lot of people were going nuts for this in the chat. 
Oh, you know what? I screwed up a couple things. Hang on, let me... I gotta load that in, too, because I was given transitions and I never loaded them in. Oops. So, what... What am I loading up? Got it pulled up for you. Uh, don't we want that to happen first, though? <laughs> what? Hang on. No, th this is the cutscene that we just watched, don't worry. Oh, okay, never mind, I thought this was something else. No. Hang on a second, you know, we'll watch this right now then, it's only 30 seconds long. Only 40 seconds? Is, is there supposed to be audio? Yeah, there's supposed to be audio. No, you gotta unmute on. it. Yeah, hang on. Usually these default, <laughs> usually these default have audio on. Alright. artillery. How long have you been in the force? 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. 44 seconds. Get the artillery back to the military district. Double time! But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only three days, sir. You're nothing but us! Same old cut. At this rate, the men will explode. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, Emil's a big fan of YouTube poops. <laughs> I am! <laughs> Alright, let's I just love it. <laughs> let's drop some eggs. Okay. JT let's Average, Alex Soren, uh, e Ewol Nodge, thank you all for the gifts of the sub bombs. Uh, Octofractal, Yakob Dragolonk. Tyson Pikachu 178, The Creed 52, uh, The Plaz is here, Brady Power 175, uh, Human Garbador, TH 1996, Scarfy Conley, and Genesis Cat 66. Welcome to the stream with the new subs. Hopefully, you enjoy your time here, and I apologize in advance. Everyone else, the list is a little too long to read, but special shout outs to Padman for 83, Tattoo 14 for 81, Leaf Raider at 92, Jimera 0 for 103, Your Pet Cat for 96, Michael for the win at 88, Poke Dude 40, what? Poke Dude 14 at 91, rather. Uh, I guess of Serbia for, at 84. And Bear, Unedited Bear at 94. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight. Our courtesy of the following people. They have anything in the carton. Oh, there's a bunch. Uh, okay. Hmm? I'll be right back. I gotta go squeeze my lemon. Please never word it like that ever again. I do every <laughs> day. <laughs> Anyways. This is from that, the humble fellow. Just play your battle music. Shit. Just play your fucking music. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Oh, fuck. I was listening to that. I had a feeling that was going to show up at some point in it. Purple Fire Kitty with Cow Mageddon. This proceeded to happen 331 more times. Cool Al with Moscow Egg. Oh, Mio might want to be here for this one. Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the frickin' Egg. I don't know the frickin' Egg. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Egg. Montaro with Xenoblade, a whole host of eggs. What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. Crashing the mobile axe into a artillery. How long have you been in the force? 40 seconds. It's the same video we just watched. 44 seconds. Get the artillery back it's to the It's literally the same video. Time. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only three days. In a You're nothing but s***ers. Same old worst. At this rate, the men will explode. Amazing. Amazing.
We play back at 33 and check the timeline. What? Hang on, what? Replay back at 33 and check the timeline. Th what? Crash it. Oh. I don't get it. Oh, there's 40 seconds left to the video. Crashing the mobile axe into a artillery. How long have you been in the force? 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. 44 seconds. Get the artillery. Now I get it. Now I get it. Skip loop it. Luxon says, skip my egg. It's the same joke again. What? <laughs> Is it really the same one again? <laughs> into a house, into artillery. How long have you been in the Twitch chat? Forty seconds. I don't want any excuses. Forty-four seconds. I love it. Back to the car in double time. But it's impossible to get back to the car in only three days, sir. You're nothing but because. <laughs> Emil left after making us watch this video, not oh, for two people to have already submitted it before he left. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Oh my god. Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking going to break. When we come back, uh, uh, let me check art block. I'm wondering if we should do art block tonight or if we should do it at the end, like I said. Maybe we'll do our block. Maybe we will do our block. Uh, but yeah. We'll go to break. When we come back, we'll continue the game. I can't believe it came up twice. Oh, he's gone. I can tell you that Proton John is secretly a turtle. You had so many options and you went with turtle? Yes! I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. I mean, I didn't want to exaggerate the truth. <laughs> no, at least stretch it a little. <laughs> I'm actually sneaking off now. You you missed some things while I was gone. I'll tell you when I get back. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, I guess if we're on intermission for real, uh, maybe I'll edit another episode of Splatoon 2 while I just sit here. <laughs> Editing stream. Oh, I remember this match. It was really hype. It's a good thing I'm communicating this information to you who can't see what I'm doing.
Well, that's my favorite part of making a video is. I'm one of those weirdos who actually enjoys the editing process a lot. I have been my own editor for a very long time. Uh, pretty much since the beginning. In Splatoon 2, some segments are edited by Yo Schiller, but the actual episode episode part of it, I still do that. I put a lot of myself into my edits, and I usually have a comedic timing in mind whenever I do gags when I'm recording it, so... I don't know. I'm one of those weirdos who just likes it. Like, so I try to edit one video a day if I can. I usually have a buffer of like three or four videos ahead of time, and you know, that gradually gets eaten as life gets in the way. Um, try to kind of do videos in bombs, as I call them, where it's like, you know, a streak of daily videos for a while so people know to expect them. Um, usually I edit one and then I do something else, be it record or some other work that needs to be done. Uh, Mainly I do it that way so that I can record in bulk on days when I legitimately want to record so that I'm never forcing it. So I'm gonna if I have a behind the scenes video of my recording and setup. I actually have a documentary on my channel about my process. Uh, it's called Creating a Let's Play. Um, made it a couple of years ago. It's about two hours long though, but there are timestamps in the description for specific topics if you just want to know about recording or just want to know about why I do what I do commentary wise or editing process, those sorts of things. I haven't really played Pokemon Unite in a while, that came up. Playing Xenoblade too soon, uh... Someone asked if, like, there's something that I recommend other than my video for beginners. Not really, I think that... The game explains the other stuff fine, it's just that there's certain things it doesn't, and my video covers those. Hi, John. Did chat tell you what happened? Uh, not really, no. They were just kind of asking me questions about my creative process. Gotcha. Because I started doing an editing stream. <laughs> um, the video that you showed... Yeah? ...had been submitted to the, to the egg pack, the carton, twice. So literally, oh. as after you left, we saw it two other times. It had been submitted before you even had us air it. That's and they really were, they funny. And they were both edits to the actual people... stream. <laughs> I knew that people wouldn't let us get through the stream without watching it, so I pulled it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'm going to quickly, like, clip back to both of these for a second. Because the first one, um... The first one, you'll appreciate what they did here. This is from Montaru. Mm -hmm. Idiots! What the hell are you playing at? Just look at the timer at the bottom. Uh -oh. Crashing the mobile axe into a artillery. How long have you been in the force? 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. 44 seconds. Get the artillery back to the military district. Double time. But it and it's, it's just the same, but then Goldman explodes at the end. So they timed up the 40 and 44 seconds to the actual 40 and 44 seconds of the video. <laughs> and then Luxon also happened to submit the same egg right after, but instead. Oh, yeah. Oops. Crashing the mobile egg into a house, into artillery. <laughs> How long have you been in the Twitch chat? 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. 44 seconds. Get the egg back to the cart in double time. But it's impossible to get back to the egg carton in only three days, sir. You're nothing but because. <laughs> then you got punched with sticker star. <laughs> sticker star! <laughs> At this rate, the chuggers will explode. The chuggers will explode. The, the egg is mightier than the house. All right. Gosh, I, I remember in... Oh God. In elementary school, we found out that this one uh, lady who was, like, really instrumental to the curriculum of our English class, uh, she 
she like created this type of essay and I remember that we always had to write using like the rules that she had created for writing an essay. And I remember that everyone in my class hated it. And then we found out that she was local to the area. So kids from our school actually went and egged her house. No. <laughs> It's a bit extreme, but all right. Yeah. Uh, a bit extreme. Uh. Mm. So, um, I like how the chat is like half like, wow, that's mean. And the other half is just like, damn, awesome. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good to go. I got my uh, fresh uh, cold glass of iced tea with freshly squeezed lemon in it. I knew you were going to go make an actual lemonade. I knew it. In my heart of yeah, hearts. Yeah, what did you think I was talking about? Just shaking my head. Uh, give me a second here I now. Don't get it. I gotta quickly set up something here. Uh, use track mats. Alright. You might hear something here. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to set up something in advance. I'm actually setting them up right now, so my apologies to Draco, because uh, that headache kind of threw me off more than I expected. Someone said that they think their girlfriend would really like the story of Xenoblade, but not so much the gameplay. Um, there is a casual mode for it, um, could play it for, and there is also a cutscene theater in the game itself, if, if you want to do that. There's also, uh, you can customize the difficulty in many ways. You can make enemies non-aggressive and stuff. Now, I asked chat this, but let me get your opinion. Emil, you want me to do art block now for a little bit, or uh, do you want to hop right back into the game? We absolutely can look at some art. You always got great stuff. All right. Uh, so let's go first and foremost then with some quick... Uh, with some quick donos, and then we'll hop into art block. Luxon brings up that both 1 and 2 have very generous easy modes and customizable difficulty, which I very much applaud. I think every game should have customizable difficulty just because it's a good accessibility feature. Yeah. I agree. Rexora says, Sadly, won't be able to catch this live on account of an apparently very busy birthday weekend, birthday dinner, graduation party, housewarming, and Mother's Day. Oh my, but I look forward to watching the VOD on YouTube. Happy birthday, Rex. Don't worry, the VOD will be up on YouTube tomorrow. So for those who don't know, uh, I know some of you don't like watching Twitch or watching Twitch VODs, but uh, all streams I do go on a YouTube channel the next day. I have to wait 24 hours, as is stipulated in the partner contract. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So go to youtube.com slash protonjohnlivestreams if you want to see the actual YouTube ones there. Yeah, someone, the exclamation VOD also drops the, the link to that channel as well. So every stream that we do over here gets eventually put over there. Usually like a day later. Mm -hmm. Xander the Goose says, Hey John, guess who lost a fight to concrete the other day? Ooh. Well, I mean, you probably shouldn't have fought, I assume, the ground or a building. Really, those are tough calls there. No win situations. Hopefully you're all right. Mr. Joe oh, yeah. says, is there any shows, games, and video games you expected to dislike but ended up liking in the end? Hmm. Uh, I know there's there's one, but I'm not. It's blanking right now on what, what it is. Virtually every time I've gone, ew, I don't like superheroes, and then I give it a chance, I end up liking it. So that tells me I should probably start saying I like superhero things and not turn my nose up at it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Elden Ring, I did not expect to like. I liked it, but also I will never play another <laughs> Souls like after that. <laughs> I remember, oh god, I have a story actually about the superhero thing if you have time. Uh, so, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy without knowing it was a Marvel movie at all. I just saw it, and I was like, wow, that was a really good movie. And you know, I didn't know that it was like Marvel at all, I just liked it. 
and I remember that I was talking about it with a friend who was a big fan of it, and I went, yeah, it was a really good movie, except, like, there was this one scene with this, like, evil purple dude, and, like, it never came up again, and I don't know why that was in the movie. <laughs> and he, like, lost his shit at me for that. I can see why he would have done that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanos, kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Yeah, like, there was, like, a purple guy on a throne, and he, like, said some menacing stuff, and then it never came up again. And I was just like, why was that in there? And then he had to explain the continuity to me. Mondo Butt says, Howdy, John and Chugga. Got set tested for celiac disease yesterday. It's why I've been so absent in the community the last few months. So hopefully I hear back mm -hmm. about that soon. Here's hoping for some good news on that, Mondo. Hopefully you're all yeah. right. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Arizona says, uh, bro, do you not understand? You probably do how excited I am. I'm going to get to use my emotes so much. <laughs> I know you're excited about this playthrough, Ari. Hopefully I don't let you down or, uh, or I do and you still enjoy it. I'm qu question mark. I don't know. We'll the worst you can do is call it a piece of shit. Eh, I don't think that about the game, so. No, I don't think you would, honestly. I think, like, worst case, you would say you'd, it's good, but it's not for you. But even that, I don't think you'll do. Mm. Silverblade says, Xenoblade, let's go! This is one of my favorite series of all times, and I'm so happy to see you play through this for the first part with the man who got me into the series. So excited Ooh. to see this game played on stream. Also, I respect the series that I refuse to spoil anything about this game, especially the ending. Thank you, Silver. Xeno community is super respectful when it comes to that. I really applaud them. Like, they have code names for everything, and it's great, so you can talk about stuff, you know, and not spoil it. Faison Farmer says, Math time, 28K divided by 60 equals 466.666 repeating, and that divided by 60 equals 7.777 repeating. So yeah, ripperoni to that guy who got timed out. <laughs> Fox Attic says, Hello, John and Chugga. Excited to see where this Xenoblade adventure brings you to. I would also like to share today is my birthday. Instead of John's luck, can I borrow Chugga's luck instead? Happy birthday. I, uh... Uh, sure. You can borrow my luck. The last <laughs> time someone asked to borrow my luck was at PAX, and that guy ended up winning the Omega fun. <laughs> So it's some good quality luck, apparently. So congrats, Fox, on yep, the good I... quality luck. My luck has been absurd lately, even for my standards. I felt kind of unlucky last year, so I think it was just clogged up, and now it's, like, flooding out. <laughs> Good old luck clog. <laughs> and Fezmeko says, I can use this stream very much. I could use some cheering up because my cat Annie passed on Thursday. Oh, no, Amph. Aww. And it was devastating to me. Thank you for the stream, John. Amph, I'm so sorry. We'll do our best to cheer you up tonight. You can be toxic cow, as you say. Iceboy35 says, Oh, cool, a lightsaber battle. I love Star Wars, the Xenoblade. Afroblade Master says, This user was yeeted into the sun for posting spoilers. Viperfang says, Reject spoilers, return to cow. Retro64 Polygon says, Hey guys, just want to say, Emil Let's Playing Xenoblade and introducing me to the series left a big impact on me, so much so that I began writing a game story based heavily on it. It, sorry, based on it, Chrono Trigger, and Final Fantasy VII. I hope to study programming and make my game a reality someday. Good luck, John, and here's hoping my donation doesn't get buried under a pile of 200 cows this time. True. Sorry about that. That happened last time. I'm glad I had that effect, and, uh, yeah, it's a long road. Don't get discouraged. Know that writing is rewriting. You gotta, you know, gonna be doing a lot, but it can be fun. Uh, Silver AC says, Hello, John, Emil, and chat. I have been spoiled so much on Xenoblade Chronicles 1 by miscommunications and misunderstandings to the point I actively can't play the first game since I know too much. Please don't spoil it. Uh, spoil it. It can make people not want to play. Yeah, that's another reason I want there's no, com no spoilers in chat because there's probably a bunch of people here that have never seen the story before and I want them to experience it genuinely too. For what it's worth, I do think that Xenoblade 1 is very replayable because there is a lot of foreshadowing and it's very well done. It's... That was one of the reasons that I made my Let's Play of the game, because I wanted to, like, show that to people who had already played it. Uh, Rio9 says, I found the Wesker spoiler ditty uh, thing, and also giving money because I have a job where, unfortunately, I will have to be asleep specifically when you normally stream. Good luck with Emil and Shulk at the same time. Sorry, Rio. I, I'm going to prevent from showing the, the ditty. So I get, you know what? We'll show it once. I think we have to show it at least once. Mm -hmm. So uh, we when we did a playthrough of Final Fantasy V for the four-job Fiesta years ago, I had done it blind. I didn't know 
the the full story. I knew bits and pieces. And uh, we, someone, I forget who exactly, made this song. Uh, was it? Actually, it looks like it might have been Serafi Cat, because that's who also posted it here on YouTube. Uh, oh. Well, hang on, we gotta destroy Nova <laughs> first. <laughs> but uh, I was gonna say, so we used to play this ditty all the time. We stopped showing it simply because people just kept spoiling to make me show it more. So that's oh, why I had no. to stop showing it, because that had the adverse effect. But uh, this is what we used to play all the time when we had spoilers. Dude, you are an idiot. That is rewarding people breaking the I rules. I know. Well, I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we stopped showing it. That's exactly why good, we stopped showing it because it was good because it was incentivizing people to keep spoiling more. So that's why we stopped airing it. But that was our old spoiler alert. Uh, Mr. Viperfang says one last cow attempt. Enjoy the game. Pseudobite says what do the mods do to this person who posted spoilers? They done banned him. God damn it. Mm. Tyson Pikachu says take all my bits, John. Thank you, Tyson. Uh, Icy Boy 35 says, The M69, the most powerful piece of mechon equipment ever made. <laughs> Becky Star says, uh, Okay, so it may come as a bit of a shock, but uh, Dunban, best, husbando. The clapping is in the message, too. So, <laughs> not surprised people are going to be gushing over Dunban. Uh, Xenotype C says, So I want I went to a flea market today and found someone selling a physical Switch copy of the Scott Pilgrim game complete in box for $15 and immediately bought it because there's no way I was going to find it that cheap again. I also picked up a copy of Adam's Family Value SNES for cheap. It was a good day. Jesus, I think that Scott Pilgrim complete physical is, I think digital it's more than 15 bucks. so that's an absolute steal. That's 15 bucks worth of fun, easy. Yeah, and Adam's Family Values is an interesting game. I highly recommend it. So good pickup, Xenotype. <laughs> Anyone else have really lucky finds at PAX this year? I definitely did. Uh, Eight. Laughing Boy actually picked up a couple Eight. games I'm missing for the SNES Eight. collection. Uh, Eight. Ooh, there, so I got a couple. Eight. I'm, I'm down to, Eight. I think, under 50 games good missing for SNES Eight. now. Eight. Possibly oh, under sweet. possibly under 40, because Roland has a bunch I haven't gotten yet from him. Oh, Roland is great. He, uh, I, I like during Coliseum, like how he like opens the store for us after hours so that we can, you know, just go and shop once we're off shift. Yeah. Next time I'm down there, I'm gonna pick up a bunch of stuff. I'm sure. Uh, Russ is with us. Says when this is done, John will be really feeling it. Retro Six Four Polygon says, "Funny, you're doing more collecting than me, and I'm playing Banjo Kazooie." <laughs> uh, they also say John should cosplay as Korra. I don't know who Korra is. Oh, Korra, uh, do you mind if I show you a picture of a Xenoblade 2 character? I mean, I can look it up. Okay. It's spelled with one R, but oh, actually, no, you read the alert, so you would know that. Yeah, it's physically written there. Uh, I see their avatar. Where's their full body? Oh, there's their full body. I mean, that's about as revealing as, like, Pyra or Mithra, for those who don't know. Pyra's not that revealing. Like you see her hips, but like I mean, that's it's about it's it. it's the same body, the same body suit, but like uh, Pyra has like the undersuit there. So yeah, it's pretty similar. Eh, it's not a bad design. Hmm. Uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, or yeah, no, Mister Scratch Three says, been watching since Mario Party Two. Cheers to you both. Appreciate it. Some random fox says, I'm considering getting Xenoblade now. Thanks, John and Emil. <laughs> He wasn't so sure of when I was saying it, but when you're saying it, it pushes it over the top. Does it? <laughs> mm. Russ is with us, says, Hey, John, I hope you're really feeling it tonight. Say hi to Emil for me. Well, I mean, you can do that yourself. Ah. He's right there. Hi. See? You just did it. Eternal X Eden says, Time to tip the scales in your favor. Good evening from the swamps of Louisiana, John and Emil. Thank you, Eden. Mm -hmm. Hope you're doing good. Waverunner56 says, been playing Xeno Gears in preparation for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's pretty fun, pretty dark, and has Big Joe. Chugga, do you think uh, the Van Ham in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is actually a certain salvager we already know? Or is he actually Big Joe from Gears? Can't see I don't, any other answer, honestly. I don't really know. It's very confusing, and I've been trying to like not think about it too much. <laughs> All right, hang on. I got to 
Yeah, I'll load up something here because we have a tradition on Saturdays that someone likes continuing. So let's let's play it. Mm -hmm. From Philip J. Fry. All right, it's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my All Rush mixtape. Let's rock. Digital Man intensifies a second time because it wasn't read out last week. Sorry about that, Philip J. Fry, but appreciate you committing to the bit. Mm. Uh, Rio the Mountain Hermit says, I use this cow to ask this question regarding a potential Mithra cosplay for John. Tights or no tights? Uh, I had to see a comparison. I think that she's better with them. Honestly, I think Honestly, that... I kind of feel the same way. Uh, but I'm gonna see it. Oh yeah, there we go. This is perfect. There's an actual someone actually put a together comparison of the two. Because I knew I know the internet well enough to know that someone would do that. I'm gonna be yeah, honest, no, I... chat. Yo, the tights look way better in that design. The tights look yeah, way yeah, better. Like, I, I, by covering I, her up, you've unintentionally made her hotter. <laughs> here here's my idea. The tights, but probably still the cleavage window. Absolute power combination between the two. Although I gonna I'm gonna be honest, I actually kind of dig this design too. So yeah. If, if the Mithra cosplay ends up being the actual winning option, it would be something like that. Some combination of those two parts. Yeah, the chat is overwhelmingly saying the right design is better. There, there's a reason, in my Let's Play, I mostly use that design. Because it was just, I think it looks way better. And on top of that, it uh, that costume actually buffs her stats, which I really like. People don't seem to realize that less skin can be more. I think the majority of the chat seems to be uh, on par with that. Most, yeah, a couple of mez. I mean, I can see that. But yeah, majority do seem to be be down mm -hmm. for that. Uh, where were we on left on this? Oh, 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 my dude says, has anyone ever gone as much as to be done? Uh, sorry, as to be do more want look like? Yes. Craft Diamond says, Hey, John and Emil, I've been watching you since you both have basically started, and I'm super excited to watch you play through it with the man that made me fall in love with Xenoblade 1. I love you both so much, and TRG too. Enjoy the adventure. I know you will. Thank you, Craft, Thank you. for hanging around as long as you have. Oh, 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 oh my dude says, Someone had their message buried before? Cow horrible. God damn it. <laughs> Eden says, Here's for the TRG, Here for the TRG crew. Time to do my bit cheer. Yuki Mizuno says, hey guys, I remember I donated last time, but can't remember what I said. Anyways, I know John won't be able to go, but is Emil thinking about going to Momocon this month? I would like to know in advance before making a set decision to go. Unfortunately, I'm still kind of in the considering it stage. Um, I am going to have to travel this month to film something, and it would wholly hinge on whether or not I get sick from that. The best description is none of us are going to be there for sure as guests. A thou like 100%, that's confirmed. So if Emil or Tim goes, they're just going, is just hanging out. Yeah, I will not be a part of any panels or shows. Uh, we would love to bring it back, though, but just not yet. Yeah, and I yeah, and I 100% will not be able to be there. So I'll be here all month. And I would greatly oppose doing Throne Controllers without a host. <laughs> Xenotype C says, I just realized I forgot to mention I also grabbed a copy of Owen Dawn 2 today. Jesus, you got some great pickups today. Oh, good game, good game. It's a shame it never got continued after that point. <laughs> Stinky Ghost says, Hey, John and Emil, been a fan of Chugga since like 2009. Crazy to think I've been watching since middle school and now I'm done with college. Thanks for the years of quality entertainment and always being a source of positivity in so many people's lives. Mm -hmm. Cartoxin says, Everyone remembers Calvary Cuff and Mutant of Arc, but who remembers Fiesta Keys to the Garage? I've recently been rewatching Wheel of Fortune. We've, uh, Tim and I have watched highlights of Wheel of Fortune and, uh, it's so funny to me because I watch those older videos and you egg me on to do bad guesses so much where you're just <laughs> living for it. <laughs> well, of course, because it's I because it's an interesting view into your mind, to be honest. Because <laughs> it's just That's like, what... Wh why? What? Where? How? <laughs> that is what my psyche looks like. Because, like, I'll, I'll, we're at, like, Mossy Turkey, and you would be like, tell me more, Emil, what is the Mossy Turkey? <laughs> tell me about this Mossy Turkey Turner. Uh, Willow says, hi, John and Chugga. Today is my two-year anniversary on HRT. Oh, congrats. This community and your uh, stream slash VODs helped me through some hard times over, uh, over COVID. Glad to be of service. Hopefully, you've yeah. been, hopefully you're doing good, too, Willow. Hopefully two years has been doing you some good mentally there. And hopefully Mr. Joe... Been good. Hope Oh, yeah, go, go, go. Hopefully finish. it's been good. Hope you enjoyed me posting a freaking movie every single day of COVID with Xenoblade 2. <laughs> <too. laughs> 
And we'll end with this one from Mr. Joe saying, Wanted to give my answer to the question I asked you in a meal. For show, it was the anime prison school. For movies, it was the Angry Birds movie in Black Swan. And for games, it was, funnily enough, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, which I'm very addicted to right now. This was, I believe, uh, movies and games and shows you didn't think you were going to like, but ended up actually liking. Oh, okay. All right, let's do a short art block. I think I'll just do five minutes on art block, and then we'll get back to the game. Yeah. So art block starts. Yes. Apologies if you're from Emil's crew and you've never seen an art block here because they're they're a bit of a ride sometimes. Let's start here with uh, myself and Rosa John here from Casual Philip. I was experimenting with my art style, starting started drawing John, then I drew Rosa, then I made line art, suddenly color. Might as well add some visual effects. Now time to shade. I should stop. This still further looks solidifies good, team tights. Again, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, Emil, we recently made the. The star tights, the star leggings, actual part of Rosa's proper design now. And ooh, again, I think it's a, it solidifies the look for her. Yeah, it's great, and like it kind of plays off of Ro the under like Rosalina's dress in Smash Brothers, just being a space pattern. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, I got a message. I got pinged on just then. Uh, can we get a small message saying don't post spoilers, even joke spoilers in Buru either? Oh my god, are people posting joke spoilers in the Buru? Don't fucking do that, guys, please. This is the warning. If we catch you putting joke spoilers or post spoilers in the Buru, you're gonna get access revoked from the Buru too. Someone posted a car spoiler to to bring the point. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> this is this is the free warning. This is the nice warning. All right. Anyways, Philip, these came out really well. I like this is oh, God. I don't know how to describe the style. It looks a bit more like uh, like the Genity Tartovsky art style, like the Dexter's Lab Clone Wars style. It kind of looks like that. It's actually a nice like uh, style change from you, but it looks really good. And I like how you follow this up with this picture here, where you just say. Also, wide Rosa. <laughs> Thank you for the widest of the roses. I call her Rosa. Rosa. Speaking of Rosa, since it is May, it is time for mermaid art prompts. So from Mika, since it's mermaid, I want to draw mermaid Rosa John, since I've always liked Captain Ricky's original art of her. Very nice mermaid look for Rosa. Thank you both. Next up. Uh, from Merrick Sage. Well, if you guys think aliens are rad, then I'll be happy to oblige. This is by no means a crazy design, but this is my take on the little gray men. Aptly named Grays, these cosmic beings seem to fit in here. So I figured I'd make one especially for you. Now, a bit of lore as to why he's here. Also, credits to the creator of Tiger Brew, Tiger Brows, and the BVA. Under the bear, since his lore involves them a bit. You were issued orders to investigate strange noises coming from an abandoned facility that once were used in the creation of the famous Tiger Brew. However, the facility suffers intense damage uh, and was left unused. That is, until an unfamiliar creature began using it for his lab. It was crude and basic, but he had himself made himself at home. This tall creature towered over you with a look of irritation, his skin an ash gray tone ble uh, blending him into the darkness around him. It was then you saw in his hand a familiar looking object. Who are you and why are you interrupting my work? You explain your orders to only be prom promptly brushed off by the creature. I have no time for this. If I ever get home, I must continue to work my post-haste. Read that. I read that a little too fast. I have no time for this. If I am ever to get home, I must continue my work post-haste. The crackling object in his hand catches your attention once more. Sensing your gaze, he becomes more uneasy and cautious. If you're wise, you wouldn't try to touch it. This blasted artifact is the reason I'm in this mess to start with. Cool. Interesting story, Merrick. It's a little longer than I usually read on the messages here for the posts, but still interesting lore. Thank you for writing. writing style. Atmospheric. Yeah. All right, jumping over to page one. Uh, wait, what? Hang on. That, okay, so I, I guess a bunch of posts must have gotten deleted because uh, a bunch of the ones we've already looked at are here. So let's jump to this one. From TBG Hunter. The always kind-hearted and caring wife of John L. Lukagen makes it her goal to make sure the troops are well cared for, even adopting the role as the nation's motherly figure. Just because she comes off as gentle to her forces doesn't mean she won't step up and get serious when enemies threaten her home and will stop at nothing to protect her nation or her hot wife. Passability. More horsepower. All Starbit land vehicles consume 25% less fuel and are not affected by weather penalties. CO power. Relaxogen. Luca allows the troops to take it easy and relax, healing all units for three points. Super CO power. V3 firepower. Uh, all direct combat vehicles firepowers are increased by 35% and all indirect combat vehicles increased by 20%. And CO theme is Sonia's theme. Yeah, she said she probably is not going to go back and do relaxogen because she hasn't felt relaxed herself. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I remember that she said that the thing that kind of discouraged her was a copyright claim. That too. That also threw things off. It was basically a hassle for not as much, uh, for, for the work not being worth it. So yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, TPG Hunter's been doing a mod of Advance Wars that it's been basically replacing all the sprites with stuff related to our team, like uh, all of us as Coliseum crew. Oh. So let me jump back in their post for a second because they've already done a couple. And Emil, you, unless you didn't look at the ones I sent you, like here's your character. Oh, I think I might have seen this in passing somewhere. Yeah, I sent you the awesome. link to this because this was posted, I think, last week. So that's yeah, you. yeah, because you, you sent me all the Buru links. That's right. Yeah. So this was that's your uh, CO in the game, and the two other people on your group are Jules. Oh. And Masay's your your air infantry uh, person there. <laughs> My group so far has uh, Luca and, oh shoot, when did you do my CO? That would have been a while back, I guess. There we go. I like the Murphy the Fairy there. And my CO is, is uh, Ronel, I think is what, uh, yeah, Rosa John, he came in Ronel, I think was the actual full name. John L. Yeah, John L. There we go, that's what it was, not Ronel, John L. So there you go. So uh, all these posts here that you're seeing, they're troops that are focused around all of our stuff. Like here's a bunch for Tim. There's Tim's flag. You have a bunch yeah. uh, tied to yours as well. Like here's the pick pick troops. I think are your main troops. Ooh, you could almost make a whole mod out of this. <laughs> no, that's that's exactly the plan. Is eventually they're going to make a full mod out of it. So, oh, shoot, so, this, so the four nations are are mine, Tim's, yours, and Tom's. So it's actually been really cool following like the whole, the, all the work on this. They've done a great job so far. Yeah, yeah that's impressive. And yeah, the the, the, res the respective themes. Sonia's theme for Luca Jin. Uh, John L's theme is lashes. Yours is Nell's theme. Uh, Jules is Jess's theme, and Masay gets Sammy's theme. Sammy's theme's a good one. And I said this was gonna be a short R block, and we've already burned most of our timer. Oops. Uh, then I guess we'll just finish up the <laughs> remaining three minutes. I'm like, I saw the Mephis Squawk emote. I hadn't seen that before. Like, gosh, it's like a recent edition, I think. <laughs> no, guy, we, we've we been, yeah, well, I was like, just don't even do anything fake because anything tongue in cheek just makes you look like an ass. So yeah, that's why you got told off, guy. Sorry about that. But yeah, just don't do that again. From Horizon Star, on the disc only podcast, we have the highest production values on our sound end. Not much, not so much on the actual recording area. MC Gamer, Jesus Christ, why are you so heavy, man? How much lapis do you have in your inventory? Chugga, hold me still, I'm slipping. There's a few <laughs> Easter eggs here related to different things. The GameCube is actually the Japanese-only Char custom promotional GameCube and Game Boy Player, and the way Fat Man's holding MC up, yeah, it's just a Minecraft fishing pole. <laughs> a hint towards MC's prior YouTube content is a Minecraft help here. <sighs> Kirby's laying down on me during this, also he just really wants me to pet him. Nice. Yeah, there are you and Meal trying to help out Fat Man. He's just holding up MC in midair, and we're just chilling by the GameCube. Yeah. Good stuff oh as God, always, Horizon. I get to hold God. <laughs> Congrats. Next up is a roster of alts and non-alts from Super Icy. So that discussion about heights of a few of the alts about two weeks ago sparked me to show off the heights of the alts I've made. I've had them set for quite a while, but never really publicized them. Rosa and Icy are added for scale. Honestly, I'm surprised that this got documented at all, considering some of the company involved. I apparently might have learned over the years that I have a type, and this may or may not be a cry for help. Is your type tall, curvy women with the midriff uh, showing usually? Because I've noticed that trend in your art, Icy. Because <laughs> the shortest <laughs> character is 5 foot 11. Unless you're counting base form of Joliana, but she goes to Rosa's height at 6'10 anyway, so... Doesn't matter. And then Wiley John's just my height, anyways. So. I like the inkling hair there. Oh, yeah. Have you not seen Joanne? That's our actual, like, our Splatoon League mascot. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, so, uh, well, sorry, one of, because we have three here. This is the latest promo art that we did for this current season. Because the, the league's been around three years. So we've got Oni and Geary and uh, uh. Joanna. Or, sorry, Joanne. I don't know why I said Joanna. That's a different alt. So those are the, the three alts representing, or I guess, sorry, the three mascots, rather, representing our league. Joanne's an, an alt, and Oni and Geary are, are fan characters, and, but represent each of the leagues. That's so sweet. Now, if you want, dude, uh, we haven't really, uh, we can talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if you also, I should point out, if you ever go to the Brewer and you're curious about any of the characters, all the tags, if you click them, you can see any of the art that they've all been featured in in the past. Like, some of it There's will make no art, sense man. because, like, some of it's, 
like in comics and stuff like this, where lore is happening. Others are, might just be sketches, but there's like a lot of cool stuff you can learn about all the different characters that are around here. Just don't get intimidated by the fact that Rosa John has 3,826 tags. <laughs> <laughs> One tag for every centimeter of circumference. Okay, if her circumference was 3,826, what measurement is that, dare I ask? Uh, XYZ? Tiger's having a field day right now. Thank you, Icy. And, uh, I got just enough time to end on this one here. Oh, god damn it. From Junko. So when I was looking back at the recent Disc Only Podcast episode where you mentioned the Tropical Crunch cereal and the cereal in fruit juice trend that's been going on, I thought of drawing something about blue fruit loops and blueberry juice. Hashtag sorry. Oh. See, I don't mind blueberries. Oh. But for some <laughs> reason, blue, the chemical or whatever it is they use for blue fruit loops tastes like poison to me. It's disgusting. It makes me throw oh. up. But I don't know why, because as people have told me, it's the same flavor. They don't add any flavor to any of them, but the dye they use for some reason gets an adverse reaction out of me. So I so, find blue fruit loops absolutely disgusting. You just feel like you're gonna you're going to die. They they literally make me like gag. Yes. And I it like it's there's no extra flavor added. It's literally whatever they use in the dye. Well the good news is you and I compliment each other. I can pick out all the blue fruit loops out of your out of your bowl while you eat it. I, I, maybe before I eat it might be better. Okay, we'll talk. I hate that we have to talk about this. Will we do another <laughs> art block tonight by chance? Yes, I'll be doing, there's two more art blocks tonight, so. And there's I've plenty. always said, like, oh, sorry. Go for it. I've always said, like, you should find a romantic partner who, like, hates, like, whatever your favorite food is and, like, loves whatever your least favorite is so you can just, like, eat each other's things and, you know, be symbiosis. So weird when you order like that. There's plenty more article. I'm actually going to show this one in particular because this was on Twitter the other day and I just want to really show how yes. nice this one is. From Arizona. I... No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. Uh, him being Shulk and me being Ryan is a great interpretation. I posted this to Twitter, but might as well post this here to celebrate the playthrough. I did ask these two who they'd prefer to be and they said separately Shulk and Ryan. Also, it's hard to tell, but fun fact, I made sure Emil and John have the ether rings present in Hom Hom's eyes. This is one of those weird quirks Hom's have that separates them from humans. How oh, neat. Ooh, you've really outdone yourself. This is one of your better pictures. Nicely done, Ari. Thank you so much. And yeah, because I was just like, well, I mean, out of the main character roster, like, I don't know character X or Y, but uh, from everyone else, it would probably, Shulk would make the most sense because it's my playthrough. I'm like, you know, the dumb ban or, eh, I don't know, the, you're a sniper you're, chick. You're a smart guy. You're occasionally snarky. You yell really well. <laughs> I don't know if I have a blood curdling scream like he has, but I'll work on it. All right, let's get back to the game. But first, uh, I forgot to enable these earlier. Let's see how these actually look. Let me, cause I put the system into sleep mode so it didn't just idle too much. Go. He is nuzzling his wet nose mouth into my belly. So this was the sound you guys heard earlier. <laughs> I've got two more of those as well. I haven't seen the other two. That was the only one I had seen. So uh, apologies. Philip Draco made those for me before the stream, but I had a nasty headache and kind of was late getting everything set up because of it and forgot to download them. So I just got them loaded in during break. So, Drake, thanks for making those. Yeah, thank you. Turned out great. Oh, cool, you got a Star Wars transition. God damn it. All right, so this should hop into a scene right away, I believe. Hop on. Ooh, the brick texture in here is way nicer than it was in the original. I like this. Damn it, I only have one small shell. I need a two. Ah. Uh, I think it's because I put one in. Enough. I think I already put one in a book. Uh, no, I think the small shell's an enemy thing. Oh, okay. I think it's what the crabbles dropped. I right. like the little pictures of the colony there. That wasn't there in the original. What, the little... Yeah, the other page. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think that was there. I think I think uh, the item description was on the right. Huh. It does look nicer, I'll give you that. What could this be? All right, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! I am a real American. 
<laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers? Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power... Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most civilly injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk. Why is it sparkling? It was the Monaco. Because it's important. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out and get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. I mean, look at you. You're stapling metal all over your face and your body. That ain't healthy for a kid your age. <laughs> Is it held on with glue or some kind of adhesive? So I didn't realize the Monado's panel is actually glass. I thought it was hollow and just a hologram. So, so I, in, in I, my mind, I always wonder why people didn't just like put their arm through it and like spin it around. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that would be the masterful strategy with the Monado. Hmm. I've never, I don't know if it's actually like clear and it's just glass along the edges and then it's like projecting No, they, they the just said it was glass. They just said the middle no. was glass, multi-layered. But it can be multi-layer and just be glass along the edges and be projecting already. light inward. You didn't have to bring sure. it to That's how man. I was attempting to do. Don't be silly. She finally finished making dinner! Do you want me it to only took you? nine hours! <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes. But now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Mechon have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. How is his, like, abs no, still that think good think after a year of not a being able to move? He was really <laughs> in shape. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. 
He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Some of you will appreciate Maybe. this Fiora is Tataru in I'm Final fine, Fantasy XIV. Off you go. Oh, why did you? Okay, no, okay. hang on. Sorry, I had a realization, I think it was yesterday or today, and mm -hmm. it's been pissing me off okay. nonstop. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All the characters so far that I know of in Xenoblade all match character tropes from Final Fantasy X. <sighs> Dunban, <laughs> Dunban is Orin. Fiora is Riku. 100% Rhine is Waka. <sighs> And Shulk is both Titus and Yuna. I have to be prepared to use it. Just the perfect again. fusion. Yeah. I guess a lot of people said that like Yuna should have been the main character, or like Titus and Yuna should have just been one essentially. Like, but hey. <laughs> Find Shulk and give him the food. Is that a bad thing? No, but no. But it pissed me off once I realized it. <laughs> Titus plus Yuna equals Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Shulk is just tuna fish. John, I hate you for this knowledge. Tell me I'm wrong, though! Tuna. Kirby, aw, oh, Kirby. You're getting way too into these scratches. You are. Doctor says that's not healthy for you. She's no. giggling and laughing. She realized it's time to make more soup. So she was just... She, oh, she wasn't even... She was like standing in front of the cutting board, or was she standing in front of the sink? I can't tell which. I thought it was closer to the sink, personally. Because I, I said that she was just looking at a reflection down in the sink. Just washing her hands the entire time. Her movement speed is so much faster than Shulk's, my god. The photo on Dunban's wall is the hey, Bionis shoulder, right? and like, Thanks. that was in the original where it was like an unused area. Hey. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I made I him go touch grass. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the yeah. one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. I'm not gonna lie. If it wasn't for the fact that I think it triggers copyright, I would be playing I Am A Real American every time Dixon walked on screen. I might go find the NES version of, of Hulk Hogan's theme just to do that. So what were you saying? This one here? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, no, maybe maybe not that one? I, mean, I that know just that there like is a like field. a... Yeah, there is, like, a picture on the wall that was the Bayana shoulder. It, maybe it's taken out of the Definitive Edition? Maybe. I guess it is playable now, so it's not... Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that tower and all yeah. that, that's a screenshot of the Bayana shoulder, which, that was in the original. Huh. Uh, where it was an unused area. So it's one of the few times you could see the Bayana shoulder in the base game. Courage. Alright, so she's got hunting knives... Colony cap on. I mean, it's your call. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh huh. I mean, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. well, Did she? Was there actually? Was that the only part of the the suit too? What else is here? Because oh, I could have bought her defense knives. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's a spotted equipment. Mm hmm. Oh, there were bikini bottoms. It also gives HP up. And it has a weight of zero. It's like you're wearing nothing at all. Nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> nothing at all. All right. Uh, I guess I probably shouldn't commit too much to, the, to her outfit, but... Kirby, you get way too into this. Critical rate goes down, but block rate goes up, and so does everything else. I mean, it's worth it. Gosh, Kirby, you're actually... How do I ask this question without spoiling? Oh. Huh? Oh. You can, if you a can member, write... If a member's not in your party... Do you get access to anything you put in their equipment slot? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Besides, it's early oh, game. Oh, I'm getting a lot of no's. Oh, okay, now I'm getting no's, now I'm getting yeses. It's, it, it's early game, it's not like this equipment is valuable. I guess. Uh, 
I All know right. who I am. I know who I am. I am a real <laughs> American! <laughs> Dixon, where are you? I need you right now! Hang on, I think actually Draco sent me something for this. There we go. She's, he's not on screen, so it doesn't quite work. I am Proton John, the world's ultimate life form. I love the boobs. This is who I am. Oh my god, Kirby, you are getting way too into this. My leg is like falling asleep, Kirby. I might need to kick you off. Thank you, Draco, for sending me that. That, that is me Rare's so cover of I Am A Real American that they put in one of the NES games they've made. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta move. Let me see if he runs away from me moving. He sometimes does, sometimes he doesn't. Depends how into it he is. Uh, yeah, he's running away. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, so my legs were, like, falling asleep. <laughs> It's not gonna tell me... Okay, so I only, I'm only missing two things now, I just realized. A fruit and a flower. Mm hmm Wow. They don't have to be mutually exclusive. They could be from a cherry tree. I'm just, like, I'm just, like, keeping an eye on item collected just in case. I assume it's in a specific location around us, and I'm just not gonna stumble into it. Yeah, it's likely in just a spot you have not been to yet. Because uh, they are based on location, and sometimes even time. sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mechon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk. Bikini delivery. Fiora. <laughs> mm. She got real dressed this up for great. this meeting. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. You haven't even bitten into it yet. Shulk, you say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always you delicious. Have a bite mark. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank yeah. Goodness. He's clearly not biting it now. <laughs> yeah. It does have one uh, in usual. there. I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. Because I'm wearing all this heavy armor. So quiet here. It's not that the sandwich is curry in the Japanese version. They were planning on making it curry, but that's a stereotype in Japan, so they changed it to a sandwich, not yeah, knowing that that's a stereotype in America. That's, <laughs> yeah. They changed it to a sandwich to make it less sexist, and then whoops. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was soup, originally. I hope every day can be like that. <laughs> well, no, Dunbat was talking about soup. Yeah, the soup is for Dunban. Huh? Huh? Nothing happened. The debris siren. Oh. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. Take that, garbage. I assume the soup's in the thermos. I figured the same away. thing. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. Maybe I can find some pants along the way. You'd hate that. What? 
I said you'd hate that. I don't care if she's fully dressed or not, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, so isn't there a heart to heart up here? Damn, you know out. stuff. I told you, dude. I watched you do the first hour of this game. Yeah, but this was like eight years ago. <laughs> Stupid things get locked in my brain, man. Yeah, you're you're really good at recalling stuff. It's why I haven't forgotten that bit in the end. So. Pants suck, let her live a little. I was gonna say, that's spoken like most women I know. <laughs> that's fair. Characters can shout out to an affinity cry to another party member to encourage or assist them depending on how the battle is going for them. Go to a party member and press B to encourage or help. Encourage the spirited party members, help party members suffering days or topple. Encouragement and help improve the affinity between the two party members. And there's the heart to heart prompt. If the affinity between two party members is deep enough, they can have a heart to heart. Search for the search for the handshake. Each one indicates a possible heart to heart. I'm gonna check out the hand in hand in Art Outlook Park. For further information, see the heart to heart continued tutorial. You can now switch the party leader. You can change the party leader, the character you control directly in the party menu. Select the character you want as leader and press A, then move the cursor on the far left. Press left or right and press S to confirm. Okay. Oh, she slowed down. What is that sound? <laughs> It's pretty dramatic. That that sounds like she's getting ready to throw up. <laughs> no, it's like when you want to throw up but you can't, it's just air. <laughs> Dry heave. You know right. you know what's a true fact that I hate? Hmm. You have not thrown up for the last time. And if you have, you're almost dead. <laughs> I, I hate how deep that statement is. Yeah, if you have thrown up for the last time, you're almost dead. He's right. All right, let's have a heart to heart. <laughs> View the details of a heart to heart. Sunrise. That was the tu that was the tutorial on heart to heart. This is very helpful. Thanks, game. All right, so I know I know there's a right and wrong way to do these, so I just don't remember which is the correct response. Good, try your luck. Hey Shulk, you remember that time we watched the sunrise right here? It was when we were quite young. Yeah, I remember. We came because I invited you, or you and Dunban. Uh oh, no, he definitely didn't invite her. I can I can remember that because he Shulk doesn't think about her in that way half the time. You you had a big falling out. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Really, it had nothing to do with you. I still dragged you out and made you stay up all night. I'm glad we did it, even though it was only that one time. We talked for hours and hours about all our hopes and dreams, and then you fell asleep in my arm as we looked up at the stars. Oh no! What? What is it? Oh, Shulk. I have this terrible feeling I said something really embarrassing. Like I wanted to get married. Uh, Shulk, you don't remember what I said back then? <laughs> <laughs> I love this game's humor. It's great. Oh, no! Oh, no! Isn't it good? I really want to answer you wanted to go fishing, and my heart tells me that's actually the correct answer of the two based on her response. I'm gonna ask, which is the correct answer? Which is the best affinity answer? Oh, I need to look this up. I don't remember. Uh, sunrise in the park, Xenoblade. I, most people are saying fishing. Most people are saying fishing. Let's see. Uh... Oh, kind of is correct. A couple of people are telling me now. It's not fishing. Because I know that she wants to know that she, like, Shulk remembered, but I know at the same time she doesn't kind want him to remember exactly. Kind of is the best possible route. That's what I thought. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hold on, I know I'll get it. Uh, don't I think worry. I, I think I said fishing my first time because I thought like, oh, she wants Shulk to not remember. That's why I paused because I'm like, I think, but I think that's also wrong. I don't need to remember. Forget I haven't even brought it up. Anyways, that's the end of that conversation. Let's talk about something else. Okay, whatever you say, Fjord. Yes, I think it pulled it off. He doesn't suspect a thing. He doesn't suspect I've wanted to marry him for years. Ooh. I hope he remembers one day. 
But for now, it's just a bit too embarrassing, she said, standing around in her bikini. With, actually, hang on! What the fuck are those daggers even attached to right now? Are they? <laughs> They're just attached to her hips! They're not even attached to the suit! Uh, she just, uh, she, she, uh, she glued Velcro to her hips. <laughs> this game is kind of mean with the heart-to-hearts. There's times where you swear something should be correct because it's in character, and then they're like, Oh, no, when I was, like, four, I became afraid of bugs. And then that affects the answer. So sometimes they troll you with those. Her hips are magnetic. Okay, so am I, do I want to get in the blue area or the white area? Uh, is this reverse of Xeno 2 or is it the same as Xeno 2? What do you mean blue area slash white area? Sorry. So the the white do I want the white border or do I want the blue area inside on the timing ones? Uh you want the ring on the outside. That you is do, the so I want the white circle. Okay. Yes. Yes. Outer it's the same. Outer ring is better than inner. Yes. Better outy than any. Chance. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Hidden bomb. There's nothing around here that can beat us. Let's stay focused. We can do it. We can do it. Let's stay focused. Ooh, a lot of objectives around here. Yeah, should we clear some of these out? Maybe now that we have two party members, can actually do some things. It would be more effective this way. Um, you can you certainly can try. Then. How, wait, when, how, oh, you teleported, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's a way better swimmer than Shulkis. Although I gotta give Shulk credit for swimming with just, like, with one hand, one arm. That's his, really impressive. His speed's pretty impressive. I, look, at, look at the way he moves his legs, too. Jesus, that is, Sora would be proud of that. <laughs> She is in swimwear, someone pointed out in the chat. That's eh, fair. It would be funny, that, well, it'd it'd be funny if that actually did speed up her movement on, in the water. There are some movement-based buffs, though, but yeah, this just gives HP up. For some reason, it looks like she's doing the Macarena. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> I can sort of see it in her arm movement. Twilight Princess Link has the most awkward swimming animation. It's been so long, he swims I don't know if I even arm. remember. He swims with one arm as well, for no reason. His other arm isn't holding on to anything. I think Black Kiwi is one of the ones we're missing. It is. There's another row. Almost a full bingo. Agility up. Agility two. up. So we're only missing one flower. So the strong dandelion line and moon flower and whatever the third one is. Oops. Shulk, would you like some agility? Uh... I just realized how much HP up she currently has right now because of this bikini top. And still only like half as much HP as Shulk has. That's the crazy thing. Shulk only has one on him. Uh, ah, oh, fuck. Well, yeah, I don't really want to give... Well, yeah, how much do you lose if I do that? No, oh, it doesn't show me the actual loss, huh? Oh, it does. There we go. Perfect. Uh, you know what? 80, 80 that's fine. Take the agility up. Yeah. So. With agility, you might not even get hit in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Cliff Lake. Also means that you'll hit enemies above your level more often. So, uh, I'll ask this question to you now, uh, especially because mm. I'm seeing the color markers for some of these guys. Should I be doing this now, or should I wait till a bit later? Uh, target or does that? it even matter? Uh, level eight. You might be able to pull it off, though, but you will have an easier time later, of course. Um, maybe try and see how you do. I don't know if you'll be able to take two of them at a time, though. Uh, yeah, no, we're fucked. <laughs> we fucked. And I, I can't, oh, I hate, wait, why are, oh, I guess he died too? Uh, if the leader falls and you have no revives, that is what oh. the side's a lost. Okay. Currently, you have no revives at all, so. Like, I don't think you can even have revives right now. Wait, how am I supposed to kill these guys? I can't attack in the water, right? Uh... Oh gosh, you've been noticed. Oh, there we go, there's some ground. 
I fight the ants! Okay. Just one more left. Come on! We can do it! He hasn't learned to fear the boss music. Let's keep this up. I think I may actually switch back to Shulk. Your call. Uh, you are used to him. True. I mean, she's got some decent moves. But, she, like, Shulk's got more health and has the healing move, which he she won't do. Or, sorry, he won't do on AI, it seems like. So, mm. so I think for that alone, I'm going to switch to him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I wasn't doing it for a second there. I must have been doing it wrong. These menus are so nice. He does, but the AI tends to be inconsistent how they use it. I mean, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. So I figured it'd be better just to just do it myself. Yeah, like, if you want a job done right, do it yourself, because the AI is never going to be as good as it is, you know, it's never going to do exactly what you specifically want. All right, this fight's going great so far. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Let's, let's just hit this thing, then. Pheromones. It attracted itself by raising its offense. Makes sense to me. You are being pretty ambitious with the things that you're trying to do. I mean, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> um, uh, what happened? I think it has a lengthy death. Oh, uh. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, what happened? I don't actually know. What? Uh, what? Why is it doing this? Uh. Beware of unique monsters! <laughs> unique monsters are much stronger than other monsters in the field! Defeat a unique monster and you'll be rewarded with better quality items. <sighs> I don't know what just happened. I... I've never oh, seen Oh, I aggroed a lot of things, oh, God, though! Okay, I aggroed a lot of things! Enjoy! <laughs> Oh, it, I think it did it run away. Take this. Uh, here come more. Uh, Felony Peron hacks. Uh, Congratulations, we've named a glitch after you. Hooray! <laughs> that never happens. Ha have you actually had a glitch named for you? No, and I doubt I ever will. But sometimes I never know. Mm. Quest completed. I I don't like it whenever glitches have boring names. I like it when they have fun names that have lore behind them, and it's not just like hexadecimal manipulation. You know, I I don't like that. All right, can't. Let's try our luck on this guy again. Um, I think this guy, this guy can't die. You've graced him with the gift of immortality. Finally, I've helped someone's life for the better by stabbing them. Good call. Sometimes your arts do uh, like have better range than your auto attack does, so sometimes you begin a fight like that. Remember when you glitched the boss in the boiler room in Luigi's Mansion 3? Yep. So I literally took him out of the water. I'm gonna go all out. I have to see this. Yeah, if someone's got the clip of that, by all means, uh, pop it in chat. And I'll let I'd know love what. to. I I've never heard of this. Yeah, like you know the the dude you fight in like the uh, in the little floaty. Uh huh. Yeah, I literally pulled him out of the water. I want to see how the game handles that. Okay. Poorly. <laughs> the game handles it poorly. By the way, the startup of most arts don't matter for bonus effects. Just when you click it, that is very helpful to know. Thank you. Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Can that happen again, please? Can we have that oh, happen no. again? Oh, it didn't happen this time. Oh, they they're they're staying this time. Oh nope. no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I guess. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You want to try? Yeah, can you, can you come over again? Yeah, I'm, I'm right over here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love the boss music. Makes it even come on. better. Come on, come on. I'm over here. Only that one has vision. Oh yeah, no. 
Hi. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's staying. Uh. This time, it's actually staying. Oh, you're going to actually try to fight it. Okay. You got break. I don't think you even have a topple art in this party, though. And it's gone. Uh. <laughs> yeah, these fish want nothing to do with you. <laughs> these fish are immortal. All right, I've been sent the clip. So if you haven't, here's what happened. Uh, oh. Uh, let me pop this up full screen. Oh, sound. Ah. Uh, okay. What? Um. What? John, not what the uh, hell did I you do now? To do? I assume this is actually part of the fight, right? Getting him up here? No. Wait, what? No. <laughs> he no. went to That's sleep. Part of the fight. Oh, dude, it gets no. even better. Watch this next part. I hope this is in also in the clip. Oh, he might not be in the red. No, maybe not. Like, this is what he normally does if you're up there and he's still in the water. Seriously, this isn't supposed to happen? No, it's no. not, John. You well, sound helpful, though. I would do best break shit. I thought this was what I was supposed to do. It no, gave it me wasn't. a button prompt and everything. Ah, oh. oh, it's not going to do it, is it? Oh, is it? was it not in the same clip? Damn it. Damn it, hang on. Another day, another glitch is a good title. Alright, Smite just rated, so let's run countermeasures for Smite. And then I'm gonna go find that the other half of that clip that what happens and let's see if I can watch it. I can't believe the fish. Smite, thank you so much for the raid. Hope your stream was good, dude. I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles Blind for the first time. It has been an experience so far, from what I'm being told. Uh, oh, yeah, so for those wondering, I actually found the other clip. So this was the other half of the clip. And uh, also, it is missing volume. Hang on a second. There we go, fixed. Him up here? No. Wait, what? No. That's no. not part of the fight. So <laughs> it pops while well, he's up there, and he Wh clips he into go? the wall, what? so I can't what find him. <laughs> there he is. You got him. I had never seen that before until <laughs> now. So yeah, my uh, my Luigi's Mansion three playthrough was an experience. It's weird because I don't remember like running into any glitches on my playthrough. Oh, we found a lot, my dude. We found a lot. Here, let me. Where? Oh, where's the one with the boo? Hang on. That one might be my favorite. The boo and also like the ghost teleportation. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Okay. Enjoy this one too. Oh, you have bombs. Okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> Um, oh, what? What? <laughs> okay. I did it. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, You've well, discovered a new way of making out. Here, here's another. Which one was this one? Was it this one here? Oh, it's this one. There we go. Dude, I will say. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um. Okay, sure. Yeah, high five for that. Mm. The whole playthrough was just a mess, dude. <laughs> it was a mess. It's nuts. Like I didn't. I don't think I ran into any glitches at all. I found so many. I remember like commending it for being such a polished game. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, hang on. Let me let me save since we don't know what the fuck's going on with our game at the moment while we're here. Uh. Uh. Do I need to kill? I need to kill that bat still. Mm hmm. Can you be killed yet, sir? Backslash. Nope. You've. No, you have gifted him with immortality. He's he's really just stuck, and I can't get those bats because of it. Uh, your stream edge could probably reach over there when it flies close. He did flash for a second earlier. He just can't be in the water. No. no. There is the lure command, but I don't know if you have it unlocked yet. Oh, I do. I do. Hang on. You're right. I forgot you about lure. Okay. I didn't know if it was unlocked. No, it's not unlocked, I don't think. It it worked earlier. It did? Or at least it was on my rotation. Well, fuck it. I'm just going to steal all the shit that's here, then. It's not like the stuff here can even hurt you, anyway. It keeps running away. It just runs up, tells Hello. you it doesn't like you. Can you please oh. come fight me? Yeah, this thing's supposed to be a boss. <laughs> oh, yep, now I can see why you say that now. Oh, okay. How do I switch targets? There we go. There you go. Oh, we got a problem. Oh, I haven't learned the ability to revive yet, have I? Nope. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. You're right. We can do it, Shulk. One down. So, so I one to really, go. I can't do anything about her. She's just done, so. Nope. She's just done. Neat. She's done like dinner. This isn't going well. You're right, Shulk. <laughs> it really isn't. All right. Never mind. It went great. He left. <laughs> Now you can have an easier second attempt where the little guy is not there. <laughs> what? How you feeling, I... Fiora? You doing better? <laughs> you enjoying your time at the beach? <laughs> he's like, well, you know, a, a near-death experience really mellows a girl out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. He wants oh, more. Boy. <laughs> I've never seen what this. He wants <laughs> to in the fight. You know what? It's it's just bugged. I'm leaving. This is dumb. He refuses to fight you. I'm just leaving. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he, you can come back later when you have more tools. I guess the fish just think that violence isn't worth it. John out here really making Xenoblade 1 look like Xenoblade 2 before 8 months of some stability patches. Oh, gosh. I had some weird glitches happen to me early on in Xenoblade 2 where every episode had some really funny glitch in it. I had one time where, um, I think I had this enormous bird enemy perch on a tree, but it perched, like, sideways on it, so it was just, like, standing on, like, the, on the tree, on the vertical face of the tree. Hey, that's the one I'm missing. Dawn Hydrangea. 100%. Yay! Poison and Defense 3. And your reward for overall? Carbon Driver. Something for Ryan. Mm hmm. Level up! And another Affinity Coin. I guess I don't need to pick up these as much anymore now. Oh, there's so many things there. Oh, there's so many things there. But these are things I need to kill for missions. Can I get to them without dealing with anything else? Let's see. Backslash! Ah! 
Let's keep up the press glitter. Dude, you're not just ballsy, you're dragon ballsy. <laughs> Should I not be playing like this? It's fun, it's, it's, it's entertaining, I'm not like telling you to stop, I'm just kind of watching you go and seeing what you can get away with. Quest complete. So do I have to cash these in, or are they auto-cashed? That was it. The quest complete thing popped up. So it's auto-cashed in. Nice. Yes. Some quests will make you go talk to the person. Those are usually the quests that actually have stories, though. But these are just like, hey, can you go, like, beat up the rabbit that looked at my five-year-old funny? And, like, yeah, it's nothing. Uh, collection orbs being marked. That was not in the original. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's, that seems very, very helpful, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, there is a certain item that shall remain nameless, he'll get there eventually, that was miserable in the original, where I have spent upwards of four hours getting all the ones that you need for 100%. Ew. Alright. Uh, what about any of the other missions we want to do here? Uh, looks like everything else is back at base, basically. Alright, let's head back to town, then. Mm hmm. So how how sorry far, uh, what what's up? There's a typo in the chat. It says that fucking utem, and I just laughed at that. Uh, <laughs> I don't you know, know why. I found that so Damn funny. those utems! <laughs> sorry, you were saying. And see, so how long into the game do I have to wait till I get the ability to revive a partner? Uh, it's coming up. Don't worry. Okay. You're just doing things very out of order, but that's kind of the beauty of it. You can do whatever you want. The game is very, very loose in what it will let you do. Skip travel? Apparently that's also not enabled yet. Uh, I think you did it earlier. No, I think. What do you mean I unlocked it? Area maps. Hang on. It says confirm. Oh, yeah, I can. Never mind. Yeah. Told you. Skip it. Skip it. Uh, I know that there is a one-button shortcut to open the map that you're currently it's in. It's Y. It, People told me earlier it's Y. I just haven't been doing it. Okay. It was minus in the original, so I wasn't sure what button it is. I actually didn't play base game definitive. Yeah. I only played the new stuff. All right. Time for this to happen. Ryan? Ryan? Ryan, why are you, are you dressed going? normally? It's cosplay oh, day. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Goodness. Good thing I was wearing my bikini armor. Oh, Fiora, are you okay? It gives her HP uh, up. She's fine. I'm fine. Ah, uh, it's broken. What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died. You're not hurt, are you? <laughs> the Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry. I Oh god, I just realized how I foreshadowing thing. Oh wow. 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 Oh, that's cool. Wow. I, I told you that this game is wild when you know the story. Like it's really enjoyable on a second playthrough. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch it. To be fair, I shouldn't know that piece of story yet, but wow. But is it true the Monado really can't cut people? The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But 
Why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, s sorry Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! So, of course I want to get my revenge! Your blame, it did not cut deep enough. No! Shulk! Shulk! What on Bionis happened there? Ryan. Fiora. Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped, and then... Time had stopped. So, was it only me who saw that? <laughs> that sounds strange. Is it another Monado thing? Who knows? Anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dunban really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Oh, yeah, uh, old Square Tash has gone and put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? Punishment? The Colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. <laughs> and that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Whoa, nasty. Yeah, and now I have to go all the way to the Magmel Ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders? That's the one. They're used to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah, knew you would. Hold on. <coughs> the Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate, not like <laughs> anyone. <laughs> what are you on about? I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. <laughs> she don't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it. You are kind of stupid, though. <laughs> I do like all the little slights that Shulk and Fiora take at each other. It's really fun and playful. Characters' arts can now be leveled up. Select arts from the menu for further information. See the leveling up arts continue tutorial. Characters can now learn skills. Select skill trees on the main menu for further information. See the skills continue tutorial. All right, I have the no. laugh. Someone in chat earlier said, John, you said no spoilers, and you go ahead and let the game spoil the game? You need to time the game out. You're right. All right. All right, let me go. Let's go boot up something else, I guess. Uh, what do I got here? Let's turn on the old GameCube. I am so thankful that I'm a, I am was a GameCube kid because, like, every good PS2 game has been re-released just fine, but every good GameCube game... Nope, never been re-released. By the way, $500 now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, right on this screen. I have it set up differently. Oops. All right. Well, let's play some Smash Oh, yeah. I had a feeling. You're right, I should have had Xenosaga set up instead. <laughs> <laughs>
think I own Xenosaga 1, but I haven't. Yeah, I have Xenosaga 1, but I haven't actually played it. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the game. Uh, oh, that's why the game's not there. There we go. Alright, back to it. Okay, so we just got two new tutorials, and those were... Tutorials. Awesome. We did get more, we didn't even read the Fioria one. Uh, Fiora's talent art, Butterfly Step. My talent art is Butterfly Step. It's a four-hit combo that does loads of damage. Talent gauge fills up when I auto-attack. I'm here to do some damage. I sneak behind monsters and go in with a power smash. And your talent gauge fills up real fast because you auto-attack it so quick, right? What was your talent art again? Butterfly Step. I gotta let it loose as soon as the talent gauge fills up. Swoosh! But Fiora, if you do that, your aggro will shoot up. Save for a file blower when we really need it. I am looking for... Leveling up arts. Select level up with ZR, move the cursor to an art with up and down, press A, level up. Leveling up an art requires AP, arts points. AP is obtained when defeating enemies. Stats will, that will change when an art is leveled up or displayed in blue. And I can rearrange the battle palette to put them in specific spots. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And skills. Prioritizing a character's trait will grant skill-related stat bonuses. Shulk's skill tree is divided into three branches. Humanity, which increases your ether. Integrity, which increases your block rate. And intuition, which increases agility. There are no limits on when or how many times you can switch branches. Oh, that's nice. As skill points are gained, the skills in the selected branch are learned in order from top to bottom. When icon is full, the character learns that skill and obtain SP by defeating monsters. Call the icon shows what the when the skill applies. Always active and only active when the character is a part of the battle party. Picture of the icon shows who the skill affects. One person, uh, all party members, or affects the whole party. Ah, okay. Skills lower down the tree require more SP. The fastest way to increase your number of skills is to switch to a different character trait once a particular skill has been learned. Once a character has acquired a particular skill, it continues to be effective even when another character trait is prioritized. Oh! Cool. All right. <clears throat> In that case, well, let's look. I assume I do not learn new skills this way. Those are tied to specifically leveling up, right? Yeah, when you level up, you will get new stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, and each person has their own pool of points, I assume. Yep, that confirmed mm -hmm. that. Oh, you have a lot more moves than I expected, Ryan. Oh my god. He was kind of leveling up in the background while he was doing his push-ups. I mean, it makes sense to me. All right. I mean, light heal seems good to prioritize, considering it's a heal. Mm -hmm. It uh, is your only heal as of right now. If I had 10 more points, I would have put one in Stream Edge and Light Heal. Uh, recover HP window is now 147 to 177 instead of 130 through 160, and the cooldown is reduced by 0.8 seconds. Um, backslash. Yeah. Backslash is real good burst damage. All right, what about you, my dude? Let's see, hammer beat, swing weapon, drawing aggro from enemies in range, bone upper, assault the enemy with a mighty punch, war swing, full circle swing, dealing damage to enemies in range, wild down, slice at an enemy's feet, inflicting topple, rage, aura that lowers physical damage, talent gauge refills over time, and aura blast, available when an aura is active, attack reduces enemy strength. Mm-hmm. Mmm, these are all pretty helpful, if I'm going to be honest. Do you want any advice? Uh, I'm going to do this if this actually reduces enemy strength. An aura has to be active for it to do anything, though. Oh, available when aura is active. What, an aura. Wait, what is aura? Uh, rage is an example of an aura. That's the, uh, those are yellow arts. Basically, it's a passive effect that goes off over, t that is over a period of time. So here you get physical, da physical damage down, spike damage, attack power down, and that's for 12 seconds. Hmm. So during that 12 second period, aura burst would be available in addition to the effects that you get from this. But if I leveled up rage, then that's two more seconds. It's active, so this is active for two more seconds as a result. Yes. Or the window for this becomes two seconds longer, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything's color coded as well. So like red is physical attacks, green is topple, uh, yellow orange is auras. All right, I'm gonna put it in a rage then in that case. Uh, and then let's look at skill trees. Shulk. 
Now that was medium equipment, weight armor to be equipped. It's currently working towards Secret of Life. More HP is restored when reviving a party member. Or do I want to switch him over to Battle Cry? Increases tension gain from Battle Start Affinity or Humanity. Healing Arts restore more HP. Now that actually seems more helpful right now. Mm -hmm. You do also get more ether from being on Humanity. Whereas <coughs> do I... Integrity gives you more block rate. Yeah, I was going to say, like, so I the these passive effects, these three specifically, are only active depending on what tree I'm in, right? Yeah. But all the other ones are always active otherwise. Uh, if they're... Uh, yeah, once you've learned it, like, you just have it. Okay. Yeah, so then I'll take the ether up for the heal bonus and learn that permanently. Alright. And meanwhile, for you, you can also wear medium armor. Currently working to grants physical defense up at start of battle with higher enemy levels. Ooh, that sounds very helpful, actually. And that's just for self, though, but he would still need that. Increases max HP by 5% or heavy equipment, okay. Some, actually, something is telling me to prioritize that for him. Can be good. Um, he is generally like a slower kind of face tank kind of character that just takes damage a lot early game. All right, there we go. And that is all a dunzo. Oh, actually, no, we're not all dunzo. Because we Heart got a new school. Weapon. Oh my god, that's way better. <laughs> Holy, mm -hmm. holy cow! Yeah, you were really ahead of the curve on getting all the stuff. I I don't think I've seen someone get 100% in Colony 9 that fast. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna equip that. <laughs> you got two slots to play with, too. Uh, alright. Yeah, it looks like the stuff Fiora had, she still has it. Mm-hmm. Uh... Well, guess what you get, I guess. We'll swap that later. Well, I guess I can go shop for him now, too. So let's go get Ryan some new stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Fjord. Huh? I support the support of Ryan. Oh, I, oh, oh right. I remember, I remember why she, her gear isn't removed. Never mind. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I forget when that happens, though. Uh... <laughs> Flames lost four to two. Who are they playing against tonight? I like saying really cursed things about sports because I don't understand them. Dallas. You, it, is the cursed thing you said just... Oh, they played Dallas Stars. Okay. I thought you were saying the cursed thing was just saying the word Dallas. <laughs> I like to say cursed things, Dallas. Hello. I like to think that they hit a different building, and that's not not the one they were talking about earlier. Did, did I tell you about how um, how I I didn't know that the Atlanta Braves were even in the World Series last year until they were about to win it, and I only found out because the game affected traffic to an anime convention I wanted to go to? <laughs> I believe this statement 100%. Yes. The anime convention was across the street from the stadium where the Atlanta Braves were playing the last game. That was the only reason I found out at all. <laughs> well done, Emil. Well done. <laughs> Statement does not surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> well? Yeah, I remember I got to the convention. I was just like, damn, traffic was awful this morning, and it wasn't like that the last two days. Why was it suddenly so bad on, like, the least busy day of the convention? They were going, the Atlanta Braves are playing across the street, and I was going, oh. Well, I don't follow sports. I'm like, it's the World Series. I'm like, it is? Sure. Soaking boy. It was soaking wet. Now I wonder how you felt when the Falcons choked in the Super Bowl. The Falcon, when did the Falcons play in the Super Bowl? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why you even thought that was going to be the case. Uh, did you see. know that was the name of the football team? Uh, I know about the Atlanta Falcons. I've at least heard of them. All right, making sure, making sure. Uh, lose overtime to Patriots 2017. Yes, no. Twenty-eight to three. 
I didn't even know how you score three points in football. I thought it was six or seven. Field goal. Oh, okay. Was that the thing they couldn't find, or was this a different one? Oh, this is the key. Okay. Oh, they were they were up twenty eight to three early in the game where they were just oh, kicking. Oh, this ass, was the choke year. I forgot that was yeah, the Falcons that happened yeah. too. And they managed to blow that. Okay. Yeah, I genuinely have never heard of these events, and I live here. <laughs> Oh, so that's a sports team that plays at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I didn't know that. Hmm. It's like two lots of medicinal brog oil from brogs and colony nine. Where's our soggy sun? I think the only thing I actually knew about the stadium was that it's pretty looking and you could get vaccinated there. I have a friend who's very into sports, and I always respond to her on Twitter with just really cursed, like, takes on whatever she's saying, where I remember she said that she was really rooting for the Chargers, and I responded saying, really, I'm rooting for the Rollers. Oh my god, Emil, of course you'd say that. Don't like the Saints, and you'll probably be fine. My mom actually loves the Saints. No heart to heart time. Maybe, maybe. Uh... You can't view this one yet. These requirements nope. become visible in the heart to heart list later in the story. Get used to that. <laughs> Hooray. Hello. That is one complaint I have with this game, is it feels like you can never view heart-to-hearts, and, you know, it you see that you can't view them 90% of the time. Me! And now smells like a wet cat because I pet the cat and he came in from the rain. Aw, oh, moist kitty. Poor guy's upset. Hmm. He hates the rain. Hmm, if he keeps going out into it. Yeah. Because he is foolish. Huh. Hmm. Nice one. You're just completing them like crazy. I mean, they're all in this spot. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Told you it was simple. Is there someone back here? And I guarantee you, you have missed zero story from just, you know, barely paying attention to these quests. Yeah, that's kind of why but, I haven't been reading them out, because I'm just, I'm skimming, I'm like, yeah, this is just, like, flavor text. Yeah, it, some people, some people do criticize that about this game, but at the same time, it does have its benefits that you are just kind of having fun running around and exploring the town and getting stuff in the process, so it's rewarding. Um, there are some quests that have storylines later on. Um, Hi there. Some of them can actually be pretty cool, but they're definitely more the exception than the rule. Uh, let me see if I can find, like, other things I thought about sports that are fun. <laughs> let me see. Uh... Wait, wait a minute. What did this kid just say? Oh, She's not going to say it now. Pal was talking rubbish about Shulk. Every night I pray to the stars for her to be cursed. Ha! <laughs> 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 this kid kicks ass. <laughs> oh man, we just we just dematerialized that lady she was talking to. Oh, and she's back. Disassembled her. Hello. Wait, and you're not the one I'm trying to talk to. Hello. There we go. Yeah, dematerialize her for once. Oh my god, I thought that was a fight icon for a second there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, fin affinity chart. Let me come back to that for a second. Ah, I see we're mom, mom, mom to each other currently. What? Oh, it actually shows everyone's Somebody... age, so everyone's 18. Neat. Somebody made me a brownies of the affinity icons in this game, where like the frosting was like actually like drawing them all out. I never had the I never had the courage to eat them because I just liked how they look so much. So I still have them to this day, even though it's been like six years. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're hard as rocks now, but so I will never eat them. Someone wanted me to play as Ryan specifically because of his jump sound. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I wasn't gonna spoil that for you, but I was hoping you'd see it. Hi, Kenny Rohan. <laughs> I like how randomly they have last names. It's like Chris R. Like Chris R? Yeah, from the room. Oh, right. I just randomly, he has a last initial, and Tommy Wiseau would not budge on that, even though no one else, like, mentions their last name. Dude, Chris R was the best actor in that movie by a wide margin. He was, like, scarily good at his role. <laughs> <laughs> That that guy can really act. <coughs> Just All this right. random guy who's in like two scenes and he is the best actor in the movie by far. What? You gotta hand it to him not phoning it in. Why does it say hit oh, this is what it means by auto run. There we go. Cool. So I I don't even have to use the stick. The game's just auto doing it for me now. All right. Yeah, you can read chat. You can do well, whatever you want. Yeah, I, I, if I want to fight things, I gotta do this though. The enemy's weak. Yeah, I won't do that for you. This won't take long. You never stood a chance. Good thing I'm here. I think Xenoblade 2 has an auto battle feature, and it's surprisingly good. And I, I think I went into that a little bit toward the end of the Let's Play. Is just a thing where if you, you know, have an accessibility reason for not playing the game, it's really nice. I got a ninja skills achievement. And helpful stranger. Wood bonnet, oh, you're gonna bash the buns. You gotta do that because it's a mission. Look, if I put an exclamation point over your head, would you understand when I killed you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, all right. Just, just I'm just making sure that like we're equal opportunity murderers here, and it's not just a thing <laughs> against bunnies. You just don't be surprised if I start carrying on weaponry though because of that. Yeah! Backslash! Come on! Beat! Ah! Right, you're a lifesaver! We can definitely do this! I wanna lick him. Ryan? Or the rabbit? Well, they said Ryan was a lifesaver. Oh. Okay, now I get it. It doesn't make it any better, but now I get it. <laughs> I'm just having fun doing this stupid humor. I haven't had a chance to do that to you since last week. Oh, yeah, that's so long ago. Dude, you know how much of a child at heart I am. A week feels at like forever heart. when you're a kid. At heart. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't try to save face here. Yeah, it was seven days ago to the day. <laughs> it's such a long time for him, man. He was suffering that entire time. I mean, to be fair, we're not going to be recording TRG stuff for a little bit, too, so, like... So you're gonna have it all bottled up for a while when we actually get back to recording. Yeah, I have like two trips that I'm going on one after another, and then Momocon is after that, so it's I guess more like three trips, even though one of them is local to me, so. And like I'm actually like busy because I'm filming stuff. Right, you're a 
Oh, you will know our names is actually getting a chance to play out now that the fish don't want to. <laughs> now the fish aren't here to mess it up. The fish aren't here to ruin my listening experience. I'll be quiet. He's taking some beatings here. Come on, I need that healing back. Right. Save Ryan. Ah, you fucker. Oh! oh no. Shit, way too early. Ooh. He actually perks himself up where he goes, oh no, nothing's gonna stop me, and he just cheers up on his own. Oh yeah! Still got through it though. Good clutch, good clutch. Those sorts of turnarounds are so hype in the early game. Really brutal. Man, that was scary. Oh, and he doesn't get any penalty for dying for experience. That's great. Okay, that's real yeah. good. Yeah. Game's really forgiving. I also like that you're just fully healed. Whoa, you got good stuff. <laughs> okay. Got a slotted uh, chest piece. Ooh, shiny. Game's just really convenient. It doesn't like waste your time with stuff. It doesn't screw you over with technicalities. It just kind of goes, yeah, you did it. You get the stuff. All right, well, I assume the weapon's not going to be any better than what we currently have equipped. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's got some unique uh, gems on it, but that's it. All right, that's an increase there. That's, I, I also just realized... Oops, that's actually what Shulk's wearing. Uh, I actually just realized we didn't buy any armor for Ryan at all. No, I think uh, I think you just kind of saw the quest objectives and ran in that direction, though, and I didn't notice either. Uh, Light top's objectively better than what he's got, plus as a slot. Whoa, that's sick. Well, that does look pretty cool, but that's like, currently what Shulk's wearing. Mm -hmm. All right, well, well, since this is better for now, let's give him that. Which means we can put that uh, quick step to use, because I assume it just as long as it's on someone, that's what matters. I think it's just the character that it's equipped to, but Ash. Jack might correct me on that. That sucks if that's the case. Because it does buff a character like Shulk having those directional things on him where he decreases defense from the side and stuff, that the quick step is making him stronger in battle. Only affects leader. Ah, piss. Alright. Well... In that case, since I forgot to do some shopping, uh, let me look at the map. Is there a closer warp to where we are right now? Or am I gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to walk back here again. Shit. Uh, you can you can walk a little further. You'll get one. That's what I figured. Once we get the location warp, I'll warp back to town. That's the way. Weapon might look cool if you put it on the fashion equip session. Ah, oh, right. I forgot weapons are affected by that too. I'll worry about it after we do our shopping. All the fashion in this game is impressive, how all the pieces of equipment makes it match with others. There's so many items. I also realize I should probably save since I just took out that big boy. Probably don't want to have to do that again. Probably. More questies and a heart I to heart. Need to be even stronger. And look who's here! Feet! <laughs> you forgot oh something. boy! You forgot something! You the rest of my outfit! Places, right? And all this. Fiora. <gasps> ah! I'm coming along as well. I'd feel better going with you boys than sitting at home worrying about you. So, let's get moving. I knew she didn't trust me. Looks like it. Most of us don't, Ryan. I'm sorry. Yeah. I used that clip of Ryan when talking about his character in a video one time, and I was really happy with how that turned and out. And there's the party gauge, finally. The gauge shows the party's morale. This gauge increases when a bonus effect or critical hit occurs. Press B near incapacitated party member to revive them. To reviving a party member, there needs to be at least one block in the party gauge. 
I can also now do chain attacks. When there are three blocks in the party gauge, the party is linked by a blue line and you can perform a chain attack. Move the cursor to their talent arts icon, use up and down to select the chain attack icon and press A to confirm. I sadly have a story that is on topic with you calling Fiora feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> All I right. Was talking yes. to, I was talking to Sab once and she was talking about Fiora and it auto-corrected to footing and I was like, I mean, I'm sure lots of people would consider her just footing and she's like, I'm real! Wow, dude. Yes? <laughs> All right, let me get my pile of quests first before I warp around. And just the three. Can we do this heart to heart? You might. Yes. No. Woohoo. No. Not. It did not it. We're not friendly yet. Our best friends are only like ooh, not e. There are actually lower steps on the affinity. There are. Below the yellow. Yeah, there are lower steps below the yellow. Jesus. So the yellow is not the lowest. All right, let's do some shopping. All right, time for you to cosplay, Ryan. Well. Uh, you're good for weapons. Mm. Uh, you, let's get you a nice hat. He can't wear heavy yet. Uh, yeah, let's give you the same helmet that Shulk has. Torso-wise... I'm sorry, Ryan, I can't give you the bikini top. I tried. Mm. Uh, da, 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 none of these are really... Oh, yeah, there we go. It, the Imperial stuff is really just gonna be the best stuff for pure stats, right? Looks like. It's, it's heavy, but if you want him to be heavy anyway, it's fine. I need him to be able to take a hit. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. I'm not drawing Ryan in a bikini. Not tonight. Maybe later. So you're you're not off of the idea is what that tells me. It piqued your interest. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to end up in the same, more or less the same gear that Shulk's wearing. Actually, don't I already have? No, I didn't because I, I found the item one instead. That's why. Uh, I wish I could also equip them on him in this menu. Sad that I can't. What kind of pants would you like, Ryan? A girdle finished by a nomad artisan in his last days of chasing dragons. Can't wear the heavy boots, but you can wear the... Yeah, he's going to be slow as fuck, but he's going to be... Oh, yeah, so... So, still can't do anything with these books? So, uh... I probably wouldn't buy these, but the not yet learned just means that you haven't used that book so that you don't double buy them. That's what it means. Okay. Um, but it, you're not really getting arts above level two right now, so getting them above level four should really be irrelevant I mean, to you. I have plenty of money right now is the only thing. You do, but it's just kind of throwing it away when you could use it for something later. I guess. I'm more the... You know what? Actually, I'm not listening to you. This is my playthrough. All right. <sighs> Those are good arts. I do like almost all of those arts. Yeah, I'm very much a... I, if I can get the nice shiny thing now, and so I don't have to worry about it later, I will get it now, so... Actually, hang on. Why, why is there a heart-to-heart -heart in the middle of the ocean? Oh, there's a heart-to-heart -heart here! Uh, let's save first. I, wait, no. I, let's put equipment on Rhine first. Because I almost forgot again. <laughs> Imperial Salvo. Uh, do I want to... I'm sad they don't even show him trying to wear it. Uh... Yeah. Giving up the slot. But yeah, I, guess I mean, we weren't even, I anyway. didn't even have him as my main guy anyway, so it just made sense. Ryan, you were going to be slow as heck, but you were going to be tanky as heck. Look at them skinny jeans he's wearing now. Whoa. He's ready for a rock show. Oh my god. He looks like young Joseph. Oh my god. Amazing. Is that JoJo? Yeah. 
I, I was showing Tim the compilation of the OH NO earlier, and he, he liked that. Oh, I should actually probably- but, Oh, crap, I didn't give her any armor. Damn it. That is still the only thing I know about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, is just the compilation of all the times that Joseph Joestar says, OH NO! I mean, to be fair, it's pretty memorable. It's great, it's... Nice and nice. I love that video. Yes, yes. Oh my god. And she has a bikini on, that's fine. Well, I might as well at least give her, like, actual defense on well. top of the bikini. <laughs> uh... So she's gonna have, like, a see-through nightgown on top of it? <laughs> she's gonna have a negligee on? No! <laughs> uh... Let's see here. I mean, she can't even wear most of the, the hats by the looks of it. Nine cap. Again, she can't even wear most of the stuff. I just took the nine top off of... Oh no, I never Ryan. had a nine top. Or... It says Ryan I have, slotted says I have zero. I guess it was just a different piece of slotted equipment that Ryan had that you took off. Yeah. Oh, she could wear this. Gauntlets wise. Yeah. I do worry that I'm going to, a little too. I'm ignoring the weight limits too much, and that's going to shoot me in the foot. You're also just going very ham on equipment when. I don't think I went this ham on it. <laughs> that's because I got the bonus money, so I mean, that's that's kind of why. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how you actually would look with all this gear, Fiora. Nine cap, which I don't know what that really changed other than the bow, I guess. No, that didn't even change that. I don't know what that changed then. Oh, okay, I see it. She's got a ribbon now. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, that looks pretty good on her. That's pretty cool. What was the armor I grabbed for you specifically? That was the. Did I even grab anything for for your wrists? Thought I did. I guess it was this. Could always give her a slot. Yeah. Uh. Da, 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 da. Not the most helpful stuff. Not really, no. Everything's kind Found of in use already. I guess I put quick stuff there, yeah. Honestly? <laughs> this looks mm -hmm. kind of nice. No, I like this set for her. I think this is what I went with. Honestly, this yeah. looks pretty good. Yeah, no, she looks like she's ready for combat. I'm curious. I want. I want to see something here. <laughs> oh, okay, so every set I buy, it puts it automatically into this. Yeah, because, like, what is this top? I don't remember having this top. Mm. Yeah, it, it, any item that you have ever had, it it saves it. Ever had? It doesn't have to be in my equipment? I don't think you even have to have it anymore, no. Interesting. Because uh, you can... You can even unlock the exclusive outfits from Future Connected, like, in base game. Ioru and Beach are just there by default. Okay, so there's some that's, that's just there. See, it's, it's tempting to just do that, but now that has put another idea in my mind. Shulk. Yeah, there we go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole team. The whole team's doing it. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity, baby! Get you some of Equal. that beefcake! Equal opportunity, nipple enjoyer. Uh, Max art level increase, because we bought the books. Oh, you didn't even have to use them in this version. You had to go into the item menu and use the book to actually claim it in the original, though. But I guess, yeah, why would you ever not use it? All right, let's see with you, Fiora. What do we got? 262 to work with. 
Summon all Fiora's might to attack, dazing the enemy. Upon upward cleave that breaks the enemy's stance. Stab an enemy, dealing ordinary damage and bleed damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, turning double knife slice, extra damage from behind. I'm gonna give it to Hidden Thorn. Mm -hmm. What did what did pink mean? Was that ether damage? Uh, pink is break. Oh, it's break, right. Pink is break, mm -hmm. and then you said green is topple. Yeah, it, I think it's supposed to be yellow, though, but I guess I can see how you think that that's green. I guess it's kind of subjective. That's kind of a goldish color. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I didn't say that was green. I was just saying green in general. I wasn't saying this was green. Oh, no, green is, t green is topple, and then yellow is daze. But this only works if they're suffering topple, if I'm reading this right? Yes. It goes oh. break, topple, daze in that order. Okay. So this might actually not be worth up upgrading then right now. Hmm. But that also, I think, has the longest cooldown, which might be worth it just to cut that down by two seconds. But this mm -hmm. does up the bleed damage and cools down by one. Yeah, we're getting bleed. Let's do that. Last rate seems pretty helpful. The thing is that you have a lot of options for inflicting break because Fiora and Shulk both have break arts. And then on top of that, um, Fiora's talent art inflicts break and she auto attacks really fast. Use weapon to block attacks. You do stop attacking there. Uh, how Sorry. many points do I have to work with here? It doesn't it's not no oh, because I'm in the wrong menu, that's why. Uh Yeah. Good choice. Good, good choice. Alright, now that everyone's shirtless, let's go have a party. I think Ryan just learned an art. <laughs> I think that's actually so yeah, I think that was actually the shield one I just noticed, because he didn't have guard shift when I was in this menu earlier. Oh, okay. Probably just catching up. Oh yeah, I was gonna go check what this heart to heart is, see if I can even do it. And what's this icon? I think you checked it and it wasn't. I think you checked that, it. That legend is map entrance slash exit. No, I checked this one, I didn't check this one. Oh, okay, okay. Totally shirtless. Now we need a third guy to create the pillar man. <laughs> Actually, shit, I can't get there from this way, can I? I have to go the long way. Crap. No, this is this bridge is not jump offable. Yes, yes. Well, I goof there. Yes. There's so many exclamation points. Yes, yes. I think they're all below you. <laughs> they all are. But Fiora in the black top looks better with her bottoms. I like the blue, though. Good color scheme. Wait, aren't we supposed to censor Shulk and Ryan's nips? Well, I mean, you're in luck. The game already did it for us. Mm-hmm. They're gone. <laughs> oh, They're buffed God. off. See, and Fiora's so laughing because she realized it. Some people in the audience know about a very cursed piece of nipple lore that I gave in a video. <laughs> Why do you have nipple lore, period? I literally have an, a, a character that is about gigantic tits and she does not have nipple lore. Why do you have and know nipple lore? There is a character, there are two characters, in, two male characters in Xenoblade 2 that you can see completely shirtless and one has nipples and the other does not. So which way is normal? Whichever way is normal, it is incredibly awful. I just rewatched the episode two days ago, someone said. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, which way is normal? Like, is, is character B the only character in the world with nipples? And like, it's normal for no one to have nipples or is just one of the characters born without nipples in a world where people normally have them? <laughs> Whichever way it goes, it's horrible. Critical thinking. Yeah, your team is coming together a lot nicer now. Well, I also have three characters, which is also helping my team. Yeah, no, that's why I was just like, uh, you might want to try later when you were asking me, like, should I even be doing this now? Yeah, I mean, I figured as much. Yeah, your team is actually I couldn't remember how now. fast a certain event happens, 
And now I remember it's after what we're about to do. Okay, okay. Ground down. You're getting achievements, which are giving you more experience, too. But You're also, almost to level 10. Yeah, I also got a jingle just then, which tell me we should probably go to break here now. So should we take a mm -hmm. break and stretch our legs? Okay. We've been at the game for 90 minutes otherwise. Yeah. Uh, I'm also out of water, uh, which is also making me think I should probably. Water and water and water and water. Too far on the wheel. That was too easy. Who else wants some? We've definitely gotten stronger. Yeah, they're not giving me that other drop I need though. Two chances. Good one. chest. Any hope? Nope, nothing. Oh, metal chest. That could be good. Oh, there we go. We got it. Hmm. Another quest done. No, I gotta cash that one in, huh? Yeah, that's that's the one that you do. Damn. Well, I might as well do that. Um, we'll, we'll go to break then after we do that. Do you, I guess it's this guy? Uh, yeah, I think he's only there in the day, though. The difference is that um, named NPCs have storylines with their quests. The ones that just say Call 89 Resident, they don't. You don't have to cash them in. Ah, uh, okay. Hello. 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 Give me some eggs. You'll be happy to oblige. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of missions I missed here. Okay, let me grab these then, and we'll go to break. Nipples or not, the answer is terrible. What? <laughs> no, somebody was paraphrasing what I said as nipples or not, the answer is terrible. I mean, it does bring up questions, I feel, no matter what. I just realized John was murdering Froggy's relatives. What do you have to say for yourself, John? Well, as long as Big doesn't find out, I'm safe. Good day. This nipple lore is the high quality content you subscribe to see. Find the spanner in Colony 9. Damn, you only have 70 stream quotes. Yeah, we only hit number 69, like, uh, last stream. Because people, people were waiting for it. Like, people were waiting for to find the perfect what? number for 69. I was about to say, oh, okay. I was about to say, if I said this last week, I could have been 69, though. But no, I don't think that would have been good enough you to might, You might have gotten it for that one. Oh, I already got the wedding ring. I mean, I guess nipples are pretty topical with 69. <laughs> I mean, technically, no. Technically, no. I, I, I mean, like, maybe that's like the action the kneecaps are getting. No, What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I, I think I don't What's think up? you are. I really don't think you are. I think it does. Hello. Right? <laughs> does a meal need another quote? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. Is this the belly button sex from the room? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How's it going? Did you know I'm the weakest man to have ever joined the force? And atop it all, my conduct and standards are a laughing stock. Even behind the new female recruits and endurance trading. Well, you sit there and be a misogynist asshole, then bye. I was kind of surprised. I, I, that makes sense, though, why it took so long to get the 69th one, because I remember Josh has, like, hundreds of quotes for his streams. I mean, we also don't usually go too crazy on the on the quote bot, because it's only the mods can add them. Oh, he's got a bunch. Mm. Okay. What's up? Josh's streams are so elaborate, where he has hundreds of different alerts with different triggering conditions. Not even random ones, just actually hundreds of different alerts. Mm. I mean, so and we, then, so our setup, if up? you look under the stream, shows how much you need to donate either in bits or an actual to activate our alerts. But most mm -hmm. of them have extra variants, too, as you learned from the Calmageddon last week. Yes. Has the, uh, did the Kalmakaze actually make it in as a real alert variant? I haven't put it in yet, but I was sent, I believe, the final version. Wow, that's fast. That is impressive. What is it? Okay. 
Wait, why aren't you giving me the quest? Are you the one? Are you not the one with the quest? You're not the one with the quest. God damn it! Everything's up on the walkways. I think I was gonna go to break, and then I just got wrapped up in side quest piling up. I I was about to write in the chat, so like I wouldn't say it out loud that I like how hooked he's getting because it's been five minutes since the thing he said would be the cutoff point, and he hasn't stopped yet. I mean, this is just how I am with games, Hello. so don't don't worry. No, I'm I'm complimenting you. Like I think it's good. It speaks to what a good game this is. Ow. Mend the watch in Shulk's lab and you get muscle up too! Oh, we gotta do it for muscle up too. Hmm. I remember I got confused so much in 2 because muscle up in this game is defense, but in 2 it's something else, and I did not like that change. That's weird that that would be a change in the first place. Yeah, I know. There... That is one complaint that I have with 2, is that there are words that mean one thing in this game, and, like, several of them are words in the second game, and they mean different things. Hello. I right, talked to you, never mind. King Squeeze! What's up? King squeeze. Beautiful night, ain't it? Makes you want to go home right away and lie in your comfy bed. That's the squeeze he likes, the squeeze of his of his quilt over him and when he's in bed. I got a zit I can't pop. Can you help? No. Oh. I thought he would know a lot about it. I, being I don't think that's the squeeze he enjoys. I'm sorry. Hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Art learned. Affinity. Art learned. What did we learn? Shadow Eye. Reduces aggro and increases physical arts damage. Ooh. For full damage, 4 defeats def that Decreases aggro by 30%. Physical art damage up 1.5 times, but only lasts for 5 seconds. That is a That fits into his moveset very well, because light heal generates so much aggro. Okay, and then... If I do that again, it gives me another 5% on decrease. Okay, sure. That sounds good. Uh, all right, let me warp to the lab to start fixing the watch, and then we'll actually go to break. Mm -hmm. It's already 1.30 in the morning. I mean, we were out there for an hour. Mm -hmm. Time flies when you're running around shirtless. What is it? Worse than I thought. I have to gather my parts. I need three blue chains, which I have. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix it now. Stokes is not very observant. Uh, is she in the upper path or lower path? Lower. Like nice. Upper. Oh no, I'm wrong. Hello. I'll trade you your watch. What would you say if I told you I broke it on purpose? Ooh, I'd say you're you insane. Got the green. What was the green mean? Oh, for, for green, Ryan. You, yeah, you can do the heart to heart with Ryan now. Nice. It didn't show you that in the original. That's a nice change. Muscle up too. Oh, I thought Fiora got the level up off of that. Damn. She's like one pixel. Yeah, what what actually is she at? Oh, how do I... Can I even check that? Uh... I don't know if it'll tell you how much experience is the next level. That's weird. I thought it earlier it said that. There was Change some screen you could say that on. 
Uh, no. I thought there was some menu I saw that at. Affinity chart? No? Mm -mm. No idea. I thought I saw it earlier. Weird. Expert mode menu. Okay. Oh, that would make sense. That specifically ties to experience. Yeah, there it is. She's six away. Six experience points. All right, but for real, though, we're taking a break. Okay. All righty, then. Leave it to hit upon. Let's put the game in sleep mode. There's a bar by their health bar which shows their progress. No, I know that. I wanted to know the exact number. I was looking for the exact number. That's why I went to that menu. I think across all my Pokemon Let's Plays, I have had two separate times where I've been one experience point away from a level up. Oof. I know what happened to my Altaria once. I don't remember the other time. Or was it Blaziken? It was one of the two. Yeah, transition's still very loud. I can, I can adjust the volume, but the because of the stupid way OBS works, I can only adjust it while it's playing. Which is dumb. Uh... But I can at least fix it at some point. At least I think I can do that. I'll fuck around. You're saying Duot also did, so maybe it's more times than I remember. I'll re-render and lower the volume. There you go, Drake will fix it. There we go. Oh my god. People are pointing out that Zeke is totally doing the hiker dance, and I didn't yeah. notice it. Yeah, specifically that was sent to me because it was a hiker dance gif. I didn't notice that! Any advice for cats hitting two cats? If they get along with each other, you're gonna have an easy time. If they don't, good luck. Mm. Try to play with them and try to keep them interested and then eventually they'll play with themselves or they'll sleep. Play by themselves rather or sleep. Gamers, give this up to Princess Sunny, uh, Eternal X Eden, Cosmic Archie, and Jira Z. Thank you for the new subs and welcome to the stream. Hopefully you have fun here. Everyone else, Segway right. plays for 31, Lord Misfit for 57, Michael Cor uh, Corkiran, rather, for 8, Zatoichi for 10, High Wang for 28, Tiger Browse for 31, Bacon Bit 87 for 35, Mega Vector for 68, Pyroman 2 for 4, Cosmic Art, oh, I said that one, Soul Flare Kia 89 for 7, Sarah Bear for 86, Rob Sarah Strawberry. Bear. What? Oh. Is it Sarah Bear? Rob Strawberry for 9. So I don't always hear you in my headset when I'm talking, so I apologize about that. That's why I sometimes okay. do the awkward pause. Uh, Dragon Pit for 60, Legend of Daniel for 34, Emperor Tylord for 5, Yomeni 1 for 61, Palpable Potato for 18, Play with a J for 42, Gamer Wolf for 39, Gopanka 9726 for 52, Cam 2271 for 85, Ice Bez for 7, JTM INC for 15, Rune the Rooney for 21, uh, Cora 143 for 64, Kyler 76 for 23, Dude Enoch for 57, M Morse 1017 for 23, Thousand Eyes for 40, and Sega for 2, and Salem the Cat for 34, alongside Plasma Knife for 22. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Uh, I see it Lee. <laughs> Was this the one I saw on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, from Puppet Master. Shulk is easily entertained. Uh-oh. The kernels are gonna explode. Uh, from Ryu Sign, Chugga explains Alt Johns. I submitted this egg back on October 3rd, 2020. If you don't mind answering a meal, did you intentionally set up this joke? My Jonathan might not resemble your Jonathan in any way. <laughs> that sounds worse than it did in my head. What art? Uh, you didn't use any custom art of me in the video, right? No, I didn't. Okay, that's what I thought. I, the name was, like, chosen to be, like, weird for, like, you know, the fact that I know a Jonathan. Yeah. And here are, here are both Jonathans Jonathan. just for you. There you go. Look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Next up, from Clockwork Pretzels, just a quick, uh, Vanguard YouTube poop. Crash into the military district into hell. How long have you been to explode? Champions don't win. They whine. Stick the mobile artillery up. You're an artist. 
Not bad. It was a little hard to follow in the middle. I got the ending, though. Solid ending. I like the ending. And Cool Al with Wario Blade Chronicles. Which one? You should have specified. It should have been the wrong one that popped out there then at that point. Should have been X. Mm -hmm. And Cole with this egg took too much work to make. Oh my god, Cole, how long is this egg? Oh no. Oh. It's a very steep artillery. over. How long have you been in the force? Uh what are you talking about? I got here like 40 I don't want any excuses! Now it's 44 seconds. I don't even have a watch. What the fuck? Get the artillery back to the military district. Double time! Th that would take like three days to do. I just got here. You're nothing but us. Welcome! Whoa! Punch! What? The what? Hell are you doing? Why is this turning into an anime? Someone's calling me. One second. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm just dealing with this asshole. Wait, you don't see me? What are you talking about? I just got here. I followed all your directions. And... Oh, wait a minute. I must have taken a left instead of a right. Did I do that? <sighs> Sorry, but... Hold on. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Okay, bye. So, um, funny story. So I was supposed to enroll in a different army in a um, different universe and, um... Yeah, I don't see any turtles around here. So um, I'm just gonna go, and we're just gonna pretend this whole thing didn't happen. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> you right there, bud? <laughs> Jesus. All right, thanks for the eggs, everybody. We're gonna get a break. Okay, I will be right back. When we come back, more Xenoblade. Fresh art block while I'm at it. Oh, art block got busy.
<sighs> All right, there's the fixed version of that. Oh, for both of them. Okay, let me grab that too then. You're probably going to hear some loud noises for a minute here. There we go. Quieter version of Slash adjusted. Let's try the quieter version of this one we haven't used yet. Cool. All right, there we go. Both fixed. All right, let me quickly read alerts, and then we'll hop into our block, then get back to that game. Mocking Dragon says, I just got back in from a Weird Al concert. The ill-advised Vandy Tour playing all original music and almost no parodies. I thought of you guys the whole time and sent you a link to the merch on the TRG Twitter because there's some great stuff there. Oh, I went to the first show. The, uh, because this is the second. This is like the sequel to the ill-advised tour. Uh, it was really good. It started with one of my favorite Weird Al songs, One More Minute. Hopefully, I think he's supposed to come back to Calgary this year too. I think he's doing two shows in Calgary. Might go. If tickets are still available, I haven't looked. Polka Adam 84 says, just celebrating my 69 months being subbed here. Nice. Thank you, Polka Adam, for hanging around as long as you have. And also, nice. Legend of Daniel says, I mean, Ryan does hate those machines like Waka. That's true. That is entirely true. That boy's full of hate. And definitely looks like he plays Blitzball, especially with his shirt off. Rio the Mountain Hermit says, When I hear, hear Monado, I sometimes hear Menudo instead! Now I imagine Dunban slaying robots with a bowl of cow soup! Oh, I thought you meant the boy band! Oh, I would have been down for that too! <laughs> oh no, Toby, I just saw what you put on Twitter! Oh no! Please tell me that's an art block! Please tell me you- Yes, you did! Oh, you're the best! <laughs> I think we're going to show that first in our block. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hang on. We'll start our block with it. Make sure we're caught up on everything. Legend of Daniel says, here's something neat. Jenna Louise Coleman voices a character in the upcoming Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Why does that name sound familiar? What has she done? Oh, she's the one from Doctor Who. Oh, wait, is she, so she's, oh, fuck, what's her name? Oh, I shit. Did name. Uh, name. who'd she play? Melia, thank you! That's who she played. So she's in Xenoblade 3, apparently. Oh. Her voice actress. Don't you dare say yeah, yeah. No way! Oh. Yeah. No fucking way, dude. Westerford, you got the fucking rare rose after all the bullshit from last week? No <laughs> effort at all. I came back to this! Of course it's Westerford. Westerford gets the rare Rosa and says, Funny family story. My big brother would often hear Xenoblade in other rooms when I played, and somehow I don't know how, but whenever he heard Behold the Power of the Monado, he heard Behold the Power of Monogamy. What? Ooh. Wow. Amazing. Monogamy must be lucky. 
Cool Al says, if I'm a real American doesn't work out, here's another idea. Oh, Team America. Yeah, I think that also might get me in trouble, but maybe. Xenotype C says, I think the dumbest glitch I had uh, in early Xenoblade 2 was a weird loading zone glitch that caused everything except characters and enemies and level collision to not load uh, in on the Gormati Titan's plane area. So the entire big area from the lower forest entrance and around the town was just a void. Nice. Uh, Westerford also says, The only thing I know about sports is that if you step on a thing, you get a home run. You touch down when you hit the stick with the white ball. You get three points. If you throw the ball from downtown, the players get into a fist fight when they hit the ice with the stick. And I, I hate that only one of those things was right. <laughs> Kirby. Uh, Kirby. Uh, Yugi McTalk says, Hey, Emil, any thoughts of making unusual custom tier lists? Like how likely every Pokemon is to make it into Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, that came out recently. <laughs> yeah, that was today's episode, I believe. Wow, yeah, I... I thought Smasher Pass meant how much a character deserved to be in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, no, yeah, so they're saying, like, they want you to actually make a list of all the Smash Brothers, all this Pokemon that should make it into Smash. Mm -hmm. uh, Bleach Bummer says, Hey, John, always good to see you with Chugga on Cocom. After all, it was thanks to his first two Pokemon LPs, I became a fan of him. Then it was thanks to him creating TRG, I discovered your content and amazing community. Major thanks to you two. Keep being amazing, oh. you three, including Tim, if he, even if he isn't on call. And I can't wait to see more hilarious and amazing moments from Banjo-Kazooie. Also, can I DM and you a question over Discord tomorrow? Need to sleep early for Mother's Day and work. You can message me if that's who you're referring to, yeah. Let me keep being amazing. He didn't say anything. No. Also, well, I said, Tim. Tim, keep being amazing. I was relaying something. <laughs> he said I'll do my best. I could hear him. I think chat could too. They might not hurt him over the music. He's trying he's speedrunning Metroid Dread. Nice. Clockwork Pretzel says, just for people who didn't quite understand my egg, crashing the military base into hell. How long have you been exploding? Champions don't win, they whine. Stick the mobile artillery up your arses. Mm. Oh my gosh. I can't and wait for this video to come out, sorry. Which one? The one no, you're working just, on currently? Was, yeah, I was during intermission. I was like doing little edits though, because I just barely didn't finish it before we got started. Nice. All right, Mr. Joe says had to tell you, it had to ask you two, but what are both of your two's favorite Simpsons and SpongeBob quotes? Say a few if you like. Mine is, uh, as in Mr. Joe says, genius at works quote from the Poochie episode, and I know he's still looking for work. Don't rub it in from the episode where Squidward uh, quits the Krusty Krab. Uh, ooh, favorite Simpsons quotes. There's so many. Pro uh, there's a lot, but I think the one I always think of a lot is, I have to go now. My planet needs me. That's probably up uh, there. I always think the uh, the one that I've probably quoted the most over the years was, uh, how do you sleep at night? On top of a pile of money with many beautiful ladies. Sorry I asked. Yeesh. That's a go <laughs> That's a good one, too. You quote that episode all the time, and yet we've never watched it on a TRG trip, and we need to change We don't that. ever watch The Simpsons on a TRG trip. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. Like, it would be great. Watching that with your friends is awesome. I think I told the story about how the Poochie episode came out when I was six, and I thought Poochie was awesome when I was six. <laughs> yeah, you've told that story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Mendoza? I mean, I don't know why you would think I would like the quote Mendoza. What would give you that idea? I don't know. I don't know what would give you that idea. I think, that, I think that needs to be louder. How much louder can I make Mendoza? Mendoza is at 38%. Let's let's increase that to 80. Mendoza! Much better. Uh, and there's the... <laughs> I skipped this one because I wanted to play the... Because it came with a video. And I think Emil knows exactly what it is the second he sees it. Uh, from Augie the Froggy. Now that the line has been spoken, I feel that this must be shared. 
Rhine, you're a lifesaver. What? You're a lifesaver. Oh yeah. Oh Rhine. shit! I didn't expect. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> paralyzer. <laughs> I forgot that was in that fucking video. <laughs> All right, with that, let's go to Art Block quickly. Uh, Art Block starts here. TRG Coliseum 2023, somewhere in an alternate timeline. That's probably John. I wonder if he took my suggestion about the cosplay. Hmm, see, I told you it wasn't gonna fit through the door. I just thought it looked cool. Artist note, trying to draw a metal face properly was too much even for me, so I gave up. <laughs> well, he didn't have any problems fitting through the door. Oh, for the love of, <sighs> one of us is gonna have to change. From Gespens, I had this idea the other day. What if you did go with the Metal Face cosplay? I don't even know how people draw Metal Face. <laughs> well, we haven't met him yet officially, but thanks, Gespens. Apparently, Xenoblade 1 didn't have character artists on it. The characters were just made by CG artists making what they thought would look cool. Interesting. So a lot of the 2D drawings were just edits of the CG artwork. There was no 2D art that was made for the game. Next up from Nightmare, the Beefaroo egg lets you get the ability to change gravity and walk or run on walls. Why does Beefaroo have that ability? Uh, oh shit, a bullet. Let's hope no one gets hit by it. Thanks, Nightmare. For Kerbo John and the Eight Eggs, Egg Three. Next up, since we're playing Banjo Tooie alongside Banjo Kazooie, this only seems fitting, especially considering I'm playing this game with my wife. From Senshi. It seems Horse Mom found a pretty comfortable place to relax. In all honesty, I really like how this one turned out, especially because it was just a silly idea I had while watching the Banjo-Tooie Let's Play. Yeah, if you're watching the Banjo-Tooie playthrough with myself and Lukajin versus the TRG playthrough, different energy. Also, I forgot how busty, like, every character is in that fucking game. <laughs> Rare did not hold anything back. Thank you, Sanshi. Next up, from Nova of Old Stones. Real talk, since I first watched John's streams and Chugga's LPs of Xenoblade Chronicles, this has been exactly what comes to mind every time I pick up a cool potato, or see one picked up. I'm doing art for the entire Collectopedia, I need to pick that back up actually, and it took everything in my being not to do this when I picked that up. So really, the stream was an excuse to draw this nonsense. Thank you for the cool potato. Mm. The cool Wesker potato. I'm here for both energies, John, don't worry. Oh, thanks, Fear, I appreciate it. Oh, shit, there's a good Simpsons quote. Well, what are you gonna do? Release the dogs, or the bees, or the dogs that when they bark, bees shoot out of their mouths? <laughs> Smithers, release the robotic Richard Simmons. <laughs> Thanks, Nova, for the art. Next up, from Grease Lightning. Hello, everybody. I, Johnny, am not in Xenoblade 1, but do your best. I'm encouraging you. Don't go for 100%, people in chat. Uh, it begins the playthrough of the next year or so. I'm glad you're having fun and that the honor system has held for a good bit. Have fun and enjoy the story. I mean, we'll see how it goes, because we're getting past the- we're getting to the point soon where I don't know what happens, so we'll see. <laughs> Your ass favorite Spongebob quotes. I mean, here's the problem. My mind immediately goes to, MY LEG! Mm -hmm. And we did it, Patrick! We saved the city! <laughs> Those are probably uh, my favorites. And and the perfume. The perfume here. aisle is also good, too. Oh, God. Uh, I do like... Uh, in the smoking peanut when they arrest Patrick, and he's just like, Wow, you guys are good. It was me I was looking for the whole time. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> 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 so many good quotes from that show. From Spot Combust, as John begins his Xenoblade playthrough, I draw one of the few things I know about Xenoblade, that being Mithra and Pyra, mostly because I've really enjoyed playing them in Smash. So here's Rosa, dressed as Mithra. Also, this is my first stream-related art drawn on my new computer. Nice. Looks good. Thank you, Spawn. And you did the tights, too. Fuck yeah. And you actually did the combo. Nice. Thank you, Spawn. It's exactly what you described. Yeah. Next up. From Arizona, quick sketch of uh, female Shulk in a bikini based on the joke in the stream. Yay, cannon equipment. I'm telling you, if, you, you could have rocked it. Or she in this case. Well, they could have rocked it, no matter what. Thank you, Ari. I already showed this one. So let's hop to this one here. Xenogears, Xenosaga, Vandercam. 
He's in charge of a military force and treats his men very poorly. To, ca to calling them insults put, uh, plus a slacker and inflicting violence on them. Although in these games it's not played for comedy effect. Long live Gears and Saga. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess it is a uh, recurring character. Look at that. Yeah. Thank you, Daisy and Chibi. Next up, I think you might be excited for this one. From Jertz, my friend made this for me as a Christmas gift. She made everyone in our friend group our favorite characters as Splatoon Inklings. Posting this here with permission because Emil's playing Splatoon 2 and you're playing Xenoblade. The stars definitely aligned. Have a nice day, it's usually you two. The, That's kind of the reverse of what you would usually expect. You think I'd be playing Xenoblade, you'd be playing Splatoon. It's true. I mean, we've got our League Finals coming up at the end of the month. Or sorry, the beginning of next month, rather. So, uh, yeah. There'll be some Splatoon content coming back here soon, but thank you for that, Jerris. This looks awesome. Your friend did an amazing job on this. Oh, and I wanted yeah. to let Emil know that I just bought both Xenoblade 1 and 2 soundtracks recently, and he's the reason I found my two favorite games of all time, Chronicles 1 and 2. Way to go, Jerris. And way to go, Emil, in this game. <laughs> From Jack's pool. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite Xenoblade characters: Hulk Hogan, Jack Sparrow, and Wolverine. <laughs> By the way, the way you're playing is almost exactly how I played it, so I am greatly enjoying your exploration streak. <laughs> That's how you play. That, I that want is an organic I, first playthrough. I want this team. I want this team to be my playthrough team. I love Shulk, Ryan, and Fiora as a team, but I also want Hulk Hogan, Jack Sparrow, and Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jax. <laughs> Alright, the art is fantastic tonight. From I'm Not Batman, <laughs> what NPCs at the moment do in their spare time? She's sleeping, standing up in front of the sink, and Shulk's just confused. <laughs> Paige, oh, why is this here? What's wrong, Chet? Why uh, is this here? Reese isn't even here. What's wrong, Jack Coon? Could it be you're craving my McNuggies? It's been a minute since I posted this to the Buru, but I'm back with this piece of the infamous McNuggies meme. It's my lovely wife turned into the McNuggie machine. Mm. Thanks, thanks, Steel Bouncer, I think. Followed up quickly by this picture, also from Steel Bouncer, of the last episode of Disc Only that happened on Tuesday. And here we see the wild MC being completely frozen in fear from their natural predator, off-colored YouTube logo. If he's lucky, he'll survive attack and go on without any physical injuries. There was a discussion on Tuesday's disc only while MC was guesting, and uh, direct relief was discussed. And I forget how it got linked to Pornhub. I think it was Pornhub raising money for direct relief, and then someone made the direct relief logo look a lot like an off-color YouTube logo, which looks like another site's logo. Thanks, Steel Bouncer, for the cursed content. Uh-huh. Oh, it was the dildo talk from Coliseum. That's what it was, right. Oh, right. I was like, do you have any idea how far they can push a dildo? <laughs> yeah. No, it was that. We were talking about that. Next up from Fishy12233. Wanted to post this art that I did of Luca and Lotus from 999 that I drew recently. Want to post more of the fan art I do more often because I always forget to promote my stuff. Might post the art I've been doing for my AI Dungeon Blizzard The Wizard novel and my Luca Jin and Proton John animation test if you'd like to see that. Ooh, I want to see the animation test for sure. It's always good to see some Biz or the Wizard stuff, too. Thank you, Fishy. This is super cute. Next up, oh, Emil might get a kick out of this. Uh, from I Angels in the Window. Out of it. So I put up the picture I did last time on Twitter so you guys could see it, but I wanted to pose her a little to show movement. Maybe at some point I'll end up doing a couple of these poses for others to Photoshop into things. I also want to thank both of you guys for making my life better. I have looked forward to John's streams, first videos, and Chugga's videos for a very long time. I found Chugga first, and he helped me find John, and since then, you guys have helped me through so much more than I have time to write here or for you to read. For that, I thank you both. Hmm. Thank, thank you. you. This is impressive. Uh, I know doing clothes on a 3D model is really is really rough. And, yeah, like, it you, looks flawless. You probably didn't see this last time. Is it under the Xenoblade tag? It must be. No, it would have been there already. What tag did you use for this, then? Well, I guess I should I think, look in your tags. Hang on. I think there I saw go. it there, actually. This, this yeah. is the one I'm looking for. Yeah, this didn't have this had the Xenoblade Chronicles, and Chronicles was spelled wrong. But yeah, so this is a a V a V Roid model of Rosa John in a uh, Xenoblade style. So this is a combination of Xenoblade one and two art style for both. So this is a, a proper 3D model. Thank you. I like Angels. the bagel charm on the leg. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice touches on this one. Good shit, Angels. Canadian flag. 
Uh, next up, Steel Bouncer. I got bored and decided, hey, why don't I just shave Lukajin's hair off? And this is the final result. Horse Mom's a step closer to the Eggman source filmmaker model now. Thanks, Steel. <laughs> Next up from GB4576. Hey, John and Emil, long time watcher, first time poster. This is a Monado I designed for my animation class about a year ago. Want to show my appreciation to Chugga for getting me into the series along with Kid Icarus Uprising. Cool. Ooh. Nicely done. All right, we'll finish this row and then we've got to stop. <laughs> Actually, maybe we'll stop on rhymes. No, I had the show. I had the show Dovies. Hang on. Uh, from Begrudgingly Waluigi. So, Shulk is tuna? What do you mean, not that tuna? <laughs> you know He's what? He's still a tuna. I could see this being the case, no matter what. Uh, another shot of Rosa. And since you did that bikini outfit, I, well, I had to do the swimsuit version of Rosa, John Xenoblade. And yes, it is so tight that you can see her belly button. Nothing wrong with that. Looks sheepishly away. It's fine. I know people like the tummy around here. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to show this one. <laughs> Because I just saw how fucking ripped Rhyme was his rhyme. Wow. Uh, throughout high school, one of my friends in a group for gaming just constantly quoted Xenoblade. I'm going to fathom a guess that this was during Emil's playthrough. So I heard a lot of, now it's Rhyme time, because he likes both Emil and Xenoblade. And during Sticker Star, Emil goes, now it's Rhyme time. I cannot escape without knowing what time it is. Apparently it's so ripped it's time, because holy somewhere. shit. Yeah. What were you, sorry, what were you gonna say? I said, it's rhyme time somewhere. I'm sorry slash you're welcome, rhyme, either way. Mm -hmm. All right, my alarm's going off for art block, but I have to show this because I was bursting out laughing when I saw this. <laughs> Haven't acted and animated anything in like half a year and this only like the third one I've done, but I wanted to make an I am a real American Fiora here. I kept background locations to a minimum since I didn't want to spoil the other locations that haven't been on stream yet. <laughs> so, Hulk Hogan in the music video for I'm a Real American is just rocking on a guitar, bobbing around in front of random American locations. So this is just <laughs> that, but Fiora. And this is fucking hilarious. A real Bionite. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, no, it just, if you have not seen uh, the actual I'm a Real American thing, hang on. I, I'm sure I have it in my gift folder. Uh, da, da, da. Not in this folder. Which folder, is, which picture folder would I actually have these in, I wonder? Oh my god, I have three picture folders and they're showing up in none of them. I have these gifts because I love how stupid these pictures are. There we go. They're labeled Hulkamania 1, 2, and 3. Oh no. <laughs> Here he is just rocking in front of like some fireworks. <laughs> Alright. Of course you would have those. Here he is. Here he is rocking in front of like the Capitol and then the Grand oh. Canyon and then the St. Louis Arch. Ladies and gentlemen, your new intermission screen. <laughs> oh man, I've done this as intermission screens a ton, man. I I love, I just love how stupid these are. Like, here he is rocking. Oh man, I forgot about Mount the Rush one where he's oh at Mount God, Rushmore. The stadium. It's so stupid. It's so the stupid. The stadium is great. <laughs> and that, the, it, this is the shit I like about Hulk Hogan. The guy's a huge asshole, but like, uh, like the 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 mythos of Hulk Hogan is way better than the person. Just the the all the stuff around him is just fucking hilarious, man. It's so dumb. I fucking love it. All right, that's our block. Let's get back to the game. Okay. Hulk Hogan, the character is a gem. The person is not correct, and that can be the case for a lot of things, sadly, but it is true. All right. Uh. Okay, so we got a couple more Xenoblade transitions. I'm gonna try this one. Let's see how this one works. That one's still a little loud. Oh, it's hard to tell over the yodel. Let's go! 
By the way, I'm just gonna, on my screen, I'm just gonna keep that fucking Hulk Hogan Fiora meme going. I just have that on loop now. Having a great time. And that yodel is from Relic162 who says, A sincere thank you with all the education I'm getting tonight about Hulk Hogan and Xenoblade YouTube poops. God, your streams are weird. <laughs> that is 100% correct. <laughs> they are weird as fuck. Uh, thanks for that, Relic. Appreciate it. The Every Wreck Room also says, I just want to say thank you both. Chugga, I want to thank you for showing me some of my favorite games and showing me TRG. And John, thank you. I may only have just recently joined your community, but I'm happy to be here, especially during hard times. Appreciate it, Yevi. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, let's get back to the game proper now. Uh, we should be done in town, right? Yep. So we can do that heart-to-heart -heart over here now. Yes. Just weaving a giant spider web of collecting. All right, enduring friendship. Let's see how you do. Every time we come here, it brings back memories. Same for you, right? Yep, we've been through a lot together, you and me. Especially the laundry. Oh yeah, you remember that time? You know, that one time. When Dunban told us off? Oh, hold on a minute, Shulk. Be honest now, you're remembering it wrong. It went down a level? I am. Well, not wrong exactly. That's not the important part, man. Think harder. What do you mean? You remember why you got angry with us, right? Of course I do. You and me, we made Fiora cry. Yeah, we're back up. Exactly. And wait, why was she crying again? Ryan, how can you have forgotten already? You're the one who was reminding me! Anyways, if I think back, weren't we having a massive argument? Oh yeah, that was it. Not often we fight that bad. It's rare, all right. In fact, we could count the number of times we've fought on one finger. Kind of makes me smile, though. If it weren't for that fight, I don't think we'd be mates. I was thinking the same thing. It's amazing how we think alike. Sometimes I'm glad... Sometimes. I'm glad we're friends. Me too, Shulk. Friends to the end. That's us. Now, maybe we should go buy a shirt. Alright. I didn't know you could just level down in the middle of a heart-to-heart -heart like that. You're welcome. I mean, you're welcome. The heart-to-heart -heart just stops. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually was not trying to do this. Oh, boy. I guess we're here now! There's exclamation points. It's just one shirt. We need to share it. Yep. Yep. Is there getting a long shirt? <laughs> it totally is. We've been through that before, right? No, we have not shared a shirt. I'm sorry, Emil. <laughs> sorry if that disappoints you that it hasn't happened. Want to do it for charity? No. Oh. Man, not so even for charity. You know he really doesn't like me. Well, it's not that I don't. I just don't. Look, man. I've done a lot for charity. <laughs> weird, weird yeah. that that's the line I draw, but I don't think I would. I was about to say, is sharing like a get along shirt with me really that much worse? Well, than well here's the thing. To me, done. sharing a get along shirt means we're literally wearing it at the exact same time. I assume that's what you're implying. Is yes, that, yes. Yeah, okay, so that's what I thought. Oh, Jules ate his own ass for charity. You can do a shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I. I like how he always includes the for charity at the end. He's like, I ate my own ass for charity. Well, because you don't want to be known as the guy who just does it, period, clearly. <laughs> gotta, gotta draw a line somewhere, right? The photo of him doing that is perfect. Oh, he's just, like, tumbled over. Dude, we, we've all done a weird amount of stuff for charity, to be fair. It works. I have a you know? cosplay closet now dedicated just to charity. I've, I've thought about just like how impressive of a community we have, just like how well our fundraisers have done. I'm impressed that we have raised a million dollars for charity. I think that's absolutely insane. Isn't it more like 1.3 million now? Yeah, it is, it is about like 1.3, 1.4, somewhere in that range. But that's, that's still like crazy to think about. Yeah. I got the beginner's luck achievement, apparently. I just find it wild, all the records that we managed to keep breaking. I mean, it's gonna eventually stop at some point. Like, this year we didn't 
this year we didn't beat the previous year, but we still raised a shit ton. And we sold we more still shirts, the... which also made up for it. We sold more shirts, we had the most successful single day, we had the most successful single segment, we had the most successful first day. And also, um, it was the shortest amount of time between Coliseums, so... That's true, and it was also before tax season, for, so for a lot of people. Yeah, so I, I can... Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna, like, you know, meet the total of the previous year, but we came really close. And I'm also, you know, I'm not a believer that, like, we have to, like, beat the total every year because, you know, the whole idea that, you know, stuff has to be ever-increasing, I think, is kind of toxic, though, and it's still an incredible amount that we have, you know, done as a community. Yeah. But, you know, it's also nice to be able to say, like, yo, man, we're, like, every year is better and better. Like, it's a pride thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, well, it does help Fiora a little bit. Was she currently wearing this? I kind of like how the sleeves look. Um, this is a part of her default design, so. Yeah. You know what? Someone said switch the blue to black. Uh, I think it's because the blue is a little too bright. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go with the black. Mm -hmm. It fits what she's got on right now better. It's yeah. just too dark of a blue for it to really go with that. I thought it was too light. Oh, you mean the rest of it's too dark of blue. Yeah. yeah, I mean the rest of her outfit is too dark, yeah. Okay, are we good to just warp back up there? Because I don't see any more exclamations. So. Oh, I should have went to that. Oh, fuck, hang on. I actually did fall down for a second reason. Jumpity jump. Ali oop! It's a very minor change. Your characters didn't uh, say their lines when they jumped when they were controlled by the AI in the original. Ah. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I feel like the content from Coliseum was the best of the years I've seen live. Well, I mean, that means a lot. Wait. Thank you. Yeah, we really appreciate that. There was some good, good stuff in there. Next year's going to be interesting because we're going to be back to proper in person more than likely, so. Ah, shit, mm -hmm. I can't actually get up there from here. Never mind then. Mm -hmm. And that's for later. <laughs> I loved uh, the the shiny Roselli and Tom being all like, oh, congratulations, but in the spirit of the competition, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Tefra Cave. I do have a behind the scenes story that I, I'll share like when there's no talking here. I love the maps in this game, and when you enter a new area and it shows you where it is. There are many types of monster. The type of monster shown in the target window. You can toggle enemy icons on or off in display settings and options. Ordinary monsters will not attack you unless you attack them. Visual types will attack when they see your character, so that's what the eyeball is. And that's all we're explaining. You can figure out the rest. Mm-hmm. Ah, now can you use lure, too. Luver a monster to an area where there are no other monsters can make for a safer battle. Uh, if you are fighting a monster near one or more of the same species, a kindred monsters or monsters will join the battle. Lure away individual members of a group to take them down one by one. Selecting the fight icon to begin a battle gives you a chance to achieve battle start affinity. Press B at the right time to rally the party and raise the party's tension. When a critical hit occurs or an attack misses, you have a chance to obtain burst affinity. Press B at the right time to encourage that party member. This increases the affinity between the two party members and fills the party gauge. Pressing B for burst affinity and battle starts. Precite, perfect is per perfectly hitting the circle. Success is inside the circle and failure is too early or too late. Gotcha. So Tom actually uh, mentioned briefly like what I was going to say. What was that? So, um... Keep talking and nobody explodes it was a mystery to us. We didn't know what it was going to be. It was just a, you know, it was just a complete and total mystery to everybody but Tom and MC. And it, it is true that when I said that I don't even know what it is and I approved it, that was actually true. Because, <laughs> like, we all had to sign off on the schedule and, yeah, I didn't, like, none of us knew what it was. But, um, we were going up to go do it. And... I just had noticed there was no Lord Donator thing on the on the schedule, so I was going, oh, okay, this is totally what that is, though. So we're all walking upstairs to go do that segment, and I turn to Tom and I just go, so, time for the Lord Donator segment, huh? And then he pauses in mid-step, his eyes turn wide, and he goes, I should make this a Lord Donator segment! Thank you! And he runs off to go, like, get his stuff. 
I find it, it it's mind blowing that that was not planned. I think that's absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah, he was just like, oh my god, why did I not think to do that? And, I'm just, and he was like thanking me later, and I was just like, I thought it was obvious. I didn't like do anything. I was just saying the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> we win. We've definitely gotten stronger. Who else wants some? Wait, Tom is Lord Donator? Oh shit. Oh he shit, next, next, next they'll figure out I'm Rosa John. Ah oh, shit. I had plans to do a I had plans to do a bumper that was that whole like alter ego thing where I would say I'd just be sitting there in a dark room and I would just be playing Legends Arceus and you could hear it, know what I was playing, and then I would just go, huh. Nine star ranking. And then just like a silhouette would appear behind me all darkly with like a beat sound effect, and then it would just cut to black. <laughs> I never actually got to make it, it was just short on time, and it wasn't as high priority as the other ones. Uh, how much do I get if I get backslash? Yeah, I'm actually going to put it in backslash next time. Ryan. Uh, and you've been using Bone Upper. Actually, you've been using Hammer Beat a fair amount. Gets the attention of a group. And Fiora, Hidden Thorn. I said it was going to get that next time. So the first time I saw that art that says Lacerate, I thought it said Lactate, and it shows like oh. a sword with a splatter of blood, so I was oh, very meal. confused. Oh, meal. I was very confused. Swords don't tend to lactate, a meal, just in case you were ever wondering that. Uh, not even when they amputate something. No. Okay if we fight like this. Okay. Let's not lose sorry, sorry heads, to though. apparently disappoint you on that, as it sounds. Everything always comes back to nipples with me. It's a little concerning at times, I'm not gonna lie. As the designated boob guy! Okay, should have been looking. Hey, you two coming down? You two coming down? Oh, Fiora did. Fine, fuck off, get over here. Thank you. <laughs> Seller well. bugworm. Just let it longer. Oh, you're fighting? Okay. Oh, no. Wild down, wild down. Come on, Fiora. Oh, she, dazed, she barely dazed it. It looked like the last frame that it would have accepted it. Turn strike. Okay, good. Keeping the enemy in break is always a positive. You have 13 HP. You're dead. You're done. You can revive now. Good. No, I can't. Oh, the poison damage. I mean, you lost like 90% or 80% of your health before even fight starting the fight, so. As the leader becomes incapacitated in battle, but there's at least one block of uh, left in the party gauge. The battle will continue. You'll not be returned to the last landmark you visited. Able okay, to win a battle. Check the level difference between your party and the enemy. Also remember, equip your party with strong weapons and armor, too. Yeah, I think half the problem there was that uh, I took a ton of damage right away from us landing in there, and also no one wanted to help me. <laughs> you also didn't start the battle with initiative, which affects your stats. That's also true. It's totally coming on to you. What did she say? She said, be nice if it was always like this. Oh, yeah, I think she meant murdering enemies. Damn, she's cool. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? No? No one wants to have my back on this? I will fuck y'all. <laughs> Nobody appreciates Ryan, and he's the one getting punched in the face so that they don't have to. Oh shit, you're right, I have a bunch of gems I don't have equipped, hang on. Uh, wait, why does everyone have dots next to them right now? Oh, because I haven't done all the appearance shit, that's why. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's switch this to poison defense. Uh, let's switch this to... Ma Ooh, do I want him to have muscle up when he already has so much health? It would make him an even more effective tank. Yeah, but it might be better for the more squishier characters to have that. Uh, I mean, if the squishier characters are doing their job right, they're not going to be hit except by AoE stuff. I guess. Plus, agility is just really good because you don't get hit at all. Uh, all right, well. 
Yeah, here we go. Get some muscles. All right, well, let's try our luck again. That's also... Wait, where's the big one? There's the big one! <laughs> yeah, that is kind of a troll, how it doesn't appear until you get close to it and it can see you. Caterpillar attack! Oh! <laughs> It is. Only level six. We win. Oh yeah, no, so like we're all level ten, but and so is the big one. It's just the poison is what fucked us over. Yeah, yeah. You're doing the right thing by luring away the little guys, because if you do an AoE attack and get their attention too, that can really add up. Come on, come on. It's almost like it was designed that way that they give you luring and then there's a boss designed around it right afterward. Yeah, weird how that works, huh? I remember when I was a kid, part of the reason I was so bad at video games is because I would get new abilities and then not even try them. Because I was like, eh, it sounds lame. I remember in Paper Mario, I got stuck on General Guy for such a long time because I didn't even try Watt, because I tried her out in like a regular enemy battle, and I was like, wow, this seems weak, so I didn't really try her against the boss. I didn't even see that one there, oh my god. Yeah, it's tiny. Aw, oh, cute little caterpillar. That's a giant treasure chest from that tiny caterpillar. I only use special attacks on boss. That might have been it, because Watt's regular attack is what makes her so good. Her special attacks are actually not that good. It's just her regular move is so strong. Like, her paralysis and stuff isn't that good. Her turbo charge is good. This is, uh, regular or a thousand? Uh, regular. It's been so long since I played. Oh, shit. Ryan, you learned another ability? I think, I think Watt can hurt everything that is not fire element, like, doesn't have fire on it. And then, uh, she also pierces defense with her regular attack. She is just really, really good regular attack. And then, uh, turbo charge boosts Mario's attack. Or that greatly raises aggro, drawing enemy attention. That sounds good. Oh yeah, no, that sounds really good. Let's get that leveled up when we can. Although, let's put more in a bone upper here now while we can. And we got anything you can put more in a backslash. Uh, and let's quickly look in the skill trees. Cause I forgot I've even set Fiora's. I don't think I did. Okay, he's, almo he's almost got the heal bonus. Nope, hers isn't set. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't even in the party when you unlock this. Increases counterattack rate when HP's at half. Allows me to weight armor. Daring will give her strength up. Battle party grants strength up buff at start of battle for self. And zeal is HP up. Increases block rate when HP's at half. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. those are both tempting. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get daring. All right. I don't think you can switch to it, actually. What? I don't think you switch to it, actually. Yeah, she's daring. Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't hear the sound cue. Never mind. Just to confirm, yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm just not hearing it. Uh, all right, let's take out the cute caterpillars, I guess. Well, I don't know if I have to worry about them too much. I'm also worried if I keep aggroing all these, eventually I'm going to accidentally piss off the one I'm trying to not aggro. Uh, I can do it. How good I know I can. Just this. That was too easy. Let's not lose our heads, though. Let's press on and on and on. Oh, there it is. I've heard that line. Okay, it's time. Let's get some revenge. Fuck. Ooh, pow. Nice. Okay, good. Toxin shower. You are all poisoned. Great. Wild down. I remember I thought he said, whoa, dude, when he did that attack. When I was first playing this game. Oh, okay. Hitting Shulk a lot. You are also getting kind of weak. Ryan not 
Ryan not doing God. much right now. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna have to let him take some hits for a bit so I can just build up some. I'm gonna need it more than her, unfortunately. The fact that if you go down and there's no party gauge, yeah, you're kind of your life is kind of worth more. Uh, gonna break. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Give me that chain attack, please. I can really. Never mind. We got it. Come on. Oh, you got it anyway. Oof. Okay. Well, there we go. We got an ivory chest. Graft gauntlets Ooh. and court leggings. Ratio glyph. That's like when you get ratioed on Twitter so hard that it's historical and gets a rock carved out of it. Jesus. <laughs> uh, what were the ones we just what uh, graph gauntlets they come with the strength up to but they're not as good as the ones he's currently wearing and what were the other yeah court leggings eh, those are alright I'm gonna get ratioed so hard that it's engraved on a stone tablet it, do you really are you sure you want that <laughs> It'd be impressive. Like it would like it would like be one of those like underflows, like where you did something so lame that it actually underflows into being awesome. Hmm. Oh shoot, you're the one who's wearing uh Oh, but those gauntlets look really nice on her. Shit. Uh but it gives her a strength up. You know what? We're doing it. People gonna... don't know what ratio means. People say that like on just ordinary tweets that don't have anything like weird about them. <laughs> but Eh, I mean, some people just just do it out of habit. It's just parrot repeating things you see on the internet. It happens. Yeah, a lot of people just parrot it without actually knowing what it means. Like I see it on tweets where I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, Shulk, weren't you trying to? No, who was I was trying to get? It was you. I was trying to get engaged, leveled up. Okay, I got turned around a little bit. I think this is the way we're going. Got some objectives over here. Yeah. Oh man, you're taking this. You're taking Skeeter to prom. I mean, he asked nicely. <laughs> couldn't couldn't resist that honking. <laughs> Didn't know if you had Doug up in Canada, but I guess you do. Yes, Doug aired up here. Hmm. I remember really loving Doug as a kid, though, but like watching it as an adult, it's not the best. I mean, I feel like it, it just, it's better for kids. It, it, re it resonated better for kids. Yeah, I remember like really loving it as a kid and thinking the characters were great. It, it, it probably just was like a right place, right time kind of thing. Did what it was supposed to do. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, and I like Ooh, chain boy. When carrying out a chain attack, you can select arts for the three members of the party to perform during a chain attack. Any arts that were still in the cooldown phase will be available regardless. Deal substantial damage with a chain attack. Using arts of the same color consecutively during a chain attack raises the level of damage or recovery. Decide what type of chain attack to perform based on the circumstances. Talent arts will chain with any color, so try out different combinations. Use chain link to add to the chain. After the third party member uses their art, chain link may be activated. When this occurs, press B at the right moment, and one party member will be able to use an additional art. Increase affinity to power up chain link. The deeper the affinity between the party members, the easier it is to activate chain link. If you're lucky, you can activate chain link up to 15 times in a row? Mm -hmm. Every time another art is used in the chain attack, there's a chance that chain link will be activated again. Jesus! It, it is luck based, but the chances are higher based on how much the characters like each other. 15 times in a row, dude. Yeah, and you can multiply damage and stuff, it's wild. Um, your character in slot 3 is going to be hitting the hardest usually though, because early game you're probably not getting additional chain links, so... It starts. Yay, Shulk, go you! <laughs> yeah, he goes, I'm really feeling it. She's like, Yay, Shulk, go you. She's heard it all before. 
I do think that I like two's chain attacks better because I think they aren't as luck based and I feel like you have more control over what actually goes on in them, but yeah, it's still really fun to have a long chain attack go off in this game. Clarity Moss. It's like all clear and like and all moss. Jello. It's clear and also moss. That was the advertising slogan. Boom. Right, you're a life saver. I know. Okay. Power smash. Yeah, let's, let's go. Now it's mine time. We're the best. Good thing I'm here. We're the best. Anyone? Right. Let's keep going. God, they're very chatty, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, and a unique monster. Ah, Sweet. Wow. Bring it on. He wants you, and now it's going for Ryan. Oh, he missed the timing. Oh shit, wrong one. Oh, doesn't matter. I kind of like playing as Ryan because you just wait for Shulk to use break and then you just go for the topple instead of, you know, inflicting break and sometimes getting It makes not sense. And that's kind of why I was hoping you could, like, play as, like, swap between the party members on the fly. You can use arts on any character in a chain attack, so you do have that. Hmm, true, but I mean, you're gonna want to save those, I assume. Graph gauntlets and bouncer knives. Grab these. And he's better. Mm, defense goes down by 10, which is a little worrisome. Higher crit rate. Yeah, higher crit rate. Yeah, block rate goes. Ah, oh, man. Uh, defense. What's our defense already at? 73, and it goes down to 63. But it is overall better. Put that back on. See, the funny thing is, I'm playing this, and I'm like, man, this is just Final Fantasy 12. <laughs> <laughs> it is just faster, and I think with better exploration. Yeah, the only, the downside is, like, the one thing I liked about 12 was the, the system they use for, like, setting up your party members. That was actually surprisingly helpful if you got into it and had enough commands. Like, I, uh, for, I, for those who never never played 12, you basically programmed in how your, your characters, your party's actions would be. So you could be like, if your health drops below 30%, you automatically choose to use a heal. So you can make it, it's like you're, you can make it pretty detailed. Yeah, gambits. That's what they were called in 12. Yeah, the gambit system was actually really cool. You can't customize the AI on this though, but uh, I, I, in my let's play, I did compare it to Knights of the Old Republic a fair amount because that's also a lot like that, gameplay-wise. Oh wait, that's okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Worse stats, but slots. Now we'll wait. Oh wait, why is skill tree marked? Did someone actually finish the skill? Yes! Nice. Alright, so now healing arts restore more HP. What are you working on next? Kind encouragement. Restores HP to an encouraged ally. Ooh, only 5%, but that's still good. But I think it might be better to get increased tension gain from battle start affinity. I think that seems helpful, so let's get that. Ryan can now wear heavy equipment. Increase aggro drawn by Matt Taunt. Mmm. Versus increase max HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, <laughs> you're gonna be on that one for a while. The correct answer. Okay. Dream Edge! Come Let's on. go! That was too easy. We've definitely gotten stronger. Let's not lose our heads, though. Swimming sandals? Uh huh. The excitement in your voice. Oh my God, they're Crocs. <laughs> you can unlock oh. Crocs. Oh. oh. I have a very deep dislike of Crocs. I'm not surprised. What, why, why, what, what reason do you think I have? Most people don't like Crocs, to be fair. Oh my god, they have heels if she wears them! <laughs> They're all different! He has Waluigi Crocs! The, 
God, that is the tackiest sentence you have ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yes, Waluigi Crocs! Um... But, uh, so I had to wear, um, I had to wear Crocs one time as part of the dress code for a field trip because we were going to the beach, and, like, there was going to be, like, you know, crabs and stuff, like, in the water, and, like, you know, they wanted us to have, like, closed-toed shoes on that would be fine in the water. Um, I started walking to school, and I got maybe, like, one block down the road, and already the button on the side of the croc, uh, of the crocs, um, the button goes like inside of the shoe. That button had already given me great big old two blisters on the arch of each of my feet. Only one block into walking to school. It was like impressive. You know what the sad thing is? Mm -hmm. I also have a croc story to tell. <laughs> really? Yes. And I, I was in so much pain. The, the blisters were just being rubbed so much by the shoe that they popped early in the day Aww. just from wearing the shoes normally. And like, I was having to get into salt water like this. Have you been here before? Nope. Nope. The defense force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. <laughs> there are monsters around here that use Mekon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mekon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. So, yeah, so they... I had these exposed open wounds, had to get into salt water with them, and I was, like, begging the teacher to let me take the shoes off because they were just hurting me so bad, and, like, the skin under the skin was just getting rubbed raw from these things, and she was like, I'm sorry, Emil, I can't tell you to take them off. There's a dress code for this, and I can't tell you to break it. So I had to just keep them on, and just my skin hurt so bad by the end of the day. And since then, I have had just a deep hatred for Crocs, and I consider them the worst shoes I have ever worn in my life. Mm, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's... I will never wear Crocs again. They they suck. Anyway, your, your story. My story is something similar. Um, we were doing... It's, it's, this is funny, this comes up while we're playing a game from Monolith. Uh, me and a friend cosplayed as characters from another Monolith Soft game, Bait and Kaitos. So I was Callus, and she was... Oh, no, I can't remember the the first name, the character's name. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, either way, we both did a cosplay for this, and we went to a con, I think it was called Anime Evolution, uh, over in BC. And we needed blue shoes for Callus, and the only thing that looked... Uh, yeah, Zella, thank you, that's the character. Um... Uh, and the only shoes that matched the shoes that Callus wore were blue Crocs. So I had uh, blue. I had blue Crocs for this costume, but the only size we could find was a a size smaller than what I normally wore for shoes. So I was running around this this convention that was at a university, so like concrete floor and everything, in this this elaborate costume. Let's be real, like Baden Kaito's outfits are. Weird, but I mean, like, if you've seen anything Monolith Sauce done, they're pretty standard. Uh, and then we did we did a performance. We actually won an award at the con. Uh, but at the end of it, uh, at the end of the day, I'm like, man, my feet hurt. What's going on? I removed the Crocs. My feet were bleeding from wearing these Crocs. Like they had apparently, like, they were so tight. Like where my where my toenails were like they had pressed in so much that there was blood there so I like screwed myself over for walking around the entire con like that so the next day I was in like I think my Rock Howard outfit so it was like a lot it was just normal shoes but man my feet were just messed up from it from fucking Crocs of all things I like how both of us like were epically bleeding from Crocs <laughs> oh, yeah Crocs of sorry. all things should not be the thing that caused like your feet to bleed. Why aren't Crocs illegal yet? Yeah, mood. So yeah, easily my double F tier shoe. Attack stability too. Mm -hmm. Mm 
What is attack stability to? Increases a weapon's minimum damage by 12%. Wow. Mm, okay. Yep, consistency. Interesting. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Really good with the uh, really good with the uh, consistency uh, or with the uh, glitch that I told you about in the first game. The one that increases maximum damage was worthless in the first game because it had no effect. <laughs> oh, okay. They just auto open. Ooh, a flashing. I want to press the red button. I want to press the red button. <laughs> What is my S tier shoe? I do not have an S tier shoe. I really like my Nintendo Vans because you can't buy them anymore. Like everything Nintendo does when they collab with other companies, they make like S tier stuff and then they make like four of them and they're like, now nah, we hate money. That was too easy. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? Let's press on and on and on. Yeah, I I know you showed me those NBA Jam ones. Those looked cool. Yeah, I found a pair of Converse that had the NBA Jam logo on them, and the shoes themselves were orange. And I asked John if he wanted them, though, but he, he um, I don't know. I guess you wouldn't actually wear them with a practical outfit. Well, here's so here's the thing. Like, I love the way like, so were they Vans or Converse? I forget. They were Converse. They were high tops. Yeah. I like how Converse looks, but they are not comfortable shoes. Really? I I kind of like how lightweight they are and like how greasy they breathe. Like, I kind of prefer that to having, like, you know, a bunch of pillows wrapped around my feet. I honestly rather, like, like, I switched to, was it New Balance? Like, they still look like, I love skater shoe look. I, they still look like skater shoes, but they are actually somewhat more comfortable. Are you a fan of Vans, though? Because, like, Vans are also kind of basic. Vans, I used to wear for the longest time, but then Vans, I, I was wearing Vans to, when I was doing retail work, and they were killing my back. Um, I do have a pair of Nikes that I use for exercise. Like, I would not work out in a pair of Converse, for instance. Like, that would be pain. But, uh, yeah, I, um... That was too easy. We've definitely gotten stronger. Would you like to open a pile of treasure chests? Steady Greaves and a million driver. A million driver. It's good that you won that fight. A lot of people get stuck on that one because it does bleed damage. Yeah, I, I noticed. Well, I mean, Fiora got knocked down at least once. I had to revive her. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I mean, we're also pretty decent level. Like I said, I fight everything, so I don't expect to struggle too much unless I just kind of you... get rushed. The way you've been playing, you will be fine. You might have a couple of fights that are difficulty spikes, but that'll be it. Ah, uh, shit. What was the new year we just got? Ryan Where'd had you... the million driver. Uh... Yeah, Million Driver, and I, I think we got, was it, not, yeah, it was, was it leggings again? Battle leggings? No, there was some piece of armor we got. What the heck was it? Oh, Steady Griefs, there we go. I was yawning. <laughs> I was Topple to resist. Uh, but it's heavy, so only Ryan can wear it. And it's not better than what he's currently wearing. In fact, it's heavier than what he's currently wearing. Mm -hmm. Heavier and with lower stats. Yeah, not worth it. And you can't take gems off of gear that have it on there, right? No, unique gear has the gem forever bound to it. That's a bummer. But I get it. Uh, million driver. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. We're not getting anything better than that carbon driver for a while, are we? Nah, you, you, you're very ahead of the curve on the stuff that you were finding. A two-slot a, a two slot weapon of any kind is just really good. I feel like I've been using Stream Edge a fair amount. Actually, no, I should be upgrading Heal. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> Someone called their Crocs the plastic shoes with the holes in them. I love that name. I mean, it's true. That's what they are. Like, if you <laughs> need to physically describe Crocs to someone, that makes the most sense. I legit thought they were plastic when I saw people, like, wearing them around, and I was just like, why would anyone do that to themselves? I mean, the concept of them is basically just slippers. Hmm. They're just spongy slippers, so they're they're ones you can wear in water. So I get why people wear them. Hmm. 
How much longer are we I going just... for? I'm actually surprised that Milo's still here, if you want me to be honest, because I figured he would've gone to bed by now. I guess it is like 2.40. Um, maybe we could like get to the next uh, next fight and then we could end right there. I mean, if you want me to be honest, I was gonna still go for another 50 minutes. But uh, if you can't stick around for it, then yeah, you can either tap it early if you want, or I can, or we can wrap up early either way. Gotcha. Let's see how I'm feeling after the next boss fight. Okay. Emil is used to staying up for Splatoon map rotations. You're not wrong. That's true. The the map rotation is the worst part of making that Let's Play. I will sit down with like an hour of time and I will be there the entire hour because I get the same map seven times in a row and I can't get the other one to show up. <laughs> or I have to record at like three in the morning because it's the only time all day that Rainmaker is up and I really want to show a strategy with that weapon on that mode. There was one time where I was going to have a guest on and we wanted to do Rainmaker, and straight up, the map rotation wasn't going to have Rainmaker at all for 36 straight hours just because of horrible luck. I didn't even know that could happen. I figured the four modes just went in, a, went in like some order. Or like, you know, it would do like them an equal number of times within a day. Oh hey, look where we ended up. That spot I was trying to jump to earlier. <laughs> Yeah, you probably weren't going to be able to do this uh, without without that. Heart to heart. Can't do it. Told you to get used to it. Right here. Thanks for the help, Shulk. I'll start collecting them up. You two hold on a sec. It's full of ether cylinders. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Well, refining the ether takes a long time down there, and sometimes cylinderization fails. And there are so many cylinders here for us already, it's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> anti air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for defense force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. I don't know, but it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. <laughs> Switching to attack targets. Try targeted for monster pressing L or R. This may come in handy when fighting several monsters at once. There should be commands to the party. Focus attacks, engage at will, or come to me. Two of them. That's about all you get. Usually they will keep attacking the same enemy that they were attacking. Um, so it's about the most control that you get over them in mid-battle without doing a chain attack. It's a bummer, but I guess nice. it's, it's still something. Wow! That, you swept that. Wow! Wow! Great. You might not even need to topple it. Nope. Fiora, are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mechon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mechon to me. But why did they only show up now? 
I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Huh? What's going on? Listen! What is that? That sound. <sighs> it's a guitar solo! In the sky! Oh! Oh! It's a... This can't be! No way! Macon! How? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Macon? Let's get back to the colony! Come on! I like the blinking red light inside of Tefra Cave. You can stumble upon that and it's foreshadowing this. You mean the door or a different one? No, inside of Tefra Cave there was a blinking red light and I even commented and right. I was like, ooh, a blinking red this light. Siren. It sounds different. Yeah. Isn't this siren too? It can't be. The mecha. One large mecha. Ten carriers. And an unknown number of units emerging from the carriers. You idiots. Why didn't you see this lot until they were right on top of us? But sir, we thought the mech had all been wiped out. Ah! Oi! What's happening? Respond! Ah! Anti-air batteries one to three. Why aren't my targeting systems online? Don't let a single one into the colony! <laughs> Assemble everyone who can fight. Evacuate the civilians to the shelter. Get a move yes, on! Sir. Fire at will! We got it! No, wait! What the... Our weapons don't work on them at all! What type of mechon is that? I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! Fight. I have to say, I love how this whole first section <laughs> that we play tonight is paced. What? It's relaxing. <laughs> I know it's his. I know it's just his. His uh, his cycle is just like his neutral cycle. But it's just really fucking funny that he just decided to do that of all times. Well, uh, but yeah, I love how this whole first section is paced. Just the opening cutscene is a really good hook. You're thrown right into the action right away. Um, you know, I was immediately interested in the story from the first minutes, uh, then you kind of have a slow section with Shulk and his friends, you get to just explore and have fun and get a feel for why the game is enjoyable to play on your own, you can explore to your heart's content, really big open area that, you know, is indicative of how the rest of the game is, a lot of side quests, just so many things to do, and then, like, you know, just as you're, like, getting comfortable with it, this happens. Alright! Shima, making waves. I believe you can't warp into Colony 9 right now, right? Like, that's specifically why uh, you're on this ledge? I think fast travel is disabled right now. During certain story events, it is. Hang on, I gotta kill this bird first. It's very important. Okay, Ryan. I don't know, he might be a mech on in disguise. Yeah. Can't con bird! Yeah. So 
Those are enemy birds. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Should be okay if we fight like this. The Call of Nine resident can make his delicious omelet now. He <laughs> sure can. The plot twist is it's his own meat in the omelet. Yeah, yeah everything's marked as red, so yeah, I can't warp. Completely disabled. Make sure there was no other missions to do. Yeah, we're golden. Let's do it. Actually, yeah, how are we doing on quests now that I think about it? Oh, you're doing great. The key to a long life has to be turned in, uh, things that have aged poorly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few unique monsters you could go kill, I guess. There is that fish that would not fight you before. Oh, I like how that's on my quest list. Yeah, the story quests are marked with diamonds. Alright, so there's all our current ones. Okay. There's just a couple we haven't done because we didn't completely search around calling on, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if I should have done that before considering what's about to happen. Oh well. You're fine. You never stood a chance. Gotta squash the bug. You're one shotting these guys. Well, I mean, I'm getting crits on them. Anti air battery one is much more peaceful now. I'm pretty sure that's the one that was just slashed in half. Rear Admiral. Does John know what's about to happen? I do because I watched Emil play uh, this game when he was practicing for his LP back in the day. So I remember up until after this section. Yeah. So basically, where we're ending tonight will be the last part of the game I know, other than that major section in the ending. I'm feeling it. Fiora, Fiora, that's great. That was too easy. Who else wants some? We've definitely gotten stronger. Anything else I need to murder here? Are we good? You sure are getting a lot of reputation with a destroyed town. <laughs> Our heroes! Now please help put out the fire! Part of me wants to go and just deal with the other missions because they're, they're right over there. Oh, It's your play. There, uh, you can fight a boss. There you go. Verdant Blukel. Nice I think well. this is the weakest unique monster of the Colony 9 ones. I find the fish way harder than this one. Chance. That was a joke. The Colony 9 residents are very grateful that the terrifying situation <laughs> has come to an end. <laughs> yep, sure has. Done and dusted. <laughs> <laughs> it, hurts to, it hurts to laugh because I did a like really long like ab set yesterday, so my belly hurts. <laughs> ah, the piss tis cap. Caterpile syrup. More objectives. Oh, it's the goggles. You know what? I got. I want him to wear the goggles. He's gotta wear the goggles. We did it, Patrick. We saved the city. Sure feels like it right now. Oh, only half health. Wow, they're really stepping it up. That was too easy. Should be okay if we fight like this. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Take this. I really like our vibe. Go get him, Fiora. I'm really feeling it. That was too easy. Let's press on and on and on. Man, what a bunch of jokers. I don't even remember why I'm killing those guys. Party was. Uh, no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, I could take out the unique monsters now that I have a full party. Dude, I had John O look something shiny even more than I do, and that's impressive. I'm just, I'm fighting the urge to do that is what I'm saying right now. Well, no, because I know what's about to happen, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm in a better position if I do this now. Not really. What do you mean? I... 
Whoa. All right, the I've game, the game got sick before. of my bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it won't let me go this way. Yeah, I've never seen that text before, actually. Well, you're welcome. I'm showing you shit you didn't find. Can I make this jump without killing myself? You land in the water. I landed oh, in the yeah. water, but not enough, apparently. Oh, that's what, okay, I get why I was doing that, because I was thinking I wanted to go to that bridge. Yeah, I you can't won't. get up from down here. Yeah, let me, let me see here. About fighting the urge. <laughs> Actually, you know what? These aren't all. All right, fine. Kirby fine, fine, now. Fine. fine, I'll go in the move the damn story along. Spirit Team 108 said he said fighting, not winning. <laughs> I don't go to Dun uh, to Dunbans. It's almost at Duncan's house. <laughs> hey, you're not IGN. I really want them to make the names Meathead Ryan and Inscrutable Duncan unique monsters in the next game, just to throw shade and meme on it. Oh yeah, and also two highly irritating Napon. Don't worry, Team Shirtless is here! They're eating people! It's horrible! Is Dunman okay? Fiora, go and check on him! Uh, okay! Heads up, Ryan! If this thing wants to fight, let's give it one. Inflict Topple before attacking a Mechon. Anyone can deal damage to a Mechon if it is suffering Topple. Inflict Break before Topple. Break Arts, inflict Break. Topple Arts, inflict Topple. Use Turn Strike to inflict Break when controlling Shulk. Hit the enemy with Turn Strike to inflict a Break. Next, wait for Ryan to inflict Topple using Wild Down. It's wild down to inflict topple. Wait for Shulk to... Okay, they're just telling you if you're playing as one, wait for the other. This is why I prefer playing as Ryan for this. Ryan, you're a lifesaver. Straight on the edge! Now it's not time. Hot edge! Bring it on! Take this! Come on! Hey! Yeah, you're hitting for like nothing. I know, because he's not doing it. Forget it. Hit him hard next time. Thank you. Oop. I'm powering up. Hey? You sure are. What? Come on. Wait. What? Now it's right time. Hey? Hey? Ryan, you're uh child's play. Right. You wanna That was close. Leave it to Ryan. You wanna It's not an inflicted break right now. Hey? So, all right, well, since I can't seem to command it, well, let's see. Can I tell him to focus attacks? Got to keep the enemy in. Well, I only have one move that inflicts break, so... Oh, no, you're, you have turn strike. Oh, right. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Oh, there good. We go. Now tear him up. Okay, Ron. Good. I was looking for specifically at the ones that in underneath actually showed the break symbol, which was really just the one. But only for now. It'll reactivate soon. 
Where's Dunban? He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. What? He ain't fit enough to face these things. Ryan. For stream management flick break, you have to be in front of the enemy. You'll have a blue exclamation point when you can't when you are. No, it doesn't. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't flick the break when I was behind it. Yeah, no, uh, Stream Edge it, is just a fan shape in front of Shulk. Yeah, it means in front of you. Because of that, Shulk can inflict break on multiple enemies at a time. Uh, to flee during battle, highlight the talent icon and use up and down to select the flee icon. Select A to stop fighting and run for the monster. Time for a sneaking mission. Sneaking, sneaking mission. Nope, don't care. Don't care about warnings. Time for a sneaking mission. Hmm. I think I might need to get going. It's like three in the morning, and I do have to like make sure I don't stay up too late because of other things. Like I said, I feel bad, but thanks for being here for as long as you have. Yeah, I, I wish I could stay around for this next part, but you know how I feel about it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Thanks for being on, dude. Thank you, so, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being so kind, everyone. And also, thank you for raising $100,000 for direct relief in one segment of Coliseum this year. I cannot speak enough praise about this community. Alright. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Later, dude. The main reason I'm still going is because this is this is kind of an important story beat. I feel we should at least have this happen before we wrap up for the night. Grin at me, will you? What? I'd also love that the next the next stream we do of this that it would be stuff that I don't remember. So. Go make this major story beat happen. The Colonel, the guys, I'm going to destroy every last one of those damn Mechon. We noticed. We'll Apparently, Ryan didn't. Never mind. Let me think here. Huh. Ryan, Fiora, there's still the mobile artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right. This is it. Time to avenge the Colonel and the boys. The Monado, let's just blow it the fuck up. It'll solve everything. <laughs> For the boys! Shulk! Ryan! 
Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. Shield won't get a scratch. Although we should probably put on a shirt or some armor or something, though. I believe you. You're gonna be fine, though. Ryan. Huh? You take care too. Of course. That's the Looks nicest like thing she she's ever said to me. I told you. Oh, did you all need it, huh? Okay. We can definitely do this. Aura burn. Okay. Now we're getting started, and nothing's gonna stop us. I'm powering up. Come on. Ryan. It's okay. Cheers. Shadow one. All right. I'm feeling it. What? The only bummer is I gotta wait for any of these to activate so I can actually do something. Come on. Thank you. Come on, you can do it. Oh, shit, not that one. Oh, your cooldown's probably like a nightmare right now. Now it's right time. Bring it right. on. I'm feeling it. Wow, hey. Nice. Come on. That was a close one. You were never cut out for this stuff. You gone. I'll take care of things here. You're too out of breath to persuade me. Tell me about it. Oh. Don't use stream edge for break. I have two options and they both have cooldown. It's better to do something than nothing. Right, behind you. Get out of here. Short cut is stupid. Hold on. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Why'd you put on a shirt? We're all going around without shirts. It's the cool thing to do now. So this is why you weren't at home. I thought so. This is what I was waiting to see. Ready, lads. Alright. Well now that we have the Monado, we don't have to worry as much about waiting for topple and shit like that because we can actually do some damage now to these guys see went way faster nice one dunban you didn't waste any time on their mech on shulk where's fiora the residential district we said we'd meet her there Looks like we'll have to take the long way round. All right, then we cut through the commercial district. Yes. Dun dun dun. Dunban, take off your shirt. It's a rule if you need to be in the party. You have to take off your shirt. I can't. <laughs> he can't. The game said no. I'm sorry, chat. I tried.
the shirt is done man's power limiter. Well, apparently it didn't work very well. Dunban, you can't take any more of the Monado. But I must. I don't have a choice. Ryan's right. You can't go on like this. Shulk. Dunban. Hey. This time, it's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <sighs> What's happening? I'm running in slow motion. Oh, and I'm dead. Well, shit. Whoa, Mondo Cool. Exactly, Mondo Cool. That's not yours. Mondo Cool. Are you carrying a spare sword? I got your back. Shulk, do you feel all right? I'm okay. But there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? Never can be too careful, I mean, I guess. What are you saying? Are you certain, Shulk? Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? Anyways, back to fighting. Don't think about it now. Just believe what the Monado showed you in fight. Got it. All right, let's do it. Using Monado Arts. Activate Monado. Press A to switch. Shulk's talent art has changed to activate Monado. Select activate Monado to switch between normal arts and Monado Arts. Using Monado Arts against Mechon. Monado Arts are particularly effective against Mechon. Fight battles efficiently, or yeah, yeah, efficiently through judicious use of normal arts and Monado Arts. Monado Enchant powers up your allies. Monado Busta deals major damage to the enemy. I guess we should take care what? of the big boys. All right. I'm feeling it. What? Right, Boom. let's focus our efforts. I'm on it. Roger. What? We can definitely now do this. Right You're this. not invincible. Uh. Monado, enchant. Bring uh. it Behold on. the power of the Monado. Yeah. Shulk. Get in there. Inspirational. Everyone, let's go. How's it going? days are numbered. Yeah, let's enter. We're the best. Who else wants some? Not bad. They're so Not happy. They're so happy they're murdering at a 10th grade level. Dunban, can I change your shirt now? No, still can't. I like how I finally got the weapon I need to fight them. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna skip everything.
You think you'd be a bit more concerned about how big that boy is, but all right, you do you. Time to fight Metal Face. Yeah, about that. The Monada, it's not working. Oi, uh, uh, what's uh. How can that be? The Monado should cut through Mekon with ease. What? What is that light? Other Mekon don't have that. Could? Could that light be why the Monado has no effect? Shoot! Right, get down! Uh -huh. Stay back! I'll take it from here! No! You can't take any more! Good job, you two. Proud of you both. You know how to use that? She's just a badass. Fiora, get out of here! Run! You want more? <laughs> <laughs> you probably should have buckled up, maybe, Fiora? Inflicting topple on Metal Face. The Monado has no effect on Mechon with faces. You have to inflict break and topple before you will be able to deal damage. Maybe difficult to inflict break on larger monsters, but it's almost always possible if part of a chain attack. Use a chain attack to inflict break. I don't know most of these moves. <laughs> Ain't over yet. Uh -huh. Good job, everyone. Hooray! I went for the color chain, that's why. Ah! Uh. 
That's a good effort, Shulk, I'll give you that. Solid scream. So distraught I didn't bother putting on a shirt. We always love sitting on this bench together. Oh, the oh shit, it's actually the armor I wore earlier! That's actually a really cool touch! Yeah. Holy shit! I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be. That's so actually quiet. really cool! You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Sitting around in our bikinis, having a great time at the park bench, nowhere near the water. Have you been to see Dunban? Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Uh, Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. Uh. But I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. And all I no lost was painful, one asshole of a friend. No matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Plus, okay. she go down, She went down fighting. Kind of badass, too. Gave you and treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. Give it about it 60 in-game hours. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk. They attacked our colony. Killed Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you <laughs> I don't think we're the winner! I'm just surprised I don't you came think we're the winner first. here! You thought I'd try and talk you out of it. 
That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. The other's telling me to put on a shirt. It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third voice, but the two second voice is drowning it out. The three wolves theory, but for Shulk. So, when are we heading off? Right now. Perfect. Man, I'm glad I turned up the voice volume. Like, they're already struggling against the soundtrack. Right then. Yeah. Look after yourselves, boys. As soon as this heals, I'll be right behind you. And then we will seize our destiny. Together. Hulk Hogan was just there in the corner. Alright, with that, we beat the first two chapters of the game. Fourteen years ago. Oh, I left cutscene voice of default. Shit, I forgot there were two separate entries. John, is this Canada? Eh, it's close. Oh yeah, brother, gonna open up this door! No! Oh shit, should open it sooner. Oh. I guess I couldn't find a babysitter. All right. Da -na -na -na. I got the real prize, brother. I got myself a small child. Gonna raise it as my own. Gonna run a reality show. Have a great time. Teach him how to run around without a shirt on. It's all very well going after that metal face mech on. But shouldn't we have some kind of plan? How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6? The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a mech on base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal face mech on. So, we go past the Magmel ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I blame the Krogs for Fiora's <laughs> death! <laughs> it's true. She hurt her feet.
That's why she didn't get out of. The, that's why she didn't get out of the mech because her feet hurt because of the Crocs. Oh no, the cannon. Gem crafting's now available. All right. Well, as you heard the duck hunt jingle, this is where we're stopping for the night. I'm actually not gonna save simply because we have a cut. Like we've got the chapter start. So next time when we load it up, we'll go right back to that cutscene. We'll see it again, and then we'll know what we've been doing. So. When do we resume? That is a good question. So my plan is roughly every two weeks or so we come back to this. So what I am thinking currently is either the 18th or the 25th. It'll be on a Wednesday. Uh, would people want it to be on a Wednesday and it starts a little bit earlier? Or would you rather Saturdays and taking up cookie slots? I think it's better to have it on Wednesdays, but more people will probably be able to watch live on Saturdays. That's the trade-off, unfortunately. Well, I am seeing more Wednesdays in chat, but I am seeing a bunch of Saturdays, too. The answer is yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very helpful. There's a poll running right now if you want to quickly vote. Uh, right now, it's about 70-30 split in favor of early Wednesday. By early Wednesday, I mean starting probably around 5 or 6 p.m. Mountain Time, because I still do have to actually, like, re-still streams in the afternoon, so I still gotta watch the cat and stuff like that. But it'll be roughly when we were supposed to start tonight. Provided I don't have a random headache stopping me or anything like that, but obviously... Probably not going to be able to watch most of this live anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, that's also fair. If you're watching the VOD channel, then you probably don't have much to worry about there. Well, Chugga be joining you for the next sessions. Chugga has free range to join when he wants, but he is not contractually or schedulely obligated. I'm going to tell him when the next one's available, and I don't think he's home for it. Actually, he might be. Uh, I'm gonna say right now, tentatively, that the next session's on the 18th, but if a meal is available for the 25th, I may bump it to the 25th. So, keep an eye on Twitter and stuff like that. But let's say right now the plan is for Wednesday the 18th, starting around 6 o'clock Mountain Time. And uh, for those wondering about the poll, if you're listening to the VOD, or if you're not paying attention to the stream right now, 65%, aka 309 people, oh, said early Wednesday. You know 35%, 166 <laughs> people said Saturday. I so, uh, we may have some... Well, basically, we'll probably bounce back and forth on Wednesdays and Saturdays. But I think the next one for sure is going to be on a Wednesday. What? Have Xenoblade replace game clearing nights? No, I, if, if, I don't think Mondays are going to work any better for people. Yeah, so they'll likely start around 8 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll do the exact... This would be the exact same amount of time we would go for normally. So this checks out that, roughly. All right. Well, here's the interesting thing. Now, next time we play, it's going to be blind for me because I'm pretty sure I don't remember anything past that cutscene we just saw. I remember that snowy cutscene. I don't remember anything past that, because I think that was where Emil stopped in his practice when we were uh, there recording whatever Mario Party it was. I think it was like four. I think it was Mario Party 4 we were recording at that point. Oh, you know what? I didn't test. I didn't test the 3D one. He gave me a third one. How was the third one? Oh, okay, I get how the 3D one works now. That makes sense. Still a little loud. I think we might need to bump the volume down on both of them. Are you going to do a chapter or two of stream? Probably. I don't know how long the other chapters are, and I don't know how many chapters there are, and I don't want to know.
Would you like a reminder for cutscene volume next Xenoblade stream? Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I can do that from the main menu. So I'm actually going to do that now. Let me boot that up. Does Xenoblade 1 have chapters? I know X2 does. Yes, Xenoblade 1 does have chapters. The save file says we just started chapter 3. And I'm gonna guess, because the game's gonna eventually get a little long, uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing one or two chapters a stream, because these were the intro ones. From here on out, I'm sure it's gonna take a while. There we go, options, sound, cutscene, voice, volume, also up to max. Perfect, there we go. Settings are saved. We're golden. Cool. All right. Yeah, chapter two was really short. It was literally just the mech on attack. That's true, too. And we skipped a lot of fights in that one because I just didn't want to be asked, honestly. <laughs> didn't want to be hassled. Chapter length varies from many hours to 20 minutes, so doing it by chapter is a bad idea anyways. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. For those who are probably bouncing right now, here's the schedule for the week. Monday. We are going to be starting playing Ape Escape 1 for the PlayStation 1. It's the North American version, so it's the four kids voice actors. I know for some people that's a deal breaker, but sorry, it's the only version I have. Nothing going on Tuesday. Wednesday is what we call Cookie Jar. Viewers who have enough sub points have uh, suggested games for Fortune Cookie, and we have a giant pile of them, and we're pulling from them in order. So on Wednesday, we're going to do a bunch of polls that are just viewer choices to see what games we end up playing on stream. So we'll be playing each of those games for about a half hour-ish, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, depending, but usually longer. And then next Saturday is our usual Saturday stream. It's what we call Fortune Cookie. It's where chat votes on what game we play next based on viewer choices and also random choices pulled from the Fortune Cookie. So if you're new here, hit a follow button, hang out, hopefully have fun. Uh, otherwise, I will figure out, I'm, like I said, at this point, I'm pretty sure the next time we play Xenoblade is going to be on the 18th. That's a Wednesday. Make sure I'm not talking to my ass. Yes, that is the 18th, and that's a Wednesday. Uh, otherwise, yeah. We're going to do alerts quickly. We're going to do art block and eggs, and then we're getting the hell out of Dodge. So if you're bouncing because it's late, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed how Xenoblade is going, how it's going to be. Most of chat was pretty good. I only saw a couple people timed out. Very few, so I'm proud of you guys. Do you have a PlayStation Mini? That has the PAL version, I think. Ooh, I do, actually. Hmm, tempting. Tempting. All right, let's quickly read alerts, drop eggs, and then get going. San Rising says, Hey, John, great start to your year-long Xenoblade Chronicles run. I'm rooting for you to finish the game before Coliseum. However, with your shirtless party run, won't that mean your punishment cosplay will also need to be shirtless? Good luck, have fun. I'm not filing off my nipples, dude. I'm sorry. I'll have to do just exactly what Robert Cobb has in the, uh, in the Ryu countermeasures. I'll have to get the duct tape. Westerford says, to be fair, John, would Dunban walk outside full of mech on without a weapon? Okay, fair. He definitely ran to get the Monado with the katana, but it, it wasn't on him, game laws aside. It's just really funny. It's, it's, it's just like, I got another sword, we're fine. It's not Shulks, I hate that sword. Zan Rising says, Let it be known that from the greatest tragedies birth the brightest beginnings. With the tragedy of Colony 9, a legend was born that would change the fate of the Bionis. It was after that event, the shirtless squad was truly born. Not the ending I expected on that. <laughs> uh, Cardian Joker says, Quick question for Emil if he's still around. A little too late. Uh, but I can probably answer this one because it says, When Xenoblade 3 LP? But seriously, though, take your time uh, with that LP, man, if slash once you get to it. Yeah, I'm going to be real. Uh, as someone who basically saw him play Xenoblade 2 when he got it early, don't expect a Xenoblade 3 LP from him for three years. Unless the game ends up being shorter than two. Don't be surprised if it takes, like, if it's, like, 2025 before you even see anything on it. 
Westerford also says, I'm really glad you seem to be enjoying the game so far. I was hoping you'd see at least a little of what I see. Here's hoping you continue to enjoy this ride of a game, even if it's ribbing on its silly aspects. So, cows? So here's the thing. As I've stated before, just because I haven't played the games doesn't mean I don't like them. Like, the reason I didn't get around to playing Xenoblade on my own was A, long RPG, and B, I knew that major story spoiler at the end. So it's like, it just felt not worth it to put the time in, I guess. But I love Monolith Soft games. Like, I keep routinely trying to get into Xeno Saga, but um, if you've played Xeno Saga, you know how hard it can be to get into sometimes. And uh, I played through Bait and Kaitos. I love Bait and Kaitos. So I knew they could write a good story. So I'm not surprised. I'm gonna have fun with this, but yeah, I'm just gonna be... The only thing that's probably gonna ruin any fun I'm having with the game is people just giving spoilers. And if chat's like they were tonight, I don't think I have much to worry about. But we'll see. We got a long ways to go. Wasn't trying to imply that you didn't like Xenoblade. Okay, fair enough. The only egg I see... Oh, no, there's a couple, actually. Oh, I think I hear a bagel. Do I hear a bagel? I hear a Reese. Hello. Meow, meow. Hello, you're soggy again? We're just wrapping up for the night, so. Yep, you can go to sleep now. I'm gonna do our block and we'll be good. The mill's already bounced, so. Oh, he's here. All right. Blazing Dream, thanks for giving us up to Jarrett OS. Ami with the Fox for 88. Laughing Boy LP for 42. Xenoblade Chronicles A is a series of action role-playing games developed by Monolith and published by Nintendo. It is part of the Xeno Meta series created by Tetsuya Takahashi, but was formed after Nintendo's acquisition of Monolith in 2007. Cat and Cowhead for 36. Shino Do Good for 64. Cramped Vernacular for 2. <laughs> Flark Blarg for 20. Zillanog for 64. Uh, Blue Nexella for 85. Fox McCloud for 99. Antihero Sora for 13. Thanks for seven, folks. Let's see if there's anything in the carton for you. Your eggs are courtesy of... Oh, I don't think we got anyone. I don't think we got any new eggs. Oh, no, that is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. I got three here. Oh, Oogie McTalk gives us up to Chuck Conroy. Thank you, Oogie. PSB123 sends in the Xeno birds and the Xeno bees. Sweetheart. This. Oh my god, I forgot about the top. <laughs> I absolutely forgot about the whole Kogan meme. I can't. <laughs> Where's the song? Where's the song? Oh no, I had it here. There we go. Where's the gift? Where's the gift? Oh no, where is the gift? This is a cursed place. <laughs> All right. Get out of here, Hulk Hogan. From PSB123, the Xenobirds and the Xenobees.
Stroke might have worked better when Chugga had more innocence to lose, but I don't have a time machine, so I'll have to settle for the Banjo Kazooie episode posted today. Also, apologies about the watermark and editing software ad. I don't have the money to keep up with the subscription right now. Egg starts at 10 Dude, seconds. Dude, did you see the video that Markiplier put out where it's like, rate the the sexiness of every Pokemon, whether he would smash or pass. Oh, I thought it, that, Oh, that's what that is? Oh, I, so yeah. I saw that American man, and I thought he meant like how much they deserve to be in Super Smash Brothers. So I think I have a method of explaining this kind of stuff that Emil might appreciate. You see, when there's a great love between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or what other kinds of combinations are out there including consensual polygamy, they go to the bedroom and break out of their clothes, I then one of them going. topples their partner oh. onto the bed, they then launch themselves on top of their partner, and I don't want to get John's Twitch channel deleted, so you'll have to figure out Smash on your own. I appreciate the educational video. I'll forward it to Emil later. Oh my god. Next up from Magus Andrus. My first time. Spoiler void, but yes, small explanation. This occurred on my first playthrough of Xenoblade. Didn't have the right amount of friendship with Ryan when I first saw it and came back when I felt comfortable and didn't feel like I was backtracking just to watch it before more progression. Oh god, you had it happen during this? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Now I partially wonder if you could have done the heart to heart with Fiora! Oh no, can you do that during the burning? Oh my god. Can you? Does someone know the answer to that? That's important for me to know now. I don't think you can. I don't, because it blocks you. Yeah, that's what I thought. But oh my god. Uh, from Mega Mania, Crocs. I, for one, will not stand for this slander of Crocs. Not only because I wore a pair throughout most of my time in high school, but because I still have the pair of Crocs that I wore in that time. How old are those Crocs? I like how it's slander when both of us are talking about, yeah, it made her feet bleed. <laughs> my reason was that it was just a slightly smaller size, but still, they made her feet bleed. I feel like we have re legit reason to not like Crocs. All right, and with that, that's eggs. Let's go to art block. Let me make sure everything's shuffled here. Again, any art that features a meal, with him having already bounced for the night, I will make sure he gets to see it. Uh, looks like everything's all on one page. Cool, cool. They were originally white. I can't tell if that's a joke. All right. Let's go to our block. From the Let's Play Baseball Curse. So excited John's playing Xenoblade. Here's John in a Shulk cosplay with a Rosa themed color palette. I was gonna say the color seems the color seemed wrong, and then I realized what you had done. Nice touch. Looks cool. And I believe you also, because I think I saw these on Twitter. You also did this. Yes, follow up to my previous picture, a Monado with a Rosa color palette. Cool. Thank you so much for both baseball curse. Crocs have a skill called Rivers of Blood. Really good at PvP. <laughs> I hear it's great against Melania too, or Mikola, whatever her name is. Oh my god. From I'm Not Batman, and so the Torch Monado passes. To be fair, he still plays this game, so I feel like it, I'm gonna have to bring, give it back to him by the end of it. Or in the middle of it. Thank you, I'm Not Batman. Next up, ooh, this is nice, from Buttery. Don't know if Emil will be here when this is posted, but hey, you two, you're one of the biggest inspirations I have for creating stuff. John knows this, but Chugga doesn't. You guys rock, for real, thank you. I wish I could do more than just make art for you all. Here's hoping one day I can. You guys rock, thanks for being there, from 2008 to 2022. Goddamn. 
Been around for a long time, Buttery, huh? Thank you so much. Again, Buttery, I'll make sure he gets all the posts that are for him that he misses. And that goes to everyone else as well. Next up, from Soul Rock. Is it still relevant to post things from the Sticker Star stream? Yeah, I mean, we usually have a two-week buffer, so you're good. So if, if so, here's Donkey God from the Google Translated DK rap song. Gave him Popeye's lucky anchor tattoo for eating his bananas and killing weapons. Beautiful. Next up, it's the big boob. All right, this happened earlier this stream. All right, who's the moron who opened his mouth? I'm really feeling it. Emil resistant. And meanwhile, Emil is surprised. Drag. I did say that I could probably draw a wider Rosa, and yes, I did do the math. This is what a 300 or 3,897 centimeter bust line would look like, as best as I can estimate. Though I guess there's three more centimeters on that now. Slow clap. Slow clap. That's actually a pretty fast clap. But there we go. That's better. Thank you, Tiger, for committing to the bit and the tit, and I'm sure Rosa will murder you or Emil or both eventually. Next up, from Camille. Oh, hi. So if you were here for the Xenoblade stream, banking on it being shown on another night, please don't fail me now. Sorry, I'm showing it tonight. You might have not wondered. Jeez, I wonder who did that barely accurate Monado. It me. I did it, but Philip made the transition. He's super cool. He awesome. That's the post by... If Emil sees this, hi, I'm the one who did Masay and Mifa segment in the animated bumper in the voice of Beef Roo. You kind of mistook Ryan for me, but she was way super cooler. If not, fucking ignore this ramble. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so Camille did the Monado uh, for the uh, for the transitions, and Draco put it together. So together, they both did a great job on this. Thank you both. Appreciate it. I knew someone would do this, and it was begrudgingly Waluigi saying, suck on this. Ah... Uh, Ron, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Hang on! Sorry, we already saw this one. Next up. From Junko, work in progress. So Tiger Brow suggested this to me on Twitter that I should pour orange berry tiger brew on my share. Oh no, Reese, are you serious? Sorry, hang on, I got a message. Sorry, got a message. Uh, so Tiger Brown suggested this to me on Twitter that I should pour orange berry Tiger Brew on my share of blue Fruit Loops, and the result are as big as I am right now. I suspected this would happen as well. Yeah, no, I just I can't. No, I don't mind the Tiger Brew. I I mind the blue Fruit Loops. I'm sorry. But congrats on bigger Junko. I really hope Dovey adds to that as you go through the game. I hope so too. They'll have plenty of time. Next up, from Mega X Prime, I was looking at my calendar and noticed this Sunday was Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Besides that, I got uh, all I got to say is if you need to learn how to t <laughs> if you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mama mia. Oh right, <laughs> sorry, ask your mama mia. Artist speaking out. Uh, I hope that can or of I hope that can of whatever that is by Rosa John doesn't lead to anything bad like world domination. I doubt it. Also, Rosa John having her coffee knowing that chat can be a handful. As a bonus, I couldn't help but stick with one outfit knowing my mind was, was like so many outfits to choose from, so I went with the sweater, jeans, and apron outfit. I mean, it's a cute outfit. It looks good. You did a nice job on this. What does the can say? To mom... To, it looks like it says to mom dust. Good old mom dust. Thank you, Mega X. This is super cute. Next up, nice, from Sylveon. Couldn't ha do anything for Sticker Star last week, but I got to do something for tonight. So have a simple chibi with Chugga as Ryan and John as Shulk. The simple is a lie. Forgot how hard the Xeno outfits are to draw. Xenoblade is a trip and I am enjoying watching you play so far and I hope you get a great time, even if it's all just goofing around, AKA the Xenoblade experience. And thank you, Emil, for being one of the two main reasons why I got into this series. These are super cute, Sylveon. I'll make sure Emil gets to see these too. Oh, it's T it's TG on the can. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. TG Mom Dust. That makes way more sense. Thank you, Sylveon, for these. Next up, oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be confusing. From Westerford, chapter four, McNursery. 
I continued sneaking and poking around the underground base. I think I got turned around a few times. All these rooms look the same to me. There aren't even any signs. How does anyone navigate this place? After bumbling around a bit, I started hearing some screams. I was worried that someone was in pain, but upon further inspection, it was a nursery of very small children. As we know, kids screams like they, as kids scream like they are being murdered because it's fun for them. <sighs> There are also many kids in here. Their clothing looks a little weird, almost like they were made for grown-ups. Wait, could they all be victims of the same thing as me? Were they all turned into children? It was then I noticed a magenta-haired girl. She looked a lot younger, but she looked very similar to the person I saw get tossed into the play place tubes. I think this confirms my theory pretty well. People are being transformed into children and are kept in an underground base's nursery. What? I have to rescue these victims, but I don't know how intact the victims' brains are. Could they even escape on their own? Maybe I should wait until I turn back. Or do I turn, until I turn them back, if I even can. I promise I'll rescue you guys, I just need more time. I'll be back, hopefully. I wonder what it's like to be Emil or his fans looking at this and wondering what the frick this is. So for those wondering, this is a me this is a dream I described during disc only. Westerford has been uh, rendering it out in 3D. This is a, a dream that the TLDR is uh, McDonald's was transforming adults into kids and grow raising them. Uh, hypnotizing them and making them buy McDonald's products, so an FBI agent snuck into the uh, the underground base, got turned into a baby, and then tried to stop and take out damn McDonald's from the inside. And the ending of the dream, I don't, the in between's kind of hazy, but the ending of the dream is basically it's him flying like an F-14 fighter jet out of a play place. It's just it's it's a weird dream, and Westford's trying to realize it as much as possible. John, what the fuck? Yeah. That, that's the dreams I have. Dream I had last night was pretty fucking weird too. I'm not gonna describe that one. Thank you, Westerford. Next up from Rune the Rooney. This was a school project I did when I was in high school when Emil was doing a Xenoblade LP. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Is this just done out of clay? I like that you got Ricky's staff and everything though. This is cool. <laughs> Modern problems require temporary solutions. This is our get along t shirt, but we're still shirtless. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. I used to have dreams like that, but now I have kids, so I have no dreams now. Bexy, I'm surprised you get sleep. I'm so sorry. Next up, there you go, that's what I wanted. Had to make some Crocs, Croc. That's our Waluigi Crocs, we're set. We got that Nintendo branding finally, we're set. Next up, from Blonde Lombax, ooh, look at this. Homura meets Homura. I don't care if I'm referencing the wrong Xenoblade, I couldn't bear to pass this reference up. Homura from Senran Kagura and I assume from Xeno 2. Cool. Thank you, Blonde Lombax. Next up, oh, this is cute, look at this. From 404 Sound. And suddenly my obsession with Xenoblade is back in full force. My desire to draw Xenoblade armor, however, is not. <laughs> that is entirely fair. And that's why we're shirtless at the playthrough, to save the artists. Thanks, 404. Next up. From the Phantom a uh, Aegis, uh, Xenoblade? Xenoblade, as much as I want to see you cosplay, I have a stronger desire to see you reach the end before Colosseum. Time for me to leave. Forgot to mention context for this. This is the final design for Myth or Phantom. Cool. I like the combination. Good luck. Thank you for this, Aegis. And the last one I've got here before refresh check. Oh, this is super cute. Look at this. Hello, friends, it is me, Chugga Ponroy. Also, sorry for posting this old art Twitter here, uh, but Chugga, Con Chugga Ponroy, complete with missing G. I will take my, you're fired letter now. Thank you, John. You're not fired. You're not. You're fine, Camille. Thank you for the post of the art, and I think after refresh check, we got nothing. Oh, I think we're donezo. We are donezo, folks.
Thanks for hanging out as long as y'all have. Folks, what is our raid message? Let's see who we can raid in the meanwhile. I see Blame the Crocs, I see Shirtless Squad. Death by, I see Death by Crocs, Blame the Crocs, and Shirtless Squad. All are good options. I think I gotta go, mm, I think I gotta go with Shirtless Squad. I think we're going with that one. Actually, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? No. Actually, we're going with Blame the Crocs. We're going with Blame the Crocs, uh, simply because there's no way we're not gonna have the Shirtless Squad be a recurring thing. Let's be real. <laughs> it is more likely for Shirtless Squad to happen again than Blame the Crocs to happen. So let's let's go with Blame the Crocs. <laughs> let's go raid Nico B, who's currently playing. Uh, looks like the Skywalker Saga for Lego Star Wars, the brand new Lego Star Wars game. Sith Lords are our speciality. <laughs> he puts the do in do Dooku. I think it's gonna take him a bit to notice, unfortunately. He puts the do in Dooku. He seems a little distracted. Oh. Oh, oh he's not distracted oh, anymore. God. Oh, shit. John. John. Oh, fuck. God, Paywise, get the gun. Get the fuck. Get. Everyone's, yeah, that's the sound of every one of the penguins in this fucking chat room. They're pointing their guns out at the same time, pointing it. Really? It sounds like they're out of ammo. Steady. Steady. Steady fire! Ah! Yes. Good. Yes. Let them know what happens when they come in here. Why are they going to raid us? Uh, we, we, we raid back. Fucking anime. They found their bullets. Anime. Oh, my God. Very, very much anime. And this weird man that hangs out sometimes. All right, folks, go hang out with Nico. Have a good time now that you've all died. I'm sorry it had to end this way. Uh, go give Nico some love, and I'll see you guys on Monday for Ape Escape. Or I'll see you on the 18th for Xenoblade. Either way, not everybody. You knew I was going to do this, so I'm just going to do it anyways.